Okay, and we're live. Um, hey, what's up, everyone? And I just, I was like, fuck it. I was working on something. And it kind of ran out of steam. And I was like, fuck it. Let's do this. Um, I don't know how long. I'll be on here. It depends on who shows up and shit, but, uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, <laughs> well, while well, I wait for people to show up, I got, uh, uh, I got, like, Nate's wrestling thing on here. So I'll kind of like react to that till people start showing up, I guess. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. We well, got a uh, All Star Stream Wrestling so, man going on. It's an on. AEW Championship match. We're gonna be having Don Wyatt challenge facing the AEW champion. Uh, you gotta check these guys out, man. They're pretty dope and shit. Um. Oh shit. He's already going at him and shit. Okay, fuck. Uh, there's there's the power bomb. Holy fuck. Okay. Just manhandling this dude right now. <laughs> Fucking manhandling the shit out of him. Move after move. The Dota is just. Come on. I would say that. Don. Don has heart. Hey, one person, how you doing? Welcome. If you want to talk, you can talk. If you don't want to, that's cool too. I'm just chilling, hanging out. Oh. I don't even know if I could see this. My stream here is being like really weird and shit. So I don't know. Hey, Swedish, how you doing, dude? What's up? Good morning for you, sir. What what time is it there for you, man? Because it's like uh, it's eleven something here. Dude, mine was saying some weird shit too. I don't know what's going on. Like it was saying, get up the premium. Or some shit. Oh, 5.22 a.m.? Cool, cool. Shit. Yeah, mine, mine's being weird, too, man. Like. Let me stream right now, but it said like uh, you won't be able to like record it, which is weird. Don't know what that means. I don't know. Oh, it's being weird too. It usually doesn't show like that. Like, usually it's, like, smaller and shit. But what, what you been up to, man? What you been doing? I've just been chilling. I've been working on this video. Gotta get done in a certain amount of time, and I'm kind of burnt out of it at the moment. Uh, hopefully it will get done in time. I think it will, but... Gotta gotta pace myself on it for sure, you know. 
Can't really sleep. That sucks, man. Me neither. Hey, if you want, uh, can you see the link? You want to come up here and chat? I've never talked to you face to face. That would be pretty dope. If you want to stay in the chat, that's cool too, man. I get the, uh, I get the, the not sleeping thing you're talking to, like, uh, what's it called? Like, a champion insomniac. Are oh, you good? You good. Don't worry about it, dude. You want to stick in the chat? Stick in the chat, you know? You cool. Everything is a okay. And we'll get a banner going. Wish I could switch these banners. That's the banner I'm stuck with. But yeah, you. I hope you're like. Well, I know you can't sleep, but I hope, like, everything else as well, you know. You're doing good, man. I, I see the pop-up of your videos. You, you've been traveling a lot lately. That's cool. Like, I know there's, like, restrictions, but you're. it seems like you're still finding a way to to travel to some places and stuff. So that's pretty dope, you know. Because I know that's uh, that's your passion. And I'm glad you can, uh, you can follow it, man. Oh, I thought you were traveling. I thought you were. Oh, shit. Never mind. I'm, I'm okay, man. You know, same old, same old. Oh, you did it? Okay. That's good. How are the, the restrictions? How harsh are the, the restrictions? Like, did they grill you pretty bad, or was it fairly easy to move, uh, to travel about and stuff? You know, um, or were they pretty harsh on you? Were they pretty harsh on travel? Ah, fairly. Yeah, the mask. Well, you need a mask for like nearly anything, now, you know. Well, of course, they're easing up on the old uh, mask because of the uh, vaccine. Yeah, which, even then, it's funny because sometimes they don't even check. Like, if you got vaccinated, so there can, people can walk in without a mask and not be vaccinated. No one would care. It's like, you know, their their own. Well, they're trying to go by a system, but their own system is like pretty damn flawed. Pretty flawed. Oh, you got that's that's cool, man. Um, I did not, and, um, I personally, 
am uh, holding on it. I'm I'm not getting it uh, for now, at least. Well, probably not in the future either. But uh, by choice, I I'm not uh, not getting it. But I do not uh, I do not. You know, I I think others. You know, if they want to get it, they should. Uh, that is their choice. I'm not. I'm not against it. I just. Uh, I just personally uh, do not trust it. You know. But that, that's just me, man, you know? That's just me. That's my little thing. I mean, dude, it, it's fairly new. Like, they, they made it super quick. Don't even really know what's in it. There's like three or four different versions. I mean, I just uh, feel like it was too quick, too rushed. So, I'm going to, you know, that that's just uh, my thoughts on it, though, you know? But again, I'm not I'm not anti it because I feel like if people want to get it, they should. But I just personally don't want to fuck with it, you know. Oh shit, hello second person, how you doing? Welcome, if you want to talk you can, if you don't, you don't have to. We're just having a combo. But yeah, dude. Um, how, how's your channel doing, man? What, what you doing on the channel and stuff? I mean, I see the chats kind of got silent, so. I mean, we, we could keep talking about this, but if you want to talk about something else, you know, I'm down. I'm just here, man. I'm just here. I even... <laughs> oh shit. Hello second person. How you do how you doing? Welcome. What's up? If you wanna talk, feel free. If you don't, that's cool too. I'm just chilling. I said, fuck it. No one, no one went live tonight. I mean, unless someone's going to later, but I don't know. If I, if 
felt like I should should jump on this. You know? Jump on the shiz mix. I'm gonna I know tonight's a My bad. Um, yeah, the chat's gone dead, man. I think I accidentally uh, killed my own chat. Um, I I am sorry if I had offended anybody. You already celebrated the fourth, man. It's only the third. <laughs> Jesus. You're good, dude. If you gotta go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, shit, we got some of that. Oh, hey, what's up? What's going on, Trench Dog? Uh, nothing much, man. Well, how are you, dude? No, I saw that you were like uh, wondering if anyone was here, but no, I, I just came in, man. I got through with work, so I decided uh, I'd hit you up, man. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just chilling and shit. Yeah. So apparently, um, uh, same same issue. Like right now, the only other person that's live, well, amongst the uh, our uh, people we know, is uh, Ian. And he's still having problems, like they're still harassing him and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. I've been keeping an eye on the situation. I've been not getting involved, but I've been keeping an eye on it. Yeah, um, same here. Uh, that's exactly what I've been doing. But apparently someone wished him a seizure and like, I don't know if that someone's that same person. If so, they need a serious... Uh, um, is he they need some forced introspection right there yeah because you got issues if you if you're fucking with not only a cool person but i mean anybody who's mentally disabled exactly well you shouldn't be wishing anybody a seizure man that's not cool yeah exactly like i mean yeah i mean there's a few people like that well that used to be in office and stuff that I wouldn't mind, but like, no, nah, I don't go around doing that now. <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, you're good, dude. You're good. Hey, but anyway, uh, whatchamacallit? Wow, dude, uh, that's a pretty graphic name right there, you know? And like, you, you mix the good with the bad and, and you get a surprise, you know? Exactly. I don't know where that came from, man. I was just in there. I'm like, okay, what should the name be? Oh, I'm just going to put these three words together and see what happens. Like, Well, you know what? Maybe you're the only one who's ever done those three particular words together, man. You know, may, you might be onto something. Just like rearrange the language. That way it wouldn't get so stale. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. Um, have you seen any flicks lately? Um, I watched Conan for the first time with a couple friends recently, but. Oh, that's right. You were talking about uh, not having seen it. What did you think? Oh, it was pretty dope. It was pretty badass. I mean, 
I did not expect it to be that violent, but I, I enjoyed it. I haven't seen it in a bit, but I've seen it a few times. I mean, it's a good movie, but it's, I mean, I don't think it's anything to write home about. Definitely not Schwarzenegger's best, but it was a good flick. I mean, for what it was, definitely. I mean, um, it's got that whole mirror theme that started, it was like a trope right there, you know, um, at the end. Oh, yeah. um, um, but, you know, they did make sequels and all that good stuff. But, um, I mean, it was a good movie for what it was, but I mean, I, I would never go out and buy it, though. But it was, it's definitely a good watch. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I've been getting into that uh, Orphan Black um, show. I, I just saw the first couple episodes. It's not like the greatest, but it has potential. So hopefully, hopefully it does good things. Um, you know, it's it's like mm, first two episodes um, seven, so it could go either way. You know, because sometimes you have to see the whole series. So I've been watching mm. that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw uh, Which Way is Up. That was good. Which way? You can't go wrong because it was like, so you you remember The Nutty Professor, right? Not the old one, but the uh, one with Eddie Murphy. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that was, I mean, without Which Way is Up, that would never have even come about, dude. Because basically, that's what Richard Pryor is doing in this movie. And he's scandalous in this movie, man. Like, it's it's crazy, man. This this movie, yeah, I, I, I definitely need to see this movie again. It was pretty funny. Like, I, I liked it. It was it was more violent than I thought it would be, too. Like, it was, like, as far as, like, relationships are concerned. Um, mm -hmm. But... It's it's funny as fuck because it's Richard Pryor and he's doing that thing where he's playing like like six different characters and shit in the movie. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. You got Amazon. It's on there, dude. So they got Critical Condition. They got some stand up. They got Critical Condition, which is also good. Uh, I recommend that too. But I I I think I like this. Which way is up even more so? It's a fucking good movie. Uh, it's it's all about Pryor, man. I'll have to check it out for sure. I li I like Pryor. Like I uh, Pryor's dope. But... Yeah, but you got to see like his like shit that got that got like uh, no recognition. You know, like I mean, especially if you're if you're in your twenties and stuff like that. Like chances are you haven't seen these movies. So like uh, most people have seen like uh, the the toy that's where they like associate and they know about his stand-up but they don't know about like his his fucking crazy ass movies like car wash all the movie you know like silver streak with fucking mm -hmm. you know gene wilder it's all about his gene wilder tag team duos right there because they were like the shit dude they'd beat anybody's ass like andre the giant and fucking uh hulk hogan tag team and they beat their ass like it's just real easy man it's it's pretty cool mm -hmm. Oh, no, I, I just mean in a funny sense, dude. Like as far as comedic dudes, oh yeah, dude. They they were the shit, dude. Seriously, too good. Well, I've seen the see no e evil, hear no evil, and like that was dope. And uh, yeah, I, that's I, so good. That ice cream scene. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Fuck okay. it. That movie's nuts. Uh, you're you're good, June. You know, don't don't worry about it, man. Like, I I'm working on that video for fear, man. I got a little burnt out, but hopefully I'll get it done by his birthday and shit. Hey, Steel, how you doing? But yeah, no, no, Richard Pryor is dope. Like, you, you can't go wrong with Pryor for sure. Yeah, you never do. That's what's great about him. You never do. I mean, there's there's some actors that I really have a lot of respect for, but they all have shitty movies sometimes, you know? Like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, even, like, my favorite actors, like like Gary Oldman and stuff like that. I mean, he's got some real, like, and he came out in Friends. I mean, what's wrong with you, you know? When you come out in Friends and you're an actor, that just, like, you're pretty much just selling out like there's no ands ifs or buffs about it if you go on friends 
and you're an established actor and you've done all these different fucking roles yeah and you go on friends well then yeah you have issues he deserves some ch- um, some shock treatment after that and you know i love gary Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, um... Oh, speaking well, of which, that reminds me, dude, like, drop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin. Um, What you should do is, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, have you seen Sid and Nancy? No. I know Brian loves that movie, though. Oh, well, I, I don't know. That's, I mean, but Brian doesn't consider it, like, his, like, even his top three it that's in mind and so i would you have to definitely like not see anything else like and just run to sid and nancy man because that's such a good movie and it's not you know it as testament to this i don't even like the sex pistols and and like as far as like musically um Mm -hmm. i don't like them i don't own any of their music i never listened to them um but this movie, you know, takes place in the Sex Pistols. It's not, it's kind of, remember how we were talking about like on Tombstone? Like it, it may be a Western and yeah, Doc Holliday and fucking and, and Wyatt Earp are in there, but it's not a true account of history, so to speak. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's a book about uh, friendship, you know? I mean, it's a movie about friendship. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, the same the same could be said about Sid and Nancy, but in a relationship a sense. Like, so it's 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 just like a dark love kind of uh, deal. So dealing like with a relationship, just like a unyielding love that you know knows no bounds and stuff. And it just like and and it takes place in the Sex Pistols. That's why it's called Sid and Nancy. You know, because it's focusing on their relationship. It's not focusing on like, oh, the Sex Pistols or anything like that. You know, and um, it's it, it's a pretty powerful flick, man. That I mean, I think that's some of Gary's best work right there. I'll have to check it out. You said Gary Busey's in it. Is that who? You're no, talking fuck about? Gary Busey. Gary Oldman, man. Gary Oldman. Okay, I was going to say. I like Gary Busey, don't get me wrong. I mean, Point Break, he rocked. Silver Bullet, he rocked, you know. I mean, I don't hate the guy. Uh, but, I mean, like, n- Gary Busey is... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, Gary Oldman plays Sid Vicious, who was, like, the wild guy in um, in the Sex Pistols. He was the bassist. Right. And so it's like there's lots of there's lots of heroin and there's lots of dark, grimy situations, you know. Um, and uh, it's... It's definitely a must watch, dude. Like, you have to mm-hmm. run out and go see it, man. I know you haven't seen Ghost Dog yet, but you, know, you could put that on the back burner and watch some Sid and Nancy, man. Oh, even the, uh, you know what was cool? Fucking The Simpsons even had a shout out to Sid and Nancy in one scene where, like, uh, there was there was a episode where Lisa hooks up with the bully, you know, the <laughs> guy, you know? Yeah. Um, Nelson, Nelson, that was his name. And so they hook up, and like they're in this uh, this alley, and like there's all this trash flying, and and they're in an alley, and and like they they play the music to Sid and Nancy and stuff like that. And as you could totally tell that, well, The Simpsons are the best cartoon ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Simpsons pretty dope, like. They started they, it all, man. Oh, they 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 were like one of the first. Uh, well, there's probably adult cartoons before that, but I'm not sure. Like you know, well, adult. A lot of people associate that with like you know por- pornographic, but like what one thing that they are is they're the longest running show ever, like both animated and non animated. You know? Yeah. Well. I mean, aside from like soap operas and shit, I'm pretty sure there's some soap operas out there that have been around for like 50 years or some shit. But aside from that, they're they're, they're like they say they're the longest running sitcom, like sitcom. There you go. That's that's a good way to describe it. It's sitcom, but yeah, but it also gives it the accolades of like not only animated, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, but sitcom, that's that's a good way to put it. Good specification, dude. It's, it's... 
I mean, Simpsons beats out everything, and people might say it's dead. I don't know. I haven't watched some of the newer stuff, but. I mean, I, I don't keep up with it religiously or anything, but like, I mean, it's nice to know that there's 30 seasons out there. And so if I ever wanted to watch season 28, episode seven, you know, I can do that, you know, so that's cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I used, I used to own them. I, I ended up pawning them because I was young and I needed the money, but um, I, I wish I would have kept them because they're good. Yeah. Oh, shit. He killed his mom. Oh, shit. Oh, she killed him. Oh, okay. Got you. I was a little confused on what you were saying, June, but I got you now. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, like that <laughs> Simpsons has outlasted generations. Like, Fucking generations of people. Yeah, yeah, it lasted longer than uh, Kurt Cobain's existence. Yeah, um, you know it's 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 pretty uh, um, it's pretty intense if you think about it. Like, cause they didn't even they were even around even before they got their own show. They were kind of like a. You, do you know where they came out before they uh, before they had their own show? Weren't they on some late night? They were like a section on a late night show or something? It was the... Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, the name of it was the Tracy Ullman show. Oh, okay. That show. And they were like just... Uh, they were kind of like the itchy and scratchy of the fucking show, you know? I mean, they were just like <laughs> barely in there. Like maybe like during like one of the commercials or something and... Uh, you know, they they throw them in there, you know, but it wasn't a part of the commercial, but they would make it seem like it was. Um, so they were barely hidden in there, you know, in increments. And I guess it mm -hmm. caught on. And uh, I mean, they, they did a pilot and everything, you know, just like with any show. And they saw how it did. And, you know, it didn't do great the first season, but it, it did well enough to uh, garner a second. And then once the reruns were hitting and people caught on, you know, um, everybody loved it. Well, not everybody, but like enough people to where they could be around for fucking 30 plus seasons, which is insanity. And the, the fact that like most of the same cast is still there, it seems like. like I think still... they would all be there were it not for death, you know, were it not for that old yeah. Grim Reaper. I'm sure they'd all be there because it seems like a pimp ass job. Can you imagine having a job as a voice actor? I mean, talk about, like, the easiest job in the world. I'm not saying that, like, it takes, like, no skill whatsoever, but, I mean, it would definitely be fun and easy to do. Oh, it'll, it'll be some fun shit for sure. Yeah, I'm, I, I I'm not saying it's easy, very but... fucking easy. I mean, I'm sure there, there's some skills involved, but overall, it's not going to stress you out. Like, you're not, like, a fucking air traffic controller or something, and... You know, and and having to stress all stop and shit. You know, it's an easy job just to keep. I I get I get what you're saying for sure. I mean, it's great. They were they were actually talking about that because I guess Chris Rock when he did Madagascar, he's like, oh, this is easy. But some of the other voice actors are like, yeah, all Chris Rock has to do is open his mouth. Because he has an interesting voice, but we actually have to put put work in and like change our voice and shit, and like practice and shit. Like all yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the king of that, the king of just walking in without having to change your voice is, of course, James Earl Jones. You know, like I mean, he just oh. comes in, he's like Simba, and everybody fucking knows his voice. I mean, he was on everything, dude. He's like everything. You know, which is fucking crazy, man. Like, how many voiceovers he did, you know? He's the fucking man, man. Like, James Earl Jones is the man. You should see the episode of House where he's in, dude. If you like him. He's, like, he plays the pa the patient in House, but like a like a king, you know? But like a, a politically corrupt king, you know? Uh, of a oh. different country and shit. And 
Like they, it was an ethical issue having to deal with him, uh, having to treat him in the episode because, well, if he lived, he was going to kill a whole bunch of people because he was like some kind of evil ruler and stuff. Uh, and, and so like there was an ethical dilemma in treating him. Um, so like it made for an interesting show. I, I would, I would check it out. House is a dope ass fucking show. Yeah, I remember we talked about it last time. I'll have to check it out for sure. I mean, like, I, I wrote it off before because I was like, oh, a cranky doctor who doesn't like people. Like, oh, I'll give it a chance, though. Like, well, I mean, uh, like I was telling you, I think I was telling you before, too, that. Uh, yeah. It's it's got like this uh, even more so than that like uh, Doc Holiday and Wyatt Earp friendship motif that was that was going on in 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 Tombstone. Like it's even it's even more so pronounced in in House by the end of it, you know. So it's like really good fucking show, dude. You know, it because it it goes more than just like the Doc cynicism, you know. But I have to admit, I I'm fond of the cynicism, you know. <laughs> Yeah, because it's not. I rather have a doctor like that that was like not even concerned about me, but but concerned about what was ailing me, than somebody who was like you know all compassionate with me and want to hold my hand and shit. You know, I mean, I rather just give me <laughs> give me what I got. You know, like just treat whatever it is. I don't care if you don't give a shit about me. You know, just as long as you can you can diagnose me. And cure me, like I don't, just, I don't care. But people didn't get that, you know. They were just like, "What a fucking asshole!" You know, it's like he really didn't care about. He doesn't care about the people at all. He just, he, it's, it's a puzzle, and he just cares about the puzzle. That's the best kind of doctor you want, man. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, no personal stakes. He just wants to like fucking cure you if he. Can. Yeah, but you're using no, uh, no. See it. Just like in war, you know, you don't have time for emotion. You don't have time for yeah. any type of neurosis. You just have time for logic and reason. And that's it. You know, that's going to get you through the day. And science, logic, reason, science, boom. And that's that's all he abided by, okay? You know, he saw people talking, you know, about like some kind of faith or anything. He would just make fun of them. Because it doesn't jive with his... um his day to day, you know what I mean? So he mm. was an asshole to anybody who, who, who he deems stupid, you know, but I like it. I like it. He, he, you know, uh, have you ever seen the BBC like, uh, two thousand? I forget which year it was, but their version of Sherlock with Cumberbatch. Um, no, but I read the original Sherlock Holmes though. Um because Sherlock Holmes originated from was it hmm. from uh, Herman Melville. Uh you know the dude who wrote Moby Dick and shit. Yo, it was like uh what's it called the the scar it was like something scarlet, right? Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm trying to recollect. Yeah. Because uh, I remember this shit. Like, I just forget the name, but it was the Scarlet Star Letter. Arthur Conan Doyle. Yeah, sir. I, yeah, sir. For Conan Doyle. Oh, right on. You're, you're a fan of House, Junebug? That's cool, because he's, like, my hero. For real, I have a shrine of him. Yeah. Hugh Laurie's the shit, because he's, like, a talented musician, too. You know, like in real life, he he drops the house and shit. And he's actually not an asshole in real life. Obviously, that's an act. You know, oh, he's yeah, taking yeah. the American accent. He's like, um, he's like really cool guy, real funny. Like he he came from comedy. You know, he came from just like, like, like even slapstick. Well, not uh, not slapstick, but just like he came from rooted comedy. You know, so like, and then he mm. just intertwines music into his shit. That's all I was showing you the other day, Trenchy, the fucking Dud Dudley Moore. 
it's like damn dude these these brits are crazy talented man so these actors that's why i like a bunch of them as like my favorite actors is because they they're not just acting they're fucking using musical instruments because dudley moore is an insanely good fucking piano player man like i mean you could just look him up like on youtube and shit just like put dudley moore piano and the dude will fucking blow your mind and he'll throw some comedy in there too you know like like a stand-up routine with piano it's like come on dude and you're playing this these classical pieces with the greatest of ease like if nothing and doing your own take on them and shit that takes a lot of fucking telling that's something uh he laurie does too so yeah. Yeah, there you go. But he has even more of a reason, Junebug, because, I mean, the dude's got the credo, too. He's got the fucking PhD, yo. So if you have that kind of attitude and you got you, you get to just, like, straight up belittle people. Like, if you and I did it, like, we would seem like real assholes because we don't have the credo, you know? Like, I don't know what you what you have. I'm, I'm sure you ain't a doctor, though, you know? But I'm sure what you do is important. Uh, but, like, I mean, it just, I, yeah, he's my fucking hero because he gets to get away with that shit, you know? Like, on a basis, he fucks with everybody, even the law. Like, he doesn't care. You know, like, he just, he, he knows that he's above everybody. Like, he's just on a higher plane. Yeah. And that's why I brought up the BBC version of Sherlock. Because that's fucking that show, man. Is like, he's like a fucking sociopath who just solves riddles and shit because he's good at it. And not because he wants to help people. It's because he just wants to prove he's smart. Like, and he, he acts like he's above everyone until he gets Watson. And then Watson slowly humanizes him throughout the series. Well, I think that's that's kind of a trope, dude, because like in yeah. in house you have like his Watson is, is fucking Wilson, dude, you know, so like Wilson kind of like grounds him out, you know, just kind of like it shows shows him a bit of humility, even though he's humiliating Wilson a, a, a majority of the time. He still is mm -hmm. there to like to be the the contrast to him because he's the one he's the compassionate doctor you know but he but i mean they're best friends you know they're they're best friends and so they're always arguing and shit like that so it's kind of the same i think they're using the same uh yeah the same thing like i think they're they're getting that from sherlock holmes actually man because it's the yeah. same thing if you think about like the riddle and shit like that like what you were talking about is like they don't give a fuck about about the people you know what i mean they're just doing it because to to prove their own well i mean house isn't doing it to prove his own narcissism he's just doing it because he likes puzzles just like you like to do a crossword puzzle or somebody likes to do a crossword puzzle mm -hmm. he likes to fucking diagnose motherfuckers you know what i mean that would that's just his trip you know it's oh his yeah daily of the day you know and um yeah it's just an interesting dynamic but yeah you touched on something there definitely dude when you mentioned sherlock holmes for sure because it, it show like he learns to care about people but it takes a little bit and there's a great uh, scene in the first episode where he finds the murderer and they're they're like back and forth and there's like i think there's like these cups with poison and he's like he told sherlock to pick a cup and Sherlock picks one of the cups and they're about to drink. But then uh, Watson shoots the guy and he's like, oh, no, was I right? Was was I right? Was that the poison? Like he he's he's so upset that he didn't get to find out if he was right or not. Like, he, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way house is, too, man. Like, even if the case was solved, like he's going to go do an autopsy on a cat just to make sure that he was right. You know, even though the case has already been solved, you know what I mean? He was like, oh, you guys had a cat. All right. Well, I'm going to do an autopsy on it. Of course, the cat's dead and shit. It's not like some pet cemetery type shit. Oh, dude, speaking of pet cemetery, uh, like since that's your favorite uh, movie and all, um, I have this friend. He told yeah. me that he saw that movie when he was 13 and he had to go sleep in his parents' room afterwards. And, like, I didn't blame him because it was a scary movie. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, but, like, that he said even, like, he's, like, old now. 
And like, he will not watch that movie. And I'm like trying to get him to watch. It was like, dude, you don't know what you're missing, man. Come on. You have to, you have to fucking swallow your fears. <laughs> but that's to me, I think that's cool. Cause that, that brings some fucking, uh, elucidation into like why you know people would hold that as their favorite movie it was fucking good pascal and fucking like gauge like especially dead gauge you know <laughs> you know just like fucking crazy yeah. age and the cat fucking what was the cat's name again church church right hey, yeah church. yeah it was named yeah. after Winston churchill there you yeah. go. It there you go. See, and then uh, Zelda, dude. Zelda was scary as fuck. Zelda, I mean, that's scary ass imagery right there, dude. Like the that's that she probably creeped me out the most. Man, Mary Lambert knew what she was doing with that movie, man. One of uh, back when, like you know, there wasn't too many female directors, and she she. Gets up in that bitch and she she knocked it out of the park. I mean, she killed it, killed that fucking adaptation. I'm I'm not sure, Ben. Oh, there you go. There's the answer. Oh yeah, no, I'm not denying. Like I have to see it. I'm not denying the older versions. I'm just saying it's an interesting take on the character, the new show. But uh, I'm not denying anything against the older versions, of course. Same, um, but, but we were more so alluding to from whence it emanated, you know? So, like, uh, okay. back in the day, Melville had, had some fucking short stories and, and like, of voila, they weren't called Sherlock Holmes, but, um, but that's uh, when it derived, you know? So it's pretty cool, like, lore there. Just like uh, some other interesting lore. So the the Baltimore Ravens, they're a football team, right? I know you you don't follow football, Trenchy, but like you know why they're called the Ravens? No. So um, they're in Baltimore, and that was where uh, Edgar Allan Poe was born, and his most oh. famous work was the Raven. Yeah, and so uh, yeah, so they decided to. To them, which I think is cool. I kind of root for them because of that, you know, even though they're not my favorite team or nothing like that. I just think that that's pretty cool because, like, you know, they're they're named after a writer's fav uh, most famous work, you know. Uh, that's pretty, and it's definitely not my favorite of his stories, no way, but it definitely did get the most uh, attention. Oh, uh, no, I agree. Like, I think my favorite. Poe work has to be yes uh, you know what that's where it thanks for correcting me june but that's i you know what it just they were friends and i always get them confused it is it, it is edgar Allan poe i'm glad we tied that together it's edgar Allan poe it is not melville just i always get that confused because like i had this class where like we studied both of them and like they were friends but yeah you're right it's the uh, 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 see Augustine Dupin, Dupont. Thanks for the correction, but I'm glad that we brought uh, up. See, I, I brought up Edgar. Yeah, yeah, that's that is correct. You are correct. Yeah, he knows his shit, man. He knows his shit. Like, but no, yeah, no, I like because I think my favorite works of Edgar Allan Poe have to be the the Fall of Usher House or a, a Touch of Amontillado. Like, those are my two favorites of his. Uh, it's hard for me to uh, to say what's my favorite. Um, probably, was it Lorelei or? No, um, no. I mean, of course, I like the... Uh, I, I like the pit and the pendulum, but I mean, uh, I like his detective stuff. Um, I like all of his stuff. The black cat was fucking dope as fuck. Uh, I gotta read was, that one. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was fucking cool. Um, but, but there was, uh, so there's one with and without the fucking, uh, 
this this poem this uh called uh the conqueror worm mm. and that that is the fucking shit right there like the that poem right there and then what it leads into um so good man uh, have you ever seen the anthology movie Extraordinary Tales? Uh, no, I can't say I have. Uh, so it's like, um, it's the same anthology, and they do a bunch of different stories from Edgar Allan Poe, but they're animated each in a different style. They're all animated. Oh, you know what? I saw a little bit of that. I did see I did yeah. see a little bit of that. I forget where uh yeah, dude, refresh my memory. So yeah, how many did they make or what? There's uh only one movie, but there's like five tales or four there's I think there's like five tales and I know they did uh they did uh, the, the Telltale Ted Heart, the they did that, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, they did the Telltale Heart and Fall of Usher House and a few others. But you got you got some great. Uh, each tale is narrated by a different like great name in horror. You got like Lugosi, you got Christopher Lee, you got uh, Gilmero del Toro, you got a uh, uh, Roger Corman. I think does one of the narrations. You know what? I did see that. I forgot where. I think it just came out on TV when it first like aired or something, and I saw it. I think like yeah, like it was so good, man. It's dope um, as fuck. Hey, Sharon, how you doing? Hey, Kookie, how you doing? Welcome. What's up? Okay, so check it out. Here's the Conqueror Worm. I'll, I'll read it. It's fucking good. It, it isn't oh. long. Like, lo, yeah, really. is a gala night within the lonesome latter years an angel throng be winged be dight in veils and drowned in tears, sit in a theater to see a play of hopes and fears, while the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the spheres. Mimes in the form of God on high, mutter and mumble low, and hither and thither fly. Mere puppets they who come and go, at bidding of vast formless things that shift the scenery to and fro, flapping from out their condor wings invisible woe. That motley drama, oh be sure, it shall not be forgot with its phantom chased forevermore by a crowd that sees it not, through a circle that ever returneth into the self-same spot, and much of madness and more of sin and horror the soul of the plot. But see the mimic rout, a crawling shape intrude, a blood-red thing that writhes from out the scenic solitude. It writhes, it writhes with mortal pangs, the mimes become its food, and seraphs sob at vermin fangs, and human gore imbued. Out are the lights, out all, and over each quivering form, the curtain, a funeral pall, comes down with the rush of a storm, while the angels all pallid and wan, uprising, unveiling, affirm that the play of the tragedy, man, and its hero, the conqueror worms. Oh shit, that was pretty dope. Yeah, it, it is Poe, Sherrod, but we're, we're talking about like a bunch of things as well. How, how are you doing? It's been a while. Hey, Kelly. How are you? That Yeah, I never heard that before. That was fucking dope, dude. That was some Yeah, it's short but sweet, but uh, yeah, you you would definitely fucking uh, dig the whole fucking story, though, dude. Like, uh, one of these days, will I wish they would uh, get into it. Uh, like, like the way they, in other words, I wish they make something out of that. You know, like because um, mm -hmm. you know how you were talking about that, the five tales that they made into. They should have done something with that. That would have been cool. Yeah, I, I'm good. Thanks, Sharon. I'm doing good. Doing good. 
But yeah, man, no, I agree. Like, instead of remaking something pretty hundred time, find some of these older works or these, like, books. There's tons of books out there that would be good movies that no one's making. Like, there's tons of material out there. It's like, you know, not everything's dead. Yeah, that's true, man. There's so much to glean from, um, especially in terms of, in terms of, I think there's a lot. Yeah, you know, I think that's an, an important point, you know, to ponder is all the, all the work of Poe, like most of it, is is gone unnoticed whereas like a majority of his stuff like it just like taught in schools like like the raven or the telltale heart but they don't get into uh well unless you go into college or whatever you know they don't get into like his his uh unknown works you know that didn't make it all big like those you know mm-hmm yeah, I mean, I, I, what I did was to conquer that fucking feat right there. I just went to Barnes and Noble one day, m- maybe about ten years ago, and just picked up his complete works for like ten bucks. They have those like gilded fucking uh, uh, gold pages, you know. So it's just basically one fucking book. I got it for ten bucks, and it just has his whole works right there. You know, I did the same thing for Willie Shakes. You know, I mean, just. Fuck it, it's ten bucks. You got the complete works, you know, in book. I'd much rather have a book than digital format anyway. Right. You know, so um well, especially like don't get me wrong, I'll still read on a digital format, but like uh uh like for authors that whom I respect, um, I'll 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 get their book. There there's nothing better than having like an actual book, man. If you like I mean, uh, like, online's cool for audio, but, like, I if I won't gonna, like, read something, I usually want it physically, you know, or you can't. Yeah, I, the, the last time I read, like, a digital thing, like, I had a syllabus, and one of my teachers was teaching, like, like some classic lit, and I didn't, to avoid buying all those fucking books in that class i had them all on an app for free so i was mm-hmm. like well fuck it you know like um but aside yeah. from that aside from that like yeah dude I, I like the tactile feel of the book it smells like i mean it's it's good when you finish it it's not like the end of like like some digital platform it's like you can actually shut and be all like ah and be rest assured that you you fucking read it all, you know, like in its complete entirety, especially if you get like an unabridged version type shit. Um, oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, but thanks, Amy. Uh, so. Treasure Island didn't uh, some, what's his name? Like Sam? The fuck was his name? He wrote fucking, he wrote Pamela. Yeah, the dude who did uh, Treasure Island and something like uh, that. He wrote Robert Louis Stevens. What's that? I think it's Robert Louis Stevens to the Treasure Island. I could be wrong. Oh, then, it, then it wasn't. Who am I thinking of then? No, then I'm. Uh, let's see. I I could be wrong, but I I don't know. Like I thought that was it. Cause I I use, I read that as a kid. I read Treasure Island. So it's a I, I've been to the uh, casino many a time. <laughs> nice, dude. The casino is dope, man. Like it's really they have like really cheap good food, and then they have all these shows like a like a, a pirate ship and shit like that, and they have a show on a pirate ship and shit like that. It's it's pretty badass, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. That sounds dope, man. That sounds dope for sure. Yeah, yeah, dude. Definitely. Let's see. 
I, I'd be down with that, dude. I mean, we haven't had a treasure island in a long time, I mean. But a treasure island, like, you can you can work with that, you know? Like, you can make something different out of that. Like, that's the one that they keep remaking and it never gets old because it's like you can do so much with Treasure Island. Yeah, that that is true, man. There's there's definitely uh well there has been shit done with Treasure Island, you know? Like Oh yeah. Uh, there's some, there's you could even say like Goonies uh you know had had some elements of Treasure Island in it, you know? Oh, for sure. I mean, you're you're right on the money with that, with the map, and you know, one-eyed Willie. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Um, yeah, too bad Corey Feldman had to age. Yeah, that's my complaint about Corey Feldman. Once he aged from the Goonies, that's where he went downhill. That's just when he got all toxic. And a uh, and got like really skeevy, and then like just pretty much pimped out his his supposed best friend. He could never. I mean, the eighties were his prime time. He pretty much owned like oh, he owned my childhood. I don't know if he owned anybody else's, but he was everywhere. Fucking, uh, we were watching Friday the Thirteenth Part Four recently. He's in that. You know, he, he's in he's in everything. Like, he, was he was even in, in fucking Tears, dude, which is insane. He was in yeah, an episode was... of Tears. That's fucking insane, dude. Like I, I he I mean... was in everything. It, it's but he once again like twelve and and below, cool. But once he got older, he just became a piece of shit. Like and and then he tried to where he really fucked up was when he was just emulating uh, Michael Jackson. And um, and when he started doing that, he thought I could like I could see like him dancing in his movies. Fine. You know, like, I guess even though I didn't like that stuff, um, I could see that. But the problem was he thought that he had a voice and he could do his own band thing. And he tried to do music, and that was his downfall because he's been trying to do music forever, you know. And he just like he has the worst like froggy voice. He sounds like he ate like fucking three thousand frogs, and like they just like fucking possessed him, and and he just has it like this ribbit voice and shit. It's terrible. He he has mm -hmm. no fucking semblance of of rhythm whatsoever he's he's just the worst thing out there like musically and then he wasn't getting any more uh, more roles because like when you lose that childhood appeal then that's where you tr you're trying to stay fucking relevant i give credit to the people who can actually stay relevant after they're a kid you know yeah man like he peaked way too early i mean he peaked way too soon because it's like yeah it's like the 80s if you look at it and even a bit of the early 90s like he he was up there man you know he was involved in everything you got like you got goonies you got lost boys you got friday the 13th you got gremlins you got fucking teenage mutant ninja turtles he was the voice in the first one i mean stand by me this fucker was everywhere yeah I his mean, downfall was jealousy so, um, because you know as well as I do, acting wise, I'm not saying in real life. I'm sure Haim was a much better person in real life, but acting wise, I I I preferred uh, Feldman to to Haim, but just because of Stand by Me, Jesus Christ, that his performance in Stand by Me was his best, man. You know, but it just like yeah. when he saw Haim was better looking, and and it, going out with Alyssa Milano. Or he was like, and this is the unknown take, dude. No, I think he was just mad jealous that he was going out with Alyssa Milano. And then, and so he decided to pimp out his friend to that other fat guy. He was in Friday the 13th too. Which one was, like, it was it in 4 too? The, the Dominic Raj? Huh? Yeah, he's in part five because you got Feldman's in the very beginning of part five. But then 
Uh, like, also in the beginning, uh, you got that motherfucker. He plays the chocolate kid. He plays right. the kid that's trying to give everyone chocolate, like the mentally handicapped kid. Yeah. He's the one that's all. He's the only one that. Well, I don't know about the only one, but he's. Shane is completely innocent. Like I mean, and Dominic Braja, that guy, he's the one that put it into like those tabloid magazines that Shane did it to get the heat off of him. But even his mom, like, who are you gonna believe? You're gonna believe his best friend, supposedly, which they weren't even friends, or his mom? You know, like Judy Haim, like uh, Corey Haim's mom. You know, and and everyone knows that uh, that Braja had had molested Haim. You know, like uh, and and so like and that asshole uh, Feldman was still living with him. He was still living with him after the fact, and they're best friends. And you know, he died and whatever. But like that's when he would when he finally died. That's when he threw him under the bus because like he couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. His friend, you know, he's fucking scumbag and you know and and his angels and stuff like that that he has at his uh, at his fucking place he just takes advantage of and tries to drug and rape them he's a, he's a fucking sinister fucking ass clown now like it's it's sad like it's sad because like he fell from grace like hardcore you know what i mean because like he was like dude look at all those movies we were talking about dude like he was so fucking talented but he let like he let vanity and narcissism and jealousy just corrupt him. And you could just see the, the permutations of that, like just devour yeah. him and all the roles. Subsequent roles are just like complete garbage compared to where he was at. You know, it's sad. It's fucking, it's sad. Um, it's like, it's crazy with all this shit. Like, Especially with the Charlie Sheen thing, like, I know this, Denise Richard supposedly found child porn on his computer and stuff, but I don't know, man, like, I'll, I'd see Sheen more as a rapist, like, I think Sheen has probably raped people, I would believe that over him being a pedophile, but I don't know, in the end of the day, it's fucking nuts up in there. It's no, you know what, there. like, dude, I mean... I will not speak ill of Sheen. I mean, like, I know that he's had, like, this wild kind of uh, life. Like, he was the wild thing in that baseball fucking movie, Major League and Major League Two and shit. And he's had a rep for, you know, a bunch of drugs and stuff. But so did Robert Downey Jr., you know. But, like, I like I, I don't have any slice. I doubt. I, I mean, I doubt that he raped anybody. Um, it, I Would it surprise me if he did? Yeah, probably. Um, I I think he had enough clout to he could get pretty much any any woman he wanted. Now, was he abusive in his relationships? I mean, he definitely wasn't a saint. I mean, did he cheat on his uh, on his wife? Sure. <laughs> like I, I wouldn't. I'm not saying that the guy's man of the year or anything, but uh, I don't think he 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 raped anyone. That's a that's a pretty harsh fucking. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not saying he did, but I'm saying like I wouldn't be shocked, you know. I'm, yeah, I, I uh, yeah. I guess I wouldn't. I I wouldn't be shocked either. But I, I if I had to vote, I'd say he has it. I mean, because and again, I love figure. that family. I'm biased, dude. I mean, I love Estevez and and fucking Martin Sheen. So I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt, basically. Exactly. Like I like Charlie Sheen too, but I mean, Two and a Half Men was the shit and then like they killed him off and then it went downhill but it's like you know like i don't know what's going on and then I, I know like even june books pointing it out about the denise richards thing and the child born like i don't know if that's true or not but it's like i don't know like i hollywood's weird man hollywood's a fucking fucked up place I mean, it could be perceived as something young, right? But a lot of it is just, like, people dressing young, you know? I mean, uh, June Bug. So, I mean, that was just a smear campaign, I, I think, as far as uh, uh, Richard Swint's concerned and stuff, because they were dealing with litigations as far as the child custody is concerned. So there's going to be a lot of mudslinging there. That can be messy in terms of, you have kids and you're both like stupid rich. 
that's the kind of shit that gets out there. Now, the atrocity in, in, in all of this, if, if we're talking about celebrities, is Bill Cosby being free right now. Shit, that dude should have his head chopped off or his le- at least his nuts chopped off. And and have it and have them frozen uh, and force fed into a Jello pudding pot, you know, and he make them eat it and shit. Fuck that guy being free. That's a bunch of bullshit. Like that dude being free is just a fucking joke, you know. It just it just basically like letting them get away with shit, you know. Because like how many women? Like I mean, it, it's not it's. You can't even count the number of women that he like just roofied out. So, so roofies won basically. Like uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pretty popular in these coming uh, years. Some some people like think that Cosby was framed. I don't think that. I mean, I know they said some of the girls lied about it, but like or took it back. But I don't know, man. You gotta take that shit seriously half of the time. And I know That's it's well, they're getting paid off. They're poor, and like, hey, here's a uh, hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Will you shut the fuck up and never say yeah, that again? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, and and that's what that is. You know, like, but I mean, every just like this Weinstein motherfucker, like everybody knew it. It was an open secret. You know what I mean? With it, just when you have powerful moguls like that, it's hard to get to them. You know, and it's the same with Cosby. I mean, Cosby's fucking power. You know, he's fucking power, dude. The Cosby Show was bigger than life, and um, I, you know, as far as sitcoms are concerned, as far as black sitcoms mm-hmm. are concerned, I mean, he put he put uh, uh, black major stars in the forefront, like in a sitcom. Like, yeah, other people have done it before them. I mean, there was better shows like Sanford and something like that, but were they as popular? Were as many millions of people watching, were, were they as mainstream as the Cosby show? I don't think so. I do not well, think so. You got, you got that, and you can't forget he had, like, the cartoons, too. He had, like, Fat Albert and shit, which Fat <laughs> Albert is fucking dope. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that came out that that predated that shit. That's what paved the road for him to do that kind of shit. But like he, I mean, that's why it came as a surprise to me. I never, I never pictured that. He always seemed like the the last guy that you would expect. You know, that's what made it so skeevy. But like once they had like never ending uh, evidence surmounting evidence that were just like overwhelming. You don't back at least give that dude a decade. You know, I say a decade because by then he'll be dead. <laughs> uh, uh, and that dude deserves I, no fucking time out, dude. Mm-hmm. I do think it's fucked up that the one lady from from the Cosby show came out and she's like, oh, the, fuck these women. They don't matter. Like, he would never do that. And it's like, come on, don't say fuck these women, man. Their opinions matter. Jesus, I get like he's your friend and you don't want to believe it, but it's like, you can't just say don't listen to these women. Their voice don't matter, you know. That's fun. Well, on the bright side, when it came to Kevin Spacey, no one spoke up for him. They were just all like, yeah, he was doing it. I mean, I, I, and I get, I get. And we've talked about Kevin Spacey before, but for me, I'm like, fuck. Like, I'll still watch his movies, but fuck that dude. Fuck that shit. Like, the girl, well, see, not only be a pedophile, but then try to claim you're gay and, like, try to do that shit. No, go fuck yourself, dude. We're oh, not I agree. Scared. Like I said, I hate him just as much uh, as, as you do, if not more, because, you know, he was one of my favorite actors, but the only pass that I give him is I'm still gonna watch his movies because they're so fucking good. But I'm oh, not. Yeah, but, I, but you know, all those other people, like, oh, man, I can't do that. But you know what? It's hard not to because there's a lot of Weinstein Weinstein productions that are fucking great. You know? Yeah. Or Jeffrey Jones, man. Jeffrey Jones is in a lot of dope shit too. 
Who's that other? Oh, you know who's getting away with everything? That dude from the X Men, man. Uh, that produced the X Men. Oh, uh, Brian Singer. Yeah, that dude is like he's like like a Peter Nygaard type motherfucker, dude. And he just gets away with everything. Oh yeah, man. And second of all, like he's a piece of shit, which. Like, even before that, like, he should have never been writing for X-Men. I mean, he did a couple good movies, but he didn't know how to write that shit. He fucked that shit up. Man. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing. I think I think uh, he's guilty, dude. But I'd like to think he's not guilty. Just like I'd like to think Michael Jackson was not guilty. But, like, I mean, Michael Jackson was, like, so guilty. <laughs> I mean, come on. You don't have an amusement park in your fucking backyard and oh, we're gonna make go to Never Neverland. You know, um well, Oh no, I think he's guilty, but I do I can hear the defense that like he wasn't given a childhood, so that was him so he just stayed a child when he grew up. I I get that, I can respect that, but at the same time I think he fucking did it. Yeah, like, if anything, like, I root for him not to have, like, a, out of all the celebrities that have been busted for this skeevy-ass fucking shit, like, I, I wish that Michael Jackson wasn't because he was so instrumental in so many uh, people's lives, you know? He affected so many people, myself included. You know, Thriller came out. That was scary as fuck when I was a kid because I saw it when I was, like, four years old, and I was... I was fucking terrified of that shit, uh, <laughs> you know, and it was good fucking music. It stuck with you, you know, back then, you know, he's got a lot of good work and it, it, it just sucks. Like it, I, I wish he didn't do it. Uh, like, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did it. Like, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty fucking sure. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I'm, um... It's already been uh, proven that he gave wine to one of the kids, and then they crashed out on his bed. It's like, sharing your bed with the children is the best things you can do. Like, I mean, come on. He was just too creepy. Like, that dude is too fucking creepy, man. Yeah, the, no, that is true. Like, and I think he did it, too. Like, I honestly, I used to not to, but then what's funny is the circle of the conversation back when Corey Feldman came out defending him that and said, I have recordings of our conversations, I'm like, why does he have recordings of their conversation? I think that fucker did it. And now this other idiot is fucking backing him up. Even though Feldman went back on that a couple years later and said, no, he was molesting people. Like, fucking... Well, he's just a money whore when it comes to that, dude. And, and Mike Jackson himself, but he stopped hanging out with Feldman because he saw what a fucking two-faced prick he was. But, like, it's just, uh, it's unfortunate. It really, oh, but proof in the pudding right here is, like, his wife. Uh, you know, fucking Priscilla Presley and shit. He met her when she was seven years old. Like, they went on their first date. They tried to cover it up, but they went on their first date like, she was 16 years old. He was, like, literally fucking calling the parents' house. Is, like, Priscilla there? Oh, she's at school. Do you know what time she'll get off of school? I would like to see her. You know, actively pursuing her when she was 16 and they were going out when she was 16. So, like, that dude's had some inclinations for a while. And that was his fucking life. You know, that's not just, like, some date or anything that was his wife like Elvis Presley's daughter you know so I mean yeah uh, the, the dude is uh, he's he, he can blame it on being like you know not having a childhood but it doesn't mean he gets to be forever a child and to date children <laughs> you know like, no, 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 that's exactly like, I understand but if you're dating children it, you know it's still you know, it doesn't give you any alibi well, people were trying to say he wasn't doing that, and he just had the theme park because he was trying to stay a child. But I, no, nah, I, I don't know about that. I mean, even like, like, I never had a Neverland, but I've been to Disneyland a couple times, and I loved it a lot when I first went at six years old. Then at ten, I still liked it. 
Then I never went again because once I got past 10, I realized there was something called Six Flags. It had scary rides, you know, like that was good. That was much better than Disneyland. So in other words, yeah, those kind of things are just catering towards kids, dude. Like I like rides and shit, but if I really liked rides, I would I would get like the best roller coaster. I mean, fuck the amusement park. Just give me uh, the scariest fucking roller coaster on the planet. Fuck Never Never Land. I just have the best roller coaster on the planet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, you just have a kick-ass roller coaster and then uh, uh, enough space to go skydiving on. You know? You skydive yeah. and go on a roller coaster. And that's all you need. True, true. True. I hear you. It's like, I, I don't fuck with rides, though, really. I'm not a fan of like roller coasters and shit but no i get i get the analogy though like you want you want the big rides you know you move on like if you you're gonna yeah, see something on. you're not all about these little fucking like, teacups and shit like that then you got issues like what i know you don't like these rides you just like the children to like these rides so they can like you because <laughs> you facilitate yeah, exactly. you're, you're fucking like you're like Willy Wonka goes uh, goes south, you know. Like Willy Wonka just fucking uh, has some serious issues, basically. Like Willy Wonka's badass. Don't give me no slide on Gene Wilder. That dude's a man. But like, I mean, if there was anything going on, like uh, at Willy Wonka land, he had the per come on candy and like he had candy and stuff like that. He was the candy man, you know. So. Um, it, it, it was kind of like Mr. Rogers. Like nothing was going on at all with Mr. Rogers, but man, they sure were fucking uh, creepy looking. You know. Well, the thing is, especially with the first Willy Wonka, like that dude was bipolar as fuck. That dude was bipolar. He was always lying. You never knew if he could tell he was telling the truth because in the beginning he walks out with the cane and he does the somersault, and Wilder did that on purpose. And like in that movie. You can be like, oh, he's killing off the kids. Like, he's like, there's no proof that they're still alive after a movie in the first one. And, like, yeah, right. he just. I'm, he, I'm, that's why I'm liking this movie. You know? He's fulfilling some, like. Yeah. Oh, dude, you cut out my bed. <laughs> you still there, dude? Oh, shit. That, that is interesting, June. Hey, but you still here? I can't. I can't hear you, dude. Oh shit! Oh shit! You there? I hear some yeah, what's clicking. Up? Can you hear me? Oh yeah, yeah. You, I can hear you now. You cut out for like a good two minutes. Yeah, I know. My, uh, I, I like adult. I, I didn't know that I was low on battery and shit, and it just like, boop, <laughs> it just cut out. Mhm. Mm yeah, you good. You good. All right, right the hell on, dude. Yeah, I'm back. I'm just straight up chilling, man. Cool, cool. What, uh, what are you gonna get into tonight, man? What are you gonna watch? I don't know, man. I don't know if I am going to watch anything, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll, young see. we'll see, man. Let's see if uh, Monkey Man comes on or somebody else. Um, hey, dude, that reminds me. Where in the fuck? What, what is the origin of your name? 
Where in the hell did you get the Solus trench coat? That is a very intriguing name, but like nobody would ever come up with that. Where did you get that? Um, okay, it's complicated. I used to go by a different name, Guts and Glory, but there was another YouTuber who was bigger than me by that went by the same name. So he found my channel somehow. And he was upset I shared a name with him, so he essentially blackmailed me. This was a few years back to change my name. So I was sitting there, and I was thinking, like, okay, I'm not going to fight with this dude. What what name should I pick? And we were. I would always get, like, in these debates about trench coats and chats with people. And people would always call the trench coat evil and shit. And I'm like, well... Something with a trench coat would be cool. I'm like, what about the soulless trench coat? Because everybody thinks like trench coats are evil and shit. And I have that. It's stuck. That's my name. But yeah, that that's where that came from. That's that's interesting right there. Yeah, dude, like the way you came up with like uh that connection between the words, man. You know that that was, that was good, man. Oh yeah. Oh Jimbo, your name didn't your cat die? Like that sucks. Man. But at least you you put the name of your cat in your name. Yeah, so like you, your original name was Guts and Glory, and somebody, well, that makes sense that somebody would have it. I mean, a lot of people have the same names, and you know, like that, that sounds like it'd be way more common than that. That's why I like this one better, man. This one's better anyway, so. Oh, yeah, like no, it, there's no one on YouTube with this name, so it's like. Oh, not even close to it, dude, so that's what I mean. You'll never have any problems with anybody. You'll, you'll always be very identifiable, so that's good. Oh, yeah, no, I like this name better because it's like, you know, that's the glory. I was just like, put shit together. And it's like, this is an actually an original name and shit. And I, I get where the dude's coming from. I'm not even mad. I don't even know what the fuck happened to that dude. But I'm not even mad at the person. I'm just like, I get it. Like, you don't want anybody else to have your name. That's your branding. You're like a bigger channel. So I, I, I got it. Like, I, it's better off the way it is. Like, I'm actually kind of grateful for it. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so too. You should be because it's like, so it's an upgrade, man. It's an upgrade. Definitely, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you, uh, did you watch that uh, uh, monkey's latest vid? How he's talking about? I hope we didn't turn him off from film with the whole American Horror Story. <laughs> we might have gotten too gory for him. No, I did watch it, and we talked about it. And he's he's not done with film. He's just he just doesn't want it to be the default conversation. Like he's like, I can talk about other things, you know. No, but that's that's true, and and so can. But you know, it's nice to have reference points. You know, but like, uh, yeah, I, I concur. I mean, if anything, books should be the topic of conversation. It's just like as 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 many books as I've read, and I have read more than the average Joe. I still have seen a fuckload more movies. Oh yeah, but I just feel like in the end of the day, it's like we we connect because we like the people, you know. But what connected us was the movies. Like, we'll always have the movies, but it goes deeper than that, for sure. Oh, yeah, Gene Bug. Like, I mean, look at my name. Like, it's pretty feminine, I think. Uh, but it's, I don't know. There's, uh, I know pl plenty of androgynous names, you know? 
Oh, hell yeah. Dude, like, before I knew it was you behind that name, like, I thought it was a female, but then Sasha was like, Paul. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, it's that dude. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, uh, whatchamacallit, it's just from whence, like, it just spur of the moment type deal. I didn't, I didn't actually have time to, like, ponder my name like, like yourself, you know? I never had anybody, like, dog me for my name and shit. That sucks, dude. It's like, hey, that's my name. I've never had that problem. Uh, that was, that was a while back, you know? Hey, Art, that, that was long ago in, in far away, I guess you could say. Oh, we got the gummo bunny. Gummo bunny. Yeah. That's another movie I gotta see. Yeah, that that movie's epic, dude. Jesus Christ, man. You don't know what you're missing, man. It's so good. I know, I know. Like I've only seen one Harmony Harm Harmony Corinne film and that's uh Spring Breakers. Yeah, you saw his later stuff, dude. You gotta be checking out the Julian Donkey Boy Gummo action. I know uh, Corey did like a video on Julian Donkey Boy on his old channel, and he's gonna do another one. He's gonna do another review. It's like he really loved that shit. What's up? Hey, Art. <sighs> going on i uh, nothing much just just shooting the shit um who is this fucking cindy moon doppelganger where's the real deal that's the dude Wait. no it's not don't fucking lie i'm just, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> that was really cute. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I've seen if you'd got sleep yet, I was trying to fix it. You got something uh, going on in, in your background there, Art? Or like, is there a TV or something? There's people being murdered and raped in the background. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's That's it. always a good deal <laughs> on. Keep it down. This your friendly neighborhood rape and murder. You're disturbing my stream yard friends. Oh, uh, you're good. You're good. I can't find the fucking remote control. Bring this up. You good, dude. You're not you're not disturbing anything. Oh, yeah, you can't hear a goddamn thing, though. It's like a fucking graveyard. Oh, shit, that, that got quiet real quick, man. That's like when the last murder takes place, the sound it makes after that, yeah. Wait, did you say saw? No, I'm saying that's the sound it makes after all the murdering's done. You know, it's just like there's silence. I fixed the TV. I have a fan on still, but I can't. Oh, it. we can't even hear that, man. I can't turn the fan off. My wife. Yeah, it's, it's fucking hot nowadays, so I don't blame you for the fan, man. Whoa, Trenchy bounced.
Church, Mary Thomas. Yeah, I got I got uh accidentally interrupted too. Like uh, I I fucking my my battery ran out, so it just like cut off. Who's <clears throat> who's the fuck is Jim? Oh, I think he it, that's a Star Trek reference. Uh am I correct, John? Yeah. yeah. James T. Kirk. <clears throat> Are you not in the Star Trek art? Huh? Are you not into uh, Star Trek? I haven't seen a lot of it. I don't hate it, though. Um, I'm not really into it. But I love the OG Star Trek. Like I, 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 so I do like Star Trek, but just the original. I don't like all the fucking manifestations, like Next Generation, all that shit. I just like the the OG Star Trek with fucking Spock and Bones and yeah. James T. Kirk type shit. I don't like the new shit. God. Yeah, there you go. Uh, James T. Kirk fucked everything that moved. Welcome back, Trench. It's nice to have you as a guest on your own talk show. If that makes any sense. Um, my bad, I'm back. Right on. I think we got. We all have to take turns at one time or another doing that, man. Just like leave unexpectedly. <laughs> yeah, no, I I literally my wife went down for a couple minutes. Oh, yeah, wait. that I tell you, like I didn't even know my computer was unplugged and it just fucking just completely died. Yeah, you you good, you good. He's this dude. Reality oh, is a yeah. game of children. <laughs> How you doing, Mad, John? Mad Max. Oh, yeah. No, my bad. Well, what I missed. <laughs> oh, not much, dude. Not much. Uh, well, I think we, you you just missed the uh, Star Trek reference. Oh, okay, okay. And we're both okay with it. Neither of us hate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a, like I was saying, like, I don't really care much for Star Trek, the newer stuff, but I like the OG stuff, because even though it was, like, all it, the it looked cheesy, like their fucking special effects. At least it wasn't a CGI jerk off fest and they had to rely on fucking acting versus like a bunch of special effects and shit, you know? It just like kind of like how job. they like they put in all those fucking uh, extra scenes in Star Wars to make it look <laughs> like it was digitally remastered and shit when they didn't even need to. It just like fluff and shit for fucking sales. That type shit. That Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like I like I don't mind CGI. Like I like some CGI films for sure. Like I can I can appreciate both if there's a good movie there. But like uh fucking Star Wars that was unneeded cuz that was already perfection, you know. That was Hey John, we're, we're down like uh I'm sure Trenchy would be like uh he said uh, John said he's going to spit some bars. You could spit some bars on here, man. <laughs> If you'd like, like I, I don't mind at all. It kind of reminded me of the thing. Why the fuck did they take the guns out of the the redone ET and like replace them with walkie talkies? I don't. Oh, know you know about. what, dude? Like, well, it's funny that you mentioned ET because, like, when I was six 
and I went to fucking Disneyland. I went to Universal Studios, and out of all the fucking thousands of kids that were there, I got picked to be the E.T. boy. And so, like, I got to go on a bike, like, a center stage and shit, and be the one that, like, that, that looked like I was flying and shit, like, with E.T. <laughs> That's dope as fuck. <clears throat> yeah, it was fucking cool. I'm not even a big fan of that movie, but that, that sounds fucking awesome. It was See, pretty we cool. Have, we have something to blame all the the problems on later in life. This traumatic event. Mm-hmm. Judge, I was the E.T. kid at the park. E.T. was the shit. I loved E.T. E.T. Oh, was the it, first movie. If, <clears throat> if aliens were here somehow, the people would have guns, okay? It's not a big deal. They would have guns. I mean, that's true. They, they don't got to replace it with walkie talkies. E.T., I like it. It's a, it's a, it's not, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's an okay movie. It's a good movie. I mean, I don't know. It's weird. I prefer Mac and Me, but because that movie is on crack. And they should call it crack and Me. No, I, I definitely prefer You're going to hell. over Mac and Me. I definitely prefer E.T. over Mac and Me. Like, for one thing, it's just like saying uh, you prefer Family Guy over The Simpsons in the sense that without The Simpsons, there would be no Family Guy. Uh, without okay. E.T., there would be no Mac and Me. You know, like, so, okay. like, you got to give credit where credit's due. You know, basically, oh, no. even if, yeah. I, no, I agree. And I, I agree, E.T. is the better movie, technically. And, of course, would, there would be no Mac and Me. But I, I have more fun with Mac and Me than I do with E.T. I'm not saying it's the better movie. I'm just saying I personally enjoy it. The only time I'd have more fun with Mac and me is if that dude Mac from It's Always Sunny was chilling with me. Like, But as far as the movie's concerned, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with DT on that one because I saw that in the fucking theaters and like that was a fucking insane fucking movie, dude. You know, like it's a fucking insane movie. Um, I, I liked it. Uh, I would I have I seen it in the last decade? No. Would I like it as much now? No. But it's still a good movie. And that was like when Drew Barrymore could uh, actually act. That's another one that like lost it. She's like the Corey Feldman of females. Well, except she's not scum of the earth. But I mean, as far as acting prowess is concerned, because she peaked in Firestarter, man. Oh, uh, did have you seen that one? What's that? Have you seen Cat's Eye? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I've seen Cat's Eye, of course, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Because that, that's one of my favorite movies of hers. I love Cat's Eye. Firestarter's dope, though, as well. Firestarter's pretty damn dope. I'll give her Yeah, yeah, I, I like Cat's Eye, the little troll dude. <laughs> you know, yeah. that would fucking I, suck up all your air. Uh, I named him Little Douchebag. Like, uh, he doesn't have a name, so I just call him Little Douchebag. Because that's what he, he is. Reminded he reminded me of, like, a, with his little Jingle Bell hat thing, he reminded me of, like, a fucking, like, a jester pipe. Like a pipe that you'd smoke. Yeah. kind of like the jester type thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something like that. He, he was a little douche, man. Fucking. He ate the bird and then tried to blame the cat like a bitch. Can't have that now. Like, yeah, but I mean, for I'm not very lenient on the actual uh, depiction of of Stephen King's books, you know, because like I think that they a majority of movies fail, like just transposing from one medium to the next. Um, and uh, there's few movies where the Stephen King movies were actually really fucking good. Um, and and one of those was definitely Pet Cemetery. Like they did that mm-hmm. perfectly. Um, like you couldn't do better uh, in a movie. Like, it, uh, but like as far as his other uh, films are concerned, it, I mean, there's there's still some good ones, but like nothing compared to his books, though. Yeah, I haven't read much of his books, but 
from what I read, I really enjoy. Like I, I read Salem's Lot. Um, I I haven't seen the movies, but I read Salem's Lot, and I read some of the shorter stories, and I read Doctor Sleep. I haven't read The Shining, but I have read Doctor Sleep film. Oh, that's cool. I I liked the. I think they went. The the show got stupid. I haven't. That's one where I actually, and this is rare, where I actually have not read it, and I just saw the series, and uh, I love the 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 pilot to the how it started off and shit. How like it's like a welfare line and shit, you know, with the with the lady with the kid and stuff. That was cool. I like that was an epic way to start off the series. You know, um, I wonder if the book started out that way. Um, that'd be cool too. Uh, Wait, what, really? Huh? What what series? Uh, Doctor Sleep. Oh, did, I didn't know oh, there no, was a no, series. I'm of, uh, 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 what am I thinking of? Because uh, there's there's a movie of Doctor Sleep, but I don't think there's a series. No, 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 no. I'm not. What am I thinking of? He had a series, Stephen King. Um. Where it starts off, dude, like there's these people in like a welfare line, and this guy's talking to this girl with a with oh. a baby, and she needs to like, she needs to breastfeed the baby, and and like he's all he he gets it to where like she's not exposing herself in front of everybody because they're standing in the line, and it seems all nice and stuff, and then meanwhile in the background. There's this fucking sick, deranged motherfucker who gets... Oh, it's called Mr. Mercedes. That's what it's called. He gets in a fucking oh. Mercedes and then just runs everybody over. He's like, fuck, fuck all your couches. And fucking just, okay. like, start fucking just gunning it and just, like, killing everybody in the welfare line. I, I read that book, too. I haven't seen the series. I haven't read the sequels, though. There are two sequels to that. I haven't read those, but I read the first book. So see that first series rocked. Um, once they started getting into the second, it was it, it lost its believability. So they gave them like, powers, right? Yeah, when it it was just like some uh, psychic type shit where like he's there but in his mind you know and, and like he controls minds and, yeah he was controlling people's minds and shit and it just like yeah it, it was it, it lost its fucking verisimilitude man yeah they do the same in the books like the first book's really grounded and then the sequel books are like fucking you know Stephen King supernatural shit I prefer Alyssa Milano um, in Poison Ivy 2 June. <laughs> I've never seen Poison Ivy. <clears throat> even though oh. I, I know it's not a take on the supervillain, but <clears throat> that would have been. But that's bias because Alyssa Milano is just uh, an <clears throat> amazing woman. Drew Barrymore wow. was good as um, Two Faces fucking side bitch. Oh, yeah. Sugar. Yeah. That's See what fun. I uh, where I can't stand her is the Adam Sandler movies. I hate the rom coms. Not not mm. I like romantic comedies if done right, but they're far and few between. Like fucking overboard is legend, but like they're far and few between. I don't like any, especially those Adam Sandler fucking Drew Barrymore, My Fifty First Dates. That fucking my the oh. wedding singer. That's a bunch of garbage. Dude, Fifty First Dates is dope. I I'll. Both agree to disagree on that shit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm I'm tired of uh, Sandler. Basically, I just I, I I can't say I hate the guy, but it just like he made his fucking living uh, acting like a mentally disabled baby, you know, and like he just couldn't get over it, you know. Um, and well, and, and there was a there was a time for it. There was a prime, and there was a time for it. Happy Gilmore. Billy Madison. Yeah, Happy Madison. Yeah, and, and Billy Madison. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, true. Like, Waterboy. once you... But yeah, yeah. Even, even up to Waterboy, like, I'll, I'll even give him that, but when he when he keeps on with the shit, dude, and he's doing shit with Steve Buscemi, like, The Cobbler, which is, like, the worst movie in the world. <laughs> the Gobbler. It was right. terrible. 
I, I did see Uncut up. Gems. I liked Uncut Gems. I I really did because he's going. He's trying to do something different. I can respect that. But mm. his comedy is just not funny anymore. Like yeah, those those. Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. We always so. get turned back around to fucking Adam Sandler somehow. I mean, he, he comes up at least once every time. I swear. He does. He does. He follows us. He fucking it, 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 like and like it's usually it's the, the same rat. thing. It's about how his some of his dramatic roles were okay and the other ones were crap. And no yeah. one likes fucking Jack and Jill. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, here's the thing. Like, the, the couple points that always follow. Adam Sandler is always going to be brought up in some shape or form. <clears throat> Halloween's going to be brought up in some shape or form. At no <laughs> point during that insane rambling did you even come close to a correct answer. I award you no points. And everyone in this room is now a little dumber having heard... I award you no points, so may God have mercy on your soul. You simple no would have. Like <laughs> uh, no, and fucking yeah. Steve Buscemi, he puts the lipstick on and then, like, marks Adam Sandler off the people on the kill list. <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> like, Jesus. And then. Man, I'm glad I called work. that guy. I love I love grown up Ben, and not because I think they're funny movies. I just enjoy watching them. They're just nice movies to watch. But <clears throat> I I like them because I like that uh, combination I think I like of it people because together. Have kids. Yeah, uh, you, I like David Spade a lot. Uh, I, I like mm-hmm. Chris Rock. You know, um, even Deuce Bigelow, like Rob Schneider, um, you know, like I, I like Kevin James even well in King of Queens is okay. I hear he's an asshole in real life. I don't know. That could just be conjecture. Uh, you know, no comment there, but uh, from numerous people, can, they say he's a real that. asshole. I could see that. A lot of people say that too. It's like, I don't know. I never see the guy as a bad guy, but like I hear from numerous, on uh, numerous accounts that he, he's an asshole. Like, okay. You're the dick. Like, there's someone else that hates Kevin James. I forget who they are, but M- yeah, like, yeah, I, just wanna... I think I like the grown ups movies more because I have kids now. That's the reason I love them so. Oh, oh dude, they're nice God. family movies. They actually do have a good message, you know? Yeah. No, and they're making the kids go outside. My children are so young and they're always on fucking tablets and phones and shit. Yeah, but see, I think that's that's due to parenting. Not to put a slight on your you as a parent, but like I have tons of family members, like like that's cousins. They say, and uncles. but everyone else tells them it's okay. So if I tell them it's wrong, then I'm the bad guy. Well, fuck it, be the bad guy, because like I'm gonna. No, like, I, know, I know that. I know that. You know, because like if anything, like uh, if I had a, a daughter or a son, I would not give them a fucking cell phone until they were like. 15 maybe <laughs> like maybe and well, like no, these kids have like not phones that like uh, and shit, you know it's my wife it's my wife's cell phone but they do have a tablet yeah. and shit though and they fucking run that shit enough as it is I mean, they got to be computer savvy, but I, I don't know. There's oh, just a lot of creepy know. people and like internet it just in mm-hmm. general is just so fucking terrible like if you're you know it, it's great but at the same time it's terrible you could you could go down the wrong road easily so i i don't know i'd be a little concerned i just don't like uh uh kids and technology especially nowadays like being like reading books and whatnot and and seeing all these <clears throat> kids like nobody reads no. anymore they just like look at their phone all fucking day what terrifies me is that i was a kid with technology See, I wasn't. Thank God. And John can relate to me there too. Like, like when you were a kid, there was—I mean, there wasn't fucking like cell phones and fucking tech and shit. Fuck yeah, that. Was, we had. Yeah, there was. Not, there was video games. That's tech. Not that's like, tech. not like well, baby that's child, tech, but, like, but you couldn't carry around your video game. I mean, yeah, 15, those handheld devices. Sixteen, seventeen. 
No, there was no cell phones and shit. I mean, <coughs> cell phones go back to the 70s, man. If you guys didn't know, they had them big fucking car phones that people would lug around that were rich. So cell oh, phones ain't be nothing like new, like new, new. But I say every generation has its own form of tech. So my generation ushered in all the video game consoles. That's that's my form of tech. You guys ushered in uh, the internet, basically. You know what I mean? Because you guys are young. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm referring. Yeah, yeah. Technically, you're you are correct, sir. But I, yeah, I'm referring to that internet stuff, like stuff devices that have internet on them. You right. know? Right. Yeah. Like yeah. phones. You know, like nowadays people will read their tablet instead of reading books. They will. Be on their phone instead of taking a walk, you know, like they can't multitask. People are so much lazy, lazier than they used to be. You could say walkie talkies for the military are a precursor to cell phones. I mean, walkie talkies been around for a long time, dude. <coughs> they've had they've had calm they've had calm links uh with with you know the military radios. <laughs> For fucking years, like I remember, my first cell two. phone wasn't for friends or any of that shit. It was for one person, so my mother could call me if any kind of situation ever happened at the school, like a shooting or any kind of shit like that. Jesus, so keep, mm -hmm. keep in touch. It wasn't for fun shooting the shit. Mm -hmm. well, I didn't yeah. have I didn't have friends for shooting the shit at that point, but yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they they <clears throat> they knew what they were doing because they knew once once they made that shit affordable that that shit was gonna fucking that that shit was gonna cap capture people, man. People were gonna be like, oh fuck, I no, I can get a phone and I can and walk. Around people around. forget you could text and stuff back then too. It just costs like fucking sixty dollars a text. Well, like my my you you guys probably. Yeah, you guys were probably on the cusp of like with beepers too. Like I know beepers were a thing when I oh, was. I, I never had a beeper. I never had one either. I wasn't a fucking drug dealer. Plus, I wasn't. That yeah, important. me neither. No, my mother had a shitload of beepers though because she was a nurse for her whole life. So that's funny. But oh, they were yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. They were up there like everybody had them. Like not everybody. I didn't, you know. But like a lot of motherfuckers had. Them. Yeah, I knew exactly. more. I didn't have it. No fucking good papers. Yeah, I see them. <laughs> First time I was born, I was like, what get the page fuck? to go into work. Yep, get paid. <laughs> and you gotta get to a fucking. Uh, you get to a pay phone, <laughs> so you can make the call to the person and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kev, you you make it. <laughs> Kev's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna use your holiday agent. To get drunk. Let's let's do it, yeah. Kev. I don't celebrate it either, bro. I don't fucking celebrate that nonsense. Puppycock. You, you see all the shit? You uh, have you guys like like I don't watch the news. I was kind of forced to today because my fucking coworker he throws the TV on and he's watching the news and I'm like and I'm and the whole thing is thinking, dude, what the fuck? But anyway, I, I'm hearing it. I'm not even watching. It. I'm hearing it, man. They're really trying to push this fucking like uh well it's already July 4th. That's today, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're really yeah. trying to come on, America, let's get out there and you know, all this other shit. Like, make sure you got have y'all seen the goddamn oceans on fire? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. The fucking I think, I think ocean was, is on fire. Yeah. There was some shit like maybe maybe it was one one of them um oil rigs out there in the fucking ocean. Yeah, it was a pipeline. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a fucking hell's opening up in the ocean. Like a fucking yeah, dude, like a portal to hell. Like it, it's exactly. like a fucking That's what it crazy. Looks like. Go look it up. Awesome. Now you guys make there. it sound metal at least. There's <laughs> fire. There's fire underneath the fucking water. And Bro, look at it. Like, it's, oh, it's crazy. Go look it up. This is some it's, end time it, stuff. It, it it really that, is, bro. The ocean is on fire. fire. I didn't know the ocean was on fucking fire. Jesus Christ. Well, a portion of the ocean is on fire because of the... Uh, is bubbling. Yep. And fucking just nasty. 
Looks like that it was ready for, the to receive the Kraken or some shit, bro. Like, for real. Yeah. Like, well, I'm ready like, for I'm ready for oil to be like like a resource <laughs> is not is absolute uh, uh, absolute uh, obsolete, you know, because like it it smells and refineries suck. I live next to a refinery; they suck. They just <laughs> pollute the air, you know. Fucking, oh, I rather it be all fucking green, you know. I rather it be green. It'd be better. Like if your cars got charged, it'd be. I, I think it'd be better. Jesus mm. Christ! Did you Wait, look it I'm up? Looking, yeah, I'm looking insane, at this. Shit. Right? This looks like some the fucking eye from Lord of the Rings and shit. That's fucking terrifying. The great eye is ever watch. Us. It was June twenty fourth. La La Saint Jean. La Saint Jean. It's kind of the same kind of party. Like July fourth. Is that what you're saying, bro? You can have your opinions about America, frankly, my dear. I don't give a damn because I still love, bro. No, that's you. I don't, and I served in the military, and I don't. So that—that's all you, brother. We all agree that that's the not. He said he had some drinks tonight, and that's why he's extra. Yeah, yeah. it's risky. I—I I don't. I don't see you Boom. as offensive, man. So don't worry, man. Everybody. Should be allowed to say what they want to say as long as it isn't encroaching on no, somebody I, I, else. I agree. I'm just I'm I don't give a fuck what anybody says, dude. I'm always gonna voice my opinion. Well, yeah, that, I agree, dude. Okay. Uh, and and I agree with you on your opinion as far as that's concerned, dude. Wholeheartedly. We're getting it. We're getting into all the steep stuff, and June's already switched it to I will put out the the ocean fire with my hose. <laughs> <laughs> like he's already yeah. switched it. He's already got well, gone. To that, that's what he does, man. Exactly. That's the important thing here is hey. fucking stupid humans, man. How the fuck do you catch the ocean on fire? It's if a, it was body a problem. Of water. Yeah, I'll solve it. Check out the hook on my DJ result. Like, nice, uh, of course, nice baby. us dumbasses <laughs> found the way to set water on fire. Of course we did. Look, they need to just go out there and smoke on the water. Like, okay. How Something. fucking sad is that? I give you, I give you a two-hour talk with me, June. Just me, and, you, and I guarantee I will change your mind about everything you feel. I guarantee it. Yep. Two hours. That's all I need. Well, I, I think just through travel, like I've learned that America is not the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I've been many other places aside from America, and uh, I mean, just the people and the culture, and there's le- well, like what we were talking about earlier with like cell phones and people just being glued to their TVs and shit. People get out there more. People ride their bikes more. People yep. are are more interested in the arts elsewhere. Don't get me wrong. There's those people here in America too, but mm-hmm. they're further and fewer between than like abroad or just or even like in in like uh let's say okinawa or some some place like that yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. that would be fucking dope man i wish i could get to asia man like anywhere oh dude i'm gonna try i'm gonna try like i really want to go there bad dude that because that's like a complete 180 you know what i mean it's like Forget everything yep. you know, you know, <laughs> type shit, you know? You're going to get culture shock when you go there. Samurai fucking jungle over there. Hell yeah, dude. I'm down for that. some of that stuff. Some art of war type shit. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of yeah. happened to me, bro, when I went to Germany, when I was stationed over there. Like, when I first got there, until I got the gist of it and how it shit worked, uh, yeah, it was, it was a little bit of culture shock. But it, it was it was pleasant. For the most part, there was a little bit of hiccups here and there, but it was pleasant for the most part. You know what I, mean? so. I saw them live June in 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 Mexico. <laughs> nice, Kev. Yeah, what, man, like- what happened, uh, uh, Kevin? The fucking probably the oil, the the oil gets on the surface of the water. Mm-hmm. Basically, the the water surface gets on fire, but it's so hot that it. It kind of goes. It, it, it's yeah. on fire underneath, though, coming yeah, out of the fucking the, pipe. Mm-hmm. The They're pipe gonna have to do the, what? Are they, where they have to blow it to make it stop? They're um, have to blow it up. If they can't cap it, if they can't cap it, if the hole's too big and they can't cap it, they have to basically 
bury that shit. And that's gonna be a bunch of fucking more pollution in the ocean and shit too, man. That's one of the that's one of the ways they stop it is by fucking without. I'm not that old, too. But listen, y'all y'all looking at the surface level of the shit. Now, where did this happen? Because <laughs> Gulf of Mexico, it said. Oh Lord! Well, that's one of the biggest fucking places right. where we get our oil from. So right there, Gulf of Mexico. Yes, I'm in that's, Florida, so that's, the that's there. big oil down there, boy. Like we found a way to like break nature and set water on fire. <laughs> break like, no. that's we set the, de- the depths on fire. The fucking depths of the ocean yeah, from the bottom of it to the surface mm-hmm. in a fiery blaze. Like, like, think about how fucking that could be like a fucking joke. That's man. Drew like, Barrymore. Dark. That's Drew Barrymore from Firestarter shit. Oh, yeah. Lord. When she makes the ice, you catch on fire. Man. <laughs> mm. Like, like, hey, Joe, what, what you get fired for? Oh, I set the ocean on fire on accident. I set the what? Gulf of Mexico on fire. I set the Gulf of Mexico on fire. But hey, All right, it was a fun 4th of there? July. <laughs> what's the <deal? laughs> what's July? Yeah, the fucking, even the water is fucking putting up fireworks right now and shit, bro. Yeah. I don't watch I the news, so I don't even know. I, I peeped there. Somebody posted it on like Instagram. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, this isn't the first time shit like that happened. <coughs> this has happened before. <coughs> it's just that, guess what? Expect your motherfucking gas prices to go up. Watch. Watch. For yeah, sure. It, hey, at least the oil's burning this time immediately and not spreading out, kind of. It's just gonna fuck up so much other shit though too. Watch. It's crazy. This will create months. Fuck. If Man, only my- Imagine like instead of like check this out. <laughs> this is some funny shit. Imagine like instead of nations going to war. Like they did Pokemon battles. Like we had our own Pokemons in America. They had theirs and they we made them battle and shit and they in a, in a place where you know you know whatever the dispute was and whoever wins in the fucking pokemon battle that's who wins the dispute you know whatever the, you know mm-hmm. you know both sides agree to it and they're like well you know this is what's up for stake blown you send your fucking pokemon but it's a designated place to where it doesn't fuck up like you're not fucking up cities and shit like that you know what i'm saying yeah. you're, you're in a what designated you- area and shit huh what do you call a Jamaican gynecologist? Jesus. I don't know <laughs> what. Pokemon. Mm. Pokemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. I that's get the, it. the most Pokemon I can get into because I don't understand the craze, dude. There's people buying these like yeah, vintage man. fucking boxes mm-hmm. and like they're, they're getting like these all crazy into these Pokemon cards. And like personally, I especially you, you John, being an artist and stuff. I don't. I think John's art's way better than anything Pokemon. Like fucking like uh, like seriously. Like I don't understand the craze. I think that the art is fucking like is half ass. It's not even good. And there's there's much better art elsewhere. And it's, and yeah, yeah it's, it's very so basic. It's elsewhere. very yeah yeah yeah. I it mean. Is. I like the show, but I don't collect the cards anymore. But like, I'll watch the show here and there. I think it's just garbage. I don't know. It's just me. I like cartoons, though. I do like cartoons. I just, you know, not into Pokemon. I I was never I was never into it, man. My son, my son, though, who's like, you know, basically, my kids are around the same age as Trench. And this is like, this is like, I feel like art art is coming up with this Pokemon shit, and and Trench, of course. So this is after my time, but like I, you know, yeah. I'm like I see it because it's always around me type of shit. But I'm not there collecting anything, playing anything. However, <laughs> my wife plays that shit like not not on the, the computer or anything like that. But that fucking phone game that came, 
Man. Oh, that fucking Pokemon Go garbage. Yeah, bro. She had me going with her to the fucking city park and looking for these fucking things. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I'm not oh, sorry, that, that close to that. home, huh? But I hear that that pedos were using that to fucking um like fucking abduct children. That's what I heard. Wow. Oh yeah, dude. <clears throat> they found her dead like, body. China like there was Fucking Pokemon Go led someone to a dead body, you know? <laughs> yeah, some shady ass shit right there, yo. Like fuck that Pokemon garbage. That, like, I like, like it, yo. You know what was big? You know what was big was the garbage pill kids. Like oh, I still got some. Garbage oh, hell pill yeah. Kids were fucking huge, yeah, yo. And those were fucking good art too. And it was funny too, because they ate up dude. I got like four. No, like eight of those ray gun ones because there was a, one with uh, uh, Ronald Reagan, but they call them R A Y G U N. Like, yep. uh, I got and those ray are worth gun. some cash, yo. I got some, yeah, I got some fucking garbage pill kids worth some loot, yo. Now, yeah, like, now, <laughs> now, yeah, now. Hey, yeah, I was, I was shit. born in 91, I never liked Pokemon or Digimon. That shit hit <laughs> me, shit, bro. Well, when I was a teenager, that that Any of the we moms. Kid. I was still a kid, I think, when that shit hit. The only <laughs> thing I like is Yaman, yeah, everything Iri man. That's the only man I like. Yo, I like have you ever seen the ganja the, man. the garbage yes, pill kids the movie? Ganja man. Me think everything Iri man, yeah. Yeah, Yo. the the garbage pill kids movie is the shit. Like it's you bad, but I still enjoy it. It's, bro, it's worse than fucking. It's worse than Troll Two, bro. I, I, what? That, that Central yeah. got robbed at eleven. First bro, Pokemon it's fucking cards. ridiculous that movie, man. I've only yeah, seen what? it once, dude. When it first came out, and I was just like, "What the fuck is this?" Motherfuckers shit? are robbing each other. <laughs> they need to remake that as a horror movie. Well, yeah, but, but yeah, that that would make sense. Like garbage. Like an movie. Horror movie. I already had an idea, like. Because you could do something with that shit. They need to bring the Garbage Pail Kids back. Those are just fun. I think they did recently. Like, they tried to do some newer shit. Uh, or they re they redid the art with some of them. I, not they, need to do it like, they need to do it, like, for real. For real, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really push it. Like, Those when things. I was growing up, they weren't Garbage Pail Kids. But they had these, like, little figures with, like, these big plastic puffy heads and they all had like they were all deformed they each had like one was a pizza guy and stuff but the thing is you would squeeze their head and a stench would come out like they okay. would fill these things with like stinky smells and okay. like like and you would squeeze their head and the stench would come out and you could let's like see. fuck with let's see how let's see how astute anybody is with this next question I'm gonna ask as does any okay, you had we had garbage pill kids, right? Does anybody remember fucking wacky packages where they would take a, a item like you know, if you bought Mountain Dew, right? And they would call it uh fountain pool, and they you know they they'd fucking switch up the artwork, make it look gross or something. You guys don't remember wacky packages? Yeah, kind of. I think look it up, man. No, I... wacky, yeah, trench something <laughs> you definitely would have been into that, man. Born in the wrong era, Trent. I don't. I don't remember that shit, dude. Like, I never. I. I. I believe it existed, but I. I'm not. Oh, no, it exists, bro. And if it doesn't, if this is the second Mandela effect tonight, like I had the other night, then I'm going to bed. That ass. Wacky packages and ugly stickers. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Channel Don Star hooks it up. Hey, Roger. Come on, baby, like my fire. No, I wasn't crazy, man. Let's set the ocean on fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kevin. I like I bike could get into it for sure. Yeah, it, that Pokemon shit is yeah, it's one of them things, man. Pokemon, I, I like Digimon, all them. They they start coming up. I remember, I, dude. I, I you know like you are. I, I have kids. They're all grown now. But I went through the whole phase of Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, fucking D Digimon. Oh, I forgot about the Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, those fucking right. things that had the arena that you fucking. It's like a zip tie thing, and they fucking start hitting each other like little tops. Oh, oh the fucking Beyblades. 
in I Europe. remember there's all kinds of different forms of these Bay blade things. shit, right? <laughs> yeah, the big blades. Uh, you had a uh, fucking. There was another one that had the figures and shit, like See, where you. Broke it. It's funny. It's funny. Like you, you guys' generation got like so much more um, Asian influenced cartoons. Like I, you guys had, like you guys had all that Pokemon shit. All that, all that stuff is, is you know, like it's like based on Japan animation or wherever the fuck they're making these, but like mostly in Asia. And mm -hmm. like they're all based off like those type of characters and everything. There was a lot of that more in your generation than I feel there was in mine. Like I had let's yeah, all that they had what Speed Racer. Well, yeah, we had Speed Racer. We had uh, uh, Voltron. We had um, what the fuck was this? Well, you got to remember, lot, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, was created in, in Japan, and that was that was our time, man. I thought I thought that was Eastman and Laird. That's the two. They were in Japan when they created it. Well, it it, it got uh, the concept was Japanese, man. It was drawn originally. Oh yeah, and then of course. It, oh yeah, yeah. It, 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 it got fleshed out, Americanized, you know. But like, yeah, it was completely Japan. Astro Probably. Boy, Ninja. Tur He's like Ninja Turtles is American, man. <laughs> oh, Ninja Turtles is American. Chaotic was dope, June. I oh. watched that. Play. Oh, that's Robo true. Tech. I mean, we're we're more influenced by by Asian culture than we'd like to uh, that we we even know. Like with all those video game consoles you were talking oh. about too. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. But now, but you're right though. But like, it, it is more abundant nowadays for sure. Oh yeah, like I, I feel. I don't in know. Your face. Just, huh? It's in your face totally now. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm cool <clears> with it. like me too. Like that's that's the shit to me. Like I I fucking I've never been into. Like I said, I came up with <clears throat> Voltron, Robotech, Transor Z. No, I. I think Ben was right about it. Oh, no, it was the uh, comic, comic book part. About the comic book part. I know it was. Yeah, Ben's right. No, but what, what 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 Paul's saying is that it's fucking like uh you know, it's all themed from like, you know, Asian, you know, like fucking samurai and, and ninjas and you know what I mean? So it's it has that that influence. <laughs> What's up, Don Star? But yeah, I, I guess you know, as a kid, you don't really think of shit like that too much. I mean, unless I don't know, you just kind of like watching whatever. But it's just something I noticed with the progression of these fucking cartoons from versus when I came up. Like, like I, I I'll fucking I'll I'll fight anybody. I'll say that my my era of cartoons between the seventies and eighties was the best era for cartoons. Hands down. <laughs> Guess what? You wouldn't have your little Scream movie had it not been for motherfucking who? Who? Scooby-Doo. Scooby Woo! Yeah, buddy. And Draggy Doo. And Draggy Doo. Scrappy Doo. Scooby-Doo got Scooby-Doo, and that's the shit. Can't argue with that. That's my favorite cartoon, bro, of all time. Good shit, Why though. Like this, man. Transformers was originally it it, it 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 still is, bro. It's it's just it's just you know it's a concept that somebody came up with that lives over there, and fucking you know they we, American audiences picked up on it. They sold it as toys. That's where they were most successful. You know the show was the show. The Transformers show was dope. The I heard that the Popeye character was a real person and that he was actually like a like a not good person. Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's based off an actual person, but Popeye was created back in like nineteen. Actually, Olive Oil was created before Popeye. Popeye, she was created around nineteen eleven, something early, and then Popeye came along around between fourteen, fifteen, somewhere around there. He came a few years after Olive Oil. She was already a character in something else. So yeah, well, they, go ahead. Oh my bad, John. I cut you off. No, no, I'm, bro. This is your fucking stream. You fucking tell me. Fuck Lay off. on a stretch. 
Wait on us. Uh, no, I was going to say there was an episode of Popeye where he murdered a guy. Did you guys ah. see that? <laughs> no. An old one? Yeah, it's an old one. Like, this dude keeps pissing him off, and in the end, he just straight up <laughs> murders the guy. Like, and the guy keeps doing it on accident. He can't control himself. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I got to see this fucking Popeye murder in some dude. Uh, Olive oil than the average are, are you Googling it? It sounds like. <laughs> Olive oil was 1915, I believe, and Popeye was 1923. My dates might. Yeah, I feel like both of ours are wrong. Look, I was I fucking I was just reading about this shit the other day. <clears throat> I don't know why. So this is funny that we're on this Popeye shit tonight. So. Hi, put a glass of water down with it. Art pays attention. Stay ahead of the pain. Mm hmm. Sometimes when you're in pain, you gotta you gotta engage in that thing that put you in pain, and face it. That's why I said when you're hurting from lifting weights, what do you what do you do? Like in between going back, you fucking lift a little bit of weights, but don't go fucking nutty. Unless you're fucking training for some uh, some fucking triathlon or some shit, <laughs> the catalan. Yo, you heard about this? What's this girl's name? Yo, this chick that fucking yo, she's only like five foot two, ran, bro. She's a fucking bullet. This girl trying out, I guess she's trying out for the Olympic, the trials or some shit, yo. Y'all know who I'm talking about? This chick, the racer, yo. Runner. Nobody. No. I I do not. What's her name? Fuck, I don't know. She's a shorty, though. They, 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 well, anyway, this may put it in perspective. They're, they're fucking with her now because they said, like, somehow they found out that she was using oh. marijuana. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. Yeah. I don't know. They said, but Please. damn, this dude, can do, this dude can do this and fucking had a picture of, like, one of these fucking, uh, well, I'm not going to say. Like, well, somebody, who's, somebody who's transitioning is a fucking full-blown male still, but identifies as a female and on like a fucking wrestling team or something. You don't think that motherfucker is going to dominate? <laughs> yeah, no. I'm with you there. I don't I don't think that's right. Like no, I, I, don't I don't think, think it's, it's right. fucking right either. How I don't I? think it's right. Um like, like I'm not not no sliding against any trans people, but it's just like, hey, if you were born a man and then just because you transition into a female, you still are strong like a man. You know, so yeah. I know you should be disqualified. Also, as far as the girl's concerned with the pot, um, yes. If, Yo, if, I, if I've you're seen... taking anything, if you're taking any kind of substances that like increase your ability, like I don't know, like even meth or something, to just get to you more. But like pot, if anything, is going to hinder your ability to run. It's not going to make you run faster. So it's well, like no, if I, don't think, sense, I don't see. I don't think she was taking it. I don't think she was taking it like, you know, she didn't take it right before. No, I, I know she just tested dirty. They're talking about drugs like penis. Adderall and shit that would improve her performance. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. If anything, that's that's a hurdle that she has to right. get over uh, smoking pot because that's inhaling her. I mean, it, uh, same well, with Michael. But that's, that's inhibiting thing, we, don't, we, don't know, we don't know. We don't know if she's smoking it or not. That's another thing. Either way, e even if she ingested it or whatever, yeah, if she's yeah. taking something that's not actually bolstering her abilities. If anything, it's inhibiting them. So yeah, it's, fuck not, it's, not, it's not conducive so, to like so that's sport bullshit. That's bullshit. They she should not get disqualified. Nah, she should be nope. given her fucking access to the fucking Olympics, and she should go on her merry fucking way. Not, no, I can amazing. Tell you this, hot fucking isn't going to make it easier for you to win the Olympics. It's going to make it harder. I'm yes. gonna be like, oh, I don't feel like doing any of this shit right now. I rather you, eat some New York stuff. I'm gonna, pizza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow my diet. I'm gonna blow my top diet plan that I've been on for months and just go pee out. The, what the fuck? What diet plan? You're, you're like skinny as fuck. 
<laughs> Why do you think I'm skinny as fuck? Because I don't know. You're Diet a plan. No. <laughs> no. I, I'm confused. Who's a midget? What? June's talking about girl, midget. We don't we don't use girl. that word anymore. The girl is five two. Like she's five two. And oh. all these, yeah. <clears throat> all these other bitches was taller than her and she fucking just whoop. Like I haven't seen anybody run that quick, uh, that height ever. Maybe when I'm a kid, not me. <laughs> That's also, she's a bullet, yo. I think five two is the perfect height for a woman. That, that just me, though. Huh? My apologies to all the dwarfs. <laughs> uh, <sorry. laughs> I'm not call you the slur. Um, I think I think Trench got that like. I'm Locke. Like he's the he's the biggest offender here of dwarves, and like yeah, I I I it's like I try not to offend everybody else, but I always slip when it comes to the dwarves. But I <laughs> like the dwarves a lot. Like I want to be a dwarf. I wish I was born a dwarf. <laughs> I want to be a little person. You weren't, you weren't saying anything bad. It was just like how some people still say Indians instead of Native. You're Americans. fucking not, dude. You're fucking just a slip. Not. <laughs> well, but it is, it is the equivalent of the N word, uh, like according uh, if you're a little person. Whoa. <clears throat> In Trench's case, I, I, you know I, mean, I, like, I, I don't really don't well, think I, give, I give him a pass too because, like, I I will say it sometimes. Um, and but I I I wait, try wait, to wait, correct you? myself. I, I I don't want to offend anybody, you know. Wait, wait, what what slips out of your mouth? What are you, what are you saying? You, you what? Slip the with M, what? The M word that, that Trenchy just used for little people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah. You were saying we're you were letting the, the M word slip, slip out your mouth and shit. The, it's like, but dude, it's it's something I got to get used to because like, grow, and it's not an excuse, but growing up, like they hammer it in your head not to say certain words. But that was still fine when I was growing up. Like you, like oh, I, I know what you mean. Part. I know it. I know exactly what you mean. It and wouldn't like on. I well, should be better, but you know, the, I forget. The, the, the idiot doctor, the idiot doctor trench. You told us called you this word. Oh and yeah, he, that was that was really has, com that was common as fuck during my time. Yeah, like everybody was saying that shit. Like you would call your best friend that man, you fucking retarded or what? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. not like not like a a dig on them, man. On people that have you know Down syndrome or any type of dysfunction mentally, you know. With now it's like I, it's not even something I like to say. It just goes going poor. Bro, I swear to you, they're gonna call you. When I was when I was a kid, and I, I feel like up until I was a fucking teenager, I had never heard of anybody having. ADHD, fucking ODD, motherfucking all these acronyms. I feel like this is motherfucking New Jersey, and I'm back with them. OPP, like I, you didn't. I guess like you obviously you're gonna be paying. You're not gonna be paying so much attention to shit like that, unless it's like the main feature in the news. Like kids now, ADHD. Like where the fuck this shit came from? It seemed like it came out of nowhere. Or these motherfuckers just found a clever way to diagnose some shit that's already been there from rip. Because they used to say kids my age, when I was acting up, oh, no, he's a little hyperactive. See, they're already introducing the words into the fucking vernacular. Hyperactive. So then, you know, they go on and I believe, yo, I'm, I'm the biggest conspiracy theorist on shit like that. I believe that shit was created somehow. And we already know what we're talking about because the world is going through it right now. Here's your free motherfucking Krispy Kreme donut, you fat fuck. <laughs> Take that with this. You know what I'm talking about, Trench. I know. Yeah, brother. They're still firing on fucking fireworks, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Are they? Where are you at? Uh, it's quiet around here, man. Like, no one really does crazy shit. They were around firing on fireworks. Like, man. 
ridiculous. Yeah, they get bro, the worst. I feel like the worst ever. I went through with that firework shit. You, you would not believe when I was <laughs> when I had when I was living in Hawaii. This is after the military. Came back home, went back there. Listen, these motherfuckers on 4th of July in Hawaii, in a fucking Samoan and other Polynesian people ghetto. Loud as fuck. And it's so loud right outside where you're living and shit. Like, it's just like, blah, 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 right there in the fucking, because these houses are made a little bit different over there type of shit. So, yeah, it's fucking just loud, dude. And it's it was like right outside your window type shit. And it's fucking like you trying to sleep and that shit's keeping you up all fucking night. They went all night with it. I'm like, how much of these shits did these motherfuckers buy? <laughs> it was crazy, yo. And I was so fuck, yo, my, my wife was like, my ex-wife was holding me like, she's like, because I want to go out there and fuck with these. I didn't give a fuck how big they were, dude, because I had a fucking baby. Fucking infant trying to sleep. The infant was sleeping, surprisingly, but <laughs> yeah, fuck fireworks, man. That's just that's just cool when you're a kid. You know, you go to a fucking wherever you, uh, your city park, baseball stadium, wherever the fuck they do these things. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, that's it. Hey, 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 you know, and the fire trucks come and they fucking clean all the shit up. You know, yeah. But like, <laughs> see, we'll go back to Asia again. Wh wh who who made fireworks, people? Yeah, like the Chinese. Yes, sir. Because yep. the Chinese made gunpowder and shit. Like, yeah. they made fucking um, everything. It was discovered a little bit before that, but yeah, they were uh, they were the main. Just because of yeah, the yeah. geography and everything where they're at. Easier to find certain elements. I still love fireworks. It would suck if it was taken away because people complaining. They say kids oh. now have way more estrogen in them because of the stuff put in our food. <laughs> I believe it. I, I do believe. Mm -hmm. uh, kids now are the new gen uh, soy boy beta cucks. Fucking soy boy beta puffs, beta cucks, c u c k s. <laughs> soy soy boy beta cucks. Oh, yeah. dude, oh, so is, this like the, is this like hipsters in Brooklyn with the fucking man bun and the fucking flannel shirts and the tight pants? And I don't you, know, you don't know what a cuck is, dude. It's just that, like, um. People are fucking way more estrogen filled, the less testosterone, the whole fucking the whole kit and caboodle, man, is is making it to where you got a a generation of soy boy beta cuts. Uh, I, I learned like, what a cup was recently. Is, like, okay. that recently I feel like, like I know what it is. Can, can oh, I explain? it means like a, a bitch. Pretty much not a bitch, but it means like you know, like uh, it's like a simp. Yes, I don't, I don't use, I don't <clears throat> use the b word because I think it's a slight towards like any female. But like, I mean, to each uh, his own. I don't get offended by it. It's a, say what you want to say. It's a, it's a, it's a. But, but actually, a cuck like uh, it derived from like it's very Shakespearean. It, it, it's, it's short for cuckold. And it's just like somebody who has a hot wife, for example, and uh, <laughs> and somebody else goes out and fucks, or they're a cuck, you know? Yeah, they're yeah, like you, you, and and the dude standing right there, fucking fluffing the dude up. It's it's very voyeuristic and shit, is it not? Well, it's, it's not necessarily voyeuristic. It's just the art of of. Uh, Letting your wife get fucked by some other dude because you're a soy boy beta cook. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you see, you see me. This would never happen to a motherfucker like me. That's right. Same here. 
And <laughs> like, uh, uh, like I believe in uh, if I was ever married, I would never cheat on my wife. But I have aided in the process of committing adultery many times in my life. And it's very, okay, very so you have old boys that like, yo, I got this girl, like, let's go out, like that type of shit. Well, see, the thing is, like, in, in, in my 20s, for some reason, like, married women were attracted to me. And they, like, they, I wouldn't hit on them, but they would hit on me. And I'm not trying to boast or anything. But, no, no, but no. That, that was just what was transpiring in my 20s. And so I got with a lot of married women. And I liked it because there were no strings attached. And not no, only I, that, I, I, I've, I've messed with, I've messed I'm with committing just... adultery. I'm merely aiding in the process of committing adultery. She's committing adultery because she's married. <laughs> I'm not. I'm aiding in the process. Yeah, and and I'm sure you enjoyed every bit of the fucking process. I enjoyed. I enjoyed the cuckdom. I will. I will cuckify people, but like I'm not going to be no cuck. You know, I'm not a yeah. soy boy beta. <laughs> Oh, Kevin, Ty, is Ty seriously trying to take a shot at me in the chat? I just no one has ever seen his girlfriend. And here's that ridiculous we've cowboy been, hat. We've been through this, though. Art is the only motherfucker that can rock the man bun with me. I don't, I can't accept it yeah. from anybody else. Ty is wasted. Russell's the only guy who can rock the you know, like, like, Ty, you know better than to like attack the man, but man, don't attack the bun of steel. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna the get bun burned. Of steel, what the, the fuck? The bun of steel, man. The bun of steel. They won't attack the fake girlfriend either. Oh, I mean, you know. <laughs> Yo, I jaded kiss. I jaded kiss that. <laughs> I mean, Ty started it, so that's on him. Like, he started that shit. I, I, what's going on right now? He's drunk. Ty's drunk, and he made a joke about the band bun. And... Wait, <laughs> supposedly he's drunk. It could be like one of the middle school things where he's playing that he's drunk. I wouldn't put it past him. In middle school. <clears throat> he does say that he's banned from StreamYard, but we all know that's bullshit. I yo. See, that's some shit that my generation when it came up with that whole like explanation of how a person is. Soy boy beta cup. Back then we probably just would have called the motherfucker a sorry ass motherfucker or just sad. You're just sad, like in not like the, the depression, but just like you're a sad motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, Kevin, you have a wife and a girlfriend? Or am I reading so wrong? <laughs> Wait, you said or. Okay, my bad. I was very confused. I'm like, how do you have a wife well, and a girlfriend? As, no, I, a like, it does seem like the way he's saying it is like he has both and shit. Like, like what's that called? Like, that's called playatology, right? No, that's not the word. No, I like it. Playatology. Like what? What's that word? Like that? There's a dude on TV, and he has multiple wives, but I don't know what the, they called those people. Play, playatology, yo! What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking trench. You're a nut. I don't know what to call it. No, that's fucking perfect. We're gonna make a fucking song called Playatology. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to people what that is. He's a fucking he's a player. There, there is a word for it though, where the guy has multiple wives. Like, yeah, I, po polygamy. 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 He said, "Yo, yeah. but Trench fucking came up with an ill fucking word, playatology. That's when, that's when a player." Lures the chicks with his psychology. Nice. That's playatology. What the fuck? It reminds me of like do or die, uh, a do or die like typology. Uh, uh, that's some good shit, dude. That's like some twisted type shit. Some good hip hop now. Like that. You're breaking up. I it though, but I, I, like, I liked it though. It sounds like <laughs> charm school, but. Like, <laughs> this fucking. <laughs> Look at Kevin. 
Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Did you guys read that shit? Uh, oh, yeah, that's fair, Kevin. I wouldn't want anything in my butt either. <laughs> This, this ass is exit only. No unless, unless it's them drugs that Art was talking about having to put there for if we had to kidnap you. Not putting drugs in my butt. Well, you don't want you you gonna you're gonna have to get them in you some way. You know, well, there's this, there's this movie there's, uh, there's uh, uh, before there. Night Falls, and in it Johnny Depp. He he cameos. He's he he's a transvestite in prison, and he smuggles messages up his rectum. Ugh. I mean, hey, Brian and Coco. You know it's crazy shit, yo. Oh uh, yeah, you should see it. It's called Before Night Falls. I I've never heard of that one, yo. Yeah, no one has. It's it's a very uh in, indie movie. Obscure. Very obscure. Nobody would associate. But uh, remember, uh, Depp has a, has a a knack for for being pretty flamboyant. Like whether it be the Chocolate Factory, which butchered the original, by the way. But but more importantly, Ed Wood. Ed Wood was pretty good. Where they brought back a uh, Lugosi, Bella Lugosi. Hey Brian, you came in. Yo, yo these cats. Yo, these cats were just watching that Planet Planet Number Nine shit the other day, or what? Planet, what is it? Planet Nine? You know what I saw, John? I saw fucking Which Way Is Up. Isn't that a dope-ass movie? You remember that shit? Clint Eastwood? No! Fucking uh, Richard Pryor. Oh, fuck. Yes. Dude. I fucking... Yo, I love all the old, like, Richard Pryor fucking films. Like That's all I've been into lately. I've been getting into, like, Critical Condition and Which Way Is yeah. Up. All the Shit that I could fucking get. That my one, hands. No, man, I fucking right. saw that shit. Like, I don't know. I think my uncle ran it or what. And we watched that shit. It was fucking funny as hell, yo. Fuck yeah, that shit was funny as right. fuck. He's so oh, good. Oh, the moving, the moving shit is my other one. I like that. I like that one too, yo. I'll see y'all later, Brian. I am trench. All right, guys. I'll good see you, see, man. Right. See your... Bye. All right, bro. How do you confuse Clint Eastwood and Richard Pryor? It's the wrong color. What? No, I guessed Clint Eastwood. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Because I thought, he, like, any which, what the fuck is it now? See, now you got me thinking. Wait, is any, there one? You're talking about the Clint Eastwood monkey movie, right? Yeah, That's any which way but loose. And then I don't know what the fuck is that shit. Every which way you can. It's just whatever I play on words with that shit. Yeah. <sighs> I bet you if they had done a like an older school Batman, if they say they try to do this shit in like ooh, maybe the fucking 70s. Clint Eastwood plays Batman and shit in the 70s. Okay. As a, as a fucking detective. <laughs> if they ever did Batman return or not Batman returns, but like uh, I think it's Batman returns, but the the young Batman, you could have Clint Eastwood as old Bruce Wayne. Hmm. Yeah. Any which way you can. See, that's why I thought you yeah, were saying. Yeah, that sounds like reminiscent of what I just relayed. Which way is up? Any which way you can. I, yeah, can, I, can I, was, I, was like, I knew yeah. it wasn't because they, they look like twins or anything, you know. So, yeah, two totally different people, but 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 good in their own right. Even though I respect Richard Pryor way more, but um, yeah. but I still love I I still love me some Eastwood though, like especially his westerns. I mean, his westerns are. I don't think there's a better uh, head guy for for westerns. I mean, he made John uh, John Wayne eat his own feces, like <laughs> fuck John Wayne. Yeah, I, I like um, True Grit, but 
Like, I'm not too big on John Wick, but I like True Grit. I mean, I'm not going to discredit the the whole man's line of work, but I'm just saying, like, as as like a major Western, like uh, a cowboy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing like a the tall, gaunt, you know, gunslinger type. That's that's the type of like character my, that my motherfuckers had back then too. Yeah. Yeah, that that like Stephen King wrote about, like in in the Dark Tower and shit. That's who he's referring to, like a tall, like fucking white, uh, gaunt gunslinger. I like how in the movie they they made Idris Elba played the gunslinger, which is really cool. Uh, that that was that was pretty dope. I uh, fucking the, hate that movie, dude, because like they, it it covers like very basic shit plot shit and like a few like they jumble a few books together, and it's like. The way this shit should have came out, because I've read the whole saga. This the same. Way, they should have fucking the animated series on fucking Netflix or some shit, because that would have been dope, and it would have made so much bank. Uh, hey, I'm, man, with you, so- I'm with you that it should have been a series. I don't know of animated. Don't get me wrong. I think I got the comic books, dude. I yeah. got I, I got that looks fucking dope as fuck, and I, I, I think there should be both, but you're right. They can't just put it all in a movie but i like the casting of the movie and i i think the movie was done well but it's just like given what okay you you got two hours like what if what if it was your job to say hey you got two hours you 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 have to put everything of, of the dark tower that you can like you can't get everything dude you just can't you can't get odessa and, and Detta, the schizophrenic black ladies that rock the house and drawing of the three you mm. can't get that you, you know, you, you can't fucking get that. You know, you just have to, okay, I'm going to get the man in black, uh, which uh, Matthew McConaughey, great casting. I'm going to get the gunslinger, uh, Idris Elba, even better casting. Like, <laughs> like that's fucking awesome. Like, uh, but uh, yeah, the movie wasn't done to perfection. But I think given what, what, what they were given, I, I, I didn't think it was that bad. I still liked it. But yeah, it doesn't do the books justice. I Not agree. at all, man. I mean, no. there's so much like, co- it. That's like a fucking, that's a fucking, like a, that's his magnum opus, man. That's everything. And it was so much. I agree. I agree. Like, you know, the thing about that, dude, it's funny that you say it's like a lot of people don't know that Stephen King doesn't even like writing horror movies, uh, uh, books. He, he, he just has a knack for it. So like he he mm-hmm. threw away Christine and his wife had to dig it out of the trash for him to publish it. He doesn't like him at all. He just does it because it pays the bills. Mm-hmm. Like the real reason why he's here is because of the dark fucking tower. That's his mm-hmm. shit. When he got injured, he got hit by a car. Yep. Like all his fans were all like, "Oh fuck, he's not gonna finish the dark tower." Oh no, you know like. Uh, no, so- this motherfucker is so clever. He wrote himself into his own books. Yeah. yeah. As a character in the fucking book, and they meet up with him. I forgot which and, book that was, yo. <laughs> I just found, like, if you're so about to be an interesting casting, because a big part of the Gunslinger storyline was that he was racist, and that when he met uh, the, the black woman, he had to, like, get past his racism, you know? Like, it, it's just, it's an, in, like, obviously that didn't make it into the film, but I would have liked to see how they dealt with that. Like, you make with, it a white woman. Because <laughs> they could have, because it could have been interesting, because they just could have made it like Idris Elba's still racist, but he's racist against his own kind. Like, oh, that could have like, been he's interesting. Like hell and shit. He's like the Grand Wizard. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, there are people that are racist against their own people, you know, and hate themselves. Like, yeah, reverse racism right there. That's, yeah, but um, yeah. I, I never understood those people. Yeah. But, um, oh, shit. Look, do what the, Ma- Matthew says. Oh, shit. That could be dope. Although, <laughs> I do think it would have been cool to see Matthew McConaughey play the. Gunslinger and Idris Elba to play. Yeah, the man this, in black. No, but that's so typecast. It's like, okay, the man in black is going to be the black man. I like that they have, oh, like, when do they have the major hero, like, of a, of a fucking gunslinger, like, as e- and Idris Elba? I, I thought it was a great idea, dude. I, I still do. I still like that Idris oh, is a gunslinger. Dude. 
I still think it could work for sure. I think you could do a lot of interesting things with that for sure. Because he is if a badass. Let, I love him. On, let him let him be Roland, you know? Fuck it, you know? I, that's what I say. He's good enough actor, dude. That dude is a fucking dope ass actor. One of my faves. Great fucking actor. Phenomenal. Did, did you yeah. see Luther? Dude, Luther's my shit, dude. Yes, dude. Luther's my shit. I go, um, uh, that's the best opening song of any series, in my opinion. Thomas I can't Jane. argue. Thomas Jane would have been a better role. I think than Idris Elba, but I do like him as Roller. No, I would. It would. It, I'll see the. Yeah, they got the actors, but I'm just like the whole time. I'm looking for story because you know I've read all the shit. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, they can't fit everything, dude. You can't even fit drawing of the three, dude, in into you know in, into a movie of that That's size. Why if, like, they did, if they did an HBO series, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Same with Matt. You mentioned it earlier. Game I'm with them. Thrones them. level HBO shit. Like, HBO yo, knows how to do shit, and they got a lot of money behind yeah. them. And and yeah, I'm down for a series. That would be that would be the fucking shit right there. But I, I think that's just rumor, dude. Like, but hopefully, like, uh, I'm. I hope that it's not just a rumor. I want them to make this rumor an occurrence. Mm. It makes sense because, like. Uh, you got Prime's doing the Lord of the Rings TV series. They're working on that. So HBO needs something to counter. Oh, Dark Tower, you know? <laughs> like it that was sense. fucking, yo. <laughs> it, it makes sense. It'd be crazy. Like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and copy us because they're making the Lord of the Rings. I guess they're like, they want to make it the next Game of Thrones. They're like, oh, you want to try to steal our thunder? Well, we got you. We're going to shoot you with the Dark Tower, motherfucker. See, Ben, check out these fucking roles that are lesser known instead of, like, these trendy-ass, like, Marvel fucking reject movies. Check out, like, Beast of No Nation or even Gunman <laughs> with Sean Penn and Javier Bardem and yep. Idris. Like, that's some shit right there. You know, like, uh, his lesser known movies are where it's at, dude. Like, his yep. underground and the British type shit, even like The Wire. HBO comes out with some dope ass fucking series, dude. The Wire rocked, and that's where Idris like that's where Yo, he got his fame. That dude fucking DJs, and he was he was yeah. in some fucking he his, one of his songs, uh, I guess, hit out there in Britain or what. And it's like I don't know, Wolsey, man, I Wolsey, some shit like that. I can't remember the lyrics, but but he go peep that shit, Idris Elba, uh, hip hop video or something. I don't know the name of this fucking song, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's true. He does music too. I mean, he's a really talented, dude. Really is. I, I I got a lot of respect for that dude. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent. Thirty coins is great on HBO Max. What's that about? I've never um, heard. Um. But yeah, Ben, Ghost Rider 2 wasn't good for any. Nobody was good in that movie. Ghost man. Rider 1 wasn't good. <laughs> Fuck Nicolas Cage in any yeah. movie. Ghost Rider 1 was fun in its own way. Ghost Rider 2 was total garbage. Like, yeah, yeah if you went out and bought a pound of crack, I'm sure, uh, like, and smoked it all, I'm sure Ghost Rider would be fun. But aside hey. from that... <laughs> I, hate the villains. I hate the villains in that one, too, man. Yeah, oh, yeah you know, I hate everything about it because I read the comic once again. Like I read the comic and it did yep. not fuck translate. No, they, they fuck it up. They fucked up uh, Blackheart, and oh, yeah. that was your Wes Bentley. He played Blackheart, and he fucked the uh, not. He didn't fuck it up, but the director because they made him human and shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because Wes Bentley doesn't fuck anything up. It's just like if you give him a wrong role, yeah, then he's gonna fuck up because it's just like. Like it's direction, man. A lot has to do with direction. Like that—that's the emphasis right there, man. You get the wrong director, and you're fucked. Oh yeah, for sure. Hmm. What? <laughs> uh, it's an Alex De La Iglesia show. He directed Day of the Beast. Okay. 
Have you all seen Day of the Beast? I can't no. say I have. I don't think so. Beastmaster, perhaps, but no Day of the Beast. Yeah. Day of the Animals, I've seen that. Things fucking old school shit. Day of the Animals. So what is Day of the Beast, Mr. Ben Grimm? Oh, shit. I'm fucking zoning, yo. <laughs> Dude, you okay? Who, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just fucking, I'm just zooted, yo. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> yes. Yeah. Get it now. Trent, so two things need to happen when we meet up. You're gonna fucking do the so the the bucket list shit. You're gonna do the burrito phone shit and then get that on camera. And then uh what's the other shit? Do something else. Fuck. Simple. But anyway. So yeah, that's that shit. There the beast was good. It's about a priest that tries to commit as much sin as possible to get invited to the birth of the Antichrist so he can stop it. Well, that sounds That's like pretty cool. much all priests. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fucking dope, though. When did this come out, yo? Don't tell me fucking a long time ago because I'll fucking probably be pissed off. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, that sounds like fun, uh, Mr. Grimm. Yeah, that sounds good. Like, uh, I, I like sacrilegious films. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, have you ever seen The Unholy? Uh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. Go watch a, a film. Trench, you, you've seen The Unholy, right? Yeah, the Unholy is dope. It Didn't we really watch that? I feel like we watched it, yo. Yeah. yeah. Yo, the Unholy. Go watch that shit, Cindy. Right on. I'll check it out. I, I you know, I'm, uh, I've seen a lot of film. Uh, a lot of the film that I'm lacking is in the horror department. I don't, uh, just like action movies, I, I mean, I love me some horror if done right, but they're far and few between. You know, it's just like a majority of horror for me is just like blah. I, I, I got a real, I'm real picky when it comes to horror. All right. I mean, but I do, but, but anything sadistic, I'm usually attracted to. Like, no, fucking, it's 80s, like, like, like the 80s. Like, this type shit, you know, like I, I'm a sucker for all that Damien type shit, you know. I, I like that. So uh, uh, anything called Unholy, yeah, I'll check it out. Sure. So you, do you should like check out Transfiguration. <laughs> Fuck. What's that, Trench? Transfiguration. Yeah, Transfiguration. Uh huh. Uh, it's a uh, kid in the ghetto, kind of growing up on it. He's like his brother's a junkie and shit, and he's like trying to keep his his life together and uh, he meets this girl who's like being abused and they form a friendship but the only problem is is he goes out at night and drinks people's blood because he thinks he's a vampire <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a fucked up urban coming to age story it's fucking brilliant it's fucking brilliant <laughs> Hmm, I, I've never heard of that. That's that's an interesting uh, vamp take right there. Okay. Yeah, there's another one. You're not you're not you're gonna remember all these shits. Did you all ever see nine seven six evil? I own that shit. Oh uh, right on. wait, no, I actually seen bits of it because we watched it with John, but I haven't seen the whole thing. It's good. I mean, it's cheesy as fuck, but I like it. And uh, uh, there, there was a song. A song came out uh, called 976 Evil" by Deftones. It's really good too. Um, I recommend it. Um, 
but yeah, I yeah, I remember I haven't seen that movie in a minute, dude. But like uh it, it was it was pretty cool. Like I said, I like all that. It, like even like that movie Demons. One time I, I saw the movie Demons and like my family was making oh fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. You always got all the dope ass movies like that. You got Dungeon Master all up in there. Hell yeah, that's a dope yeah. ass cover. Yeah, but I, I was watching fucking Demons. That looks cool, dude. Um and like my family was making chicken tacos and it grossed me out because the demon's guts look like the chicken tacos and I couldn't <laughs> eat chicken tacos. But and nowadays I wouldn't even give a fuck. Like I was, I was a kid. I got That's it. cool, dude. I still got it. I've never yeah. seen that buried, uh, Maddie. Never seen what? Uh, dead and buried. I know I've I've like it's on Prime, but I just never watched it. But Is it a series? No, it's a it's a movie from like eighty nine. I feel like I've seen it. Then I must have seen it. Cause like Brian, uh, he brought it up and he's interested. I was like, I keep seeing it on Prime, but I just never watch it. But it's been on there for the longest. Is it isn't Robert England in that one? Not that I'm aware. Wait, man, hold the fuck up. Hey, do you own uh hey, do you own John uh Strangeland? No, I was, I had that shit um on fucking VHS. Yeah, I got I got to get that one cuz that like that movie even has a good score and Robert England is is fucking badass on that even though he just cameos. He's fucking cool. Um that that's a cool movie to me, dude. Like I I, I dig that fucking flick a lot. Yeah. He's some good ones, man. Yep. He is but in a bit role. See? See Matthew coming with the fucking layup. Watch this. Thank you. Oh my bad. It was yeah, that's I mean, it's just like pretty much like a cameo for the most part. I mean, he barely stars in it, but I feel like he I rocks. This movie, bro. What's that? Yeah, it, like it was movie. 81. 81. Yeah, my bad. I yeah, said I, I have this. I have this film on Blu ray. Yep. Which one? Dead and Buried. I have it. Oh, 19, oh 1981. Cool. Right on, dude. But he's still in it. Even the bit part, he's fucking in it. This is before fucking Freddy Krueger and shit. That's cool. Yeah. Probably around the time, because uh, he was in, I think he was in fucking V. That series V as well. As Of all things, reptilians <laughs> from outer space. Hey, Brian, how are you? What's up, Brian? Oh, it's on Shutter. Yeah, it's on Prime too for free. Yeah. It's in that yeah, they have, a, they have a few good ones that I've yet to see, but like Prime also has those uh those old uh, Richard Fire movies. You gotta check out, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll have to get to those for sure. Like I've seen, I grew up with Car Wash. I've seen Car Wash, but I gotta see some of the other ones. Oh, that's cool. That's that's the one with Dana Carvey. Yeah, because I grew up and yeah. it was on the TV. They would play it on the TV a lot, like on because when I would stay with my grandmother, she had regular TV. She didn't have cable, and they would play it on like one of the basic channels, like quite a bit. Did you ever see Dana Carvey's movie, uh, Opportunity Knox? I don't think I have, but it sounds familiar. It's good. He plays like a con man, like a two-bit con man. And, like, he, he would, like, you know, uh, him and his friend would kind of stage a car accident, like getting hit by a car so they could, you know, get the insurance money and stuff like that. Just, like, just two-bit con... And and that dude, well, what's the name of that actor? He's a famous actor, older dude. Uh, what is his name? I forget. But anyway, he goes into his house and he pretends to be his son's like best friend or something like that. 
and he he just slithers his way into like this multi million dollar corporation and shit, like uh, and starts living at this guy's house and everything because they think he's somebody else. But it, it's really funny and 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 uh, witty. I I recommend it. Oh shit! Yeah, that was his like first like uh lead role in a movie. <laughs> Far. That's cool. Take it easy. Yeah, not... Hey, I'm a, I'm gonna throw another one at you. What's that? You ever seen this? Stay frosty, Kevin. No, it looks cool though. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for coming. knows about this, but huh? I was telling Kev to have a nice night. Stay frosty. He was sleeping. This fucking. That's dope. Yeah, that eighties hair. Yeah. This de- this is death spa, bro. It's just <laughs> it's fucking pretty twisted shit. I like the cover. Never even heard of it though. Yeah, it's what it's like. It's like one of them under, like under the radar type shit. Like, yeah, B movie totally. But that's cool. A lot like, like Dungeon Master's total B movie, and it's brilliant, man. Like, so there's a lot of gems in there, man. No, sure. but I feel like that. <laughs> I I know I've, I I know I've seen that shit before. You know, buying it because I remember this shit from like. I feel like my uncle had cable. And we would fucking, when we would go over there and shit, like, we'd watch. I feel like that shit was coming on cable, that fucking Dungeon Master shit. It had to be, man. I think you're right about that. I think you're right about that. I think it was coming on cable. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. It was a, I mean, it wasn't that a popular movie, but it, it had a cult following, you know? So, like, mm-hmm. it became popular over the years, but... Um, it, it didn't do well at the box. I don't even think it w- did it even go to movies. I, I don't know if it was ever in the theaters. It could have went, it could have been something that went straight to cable, maybe. It could, yeah, know. it could have been. I, I don't know though. Like, it depends. Some art houses that are into fucking horror and shit like that, <laughs> they could have showed it or something like that. But I don't think it was ever like That's major a good release. Question. Yeah. Like, a lot, a lot of my favorite movies are B movies. I got like that schlocky type case, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I love well, it. my only contention with the majority of them is the poor acting, but us, but the concepts and the direction are pretty fucking cool, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it just, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler for acting, and there's a few, but there's a few shining exceptions like horror. You know, like fucking Evil Dead doesn't have the best acting, but it, but it's still funny and good, and it's cheese. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. They brought up Chopping Mall, man. That's one. It's like, yeah, the acting isn't so great, but it's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, that shit is just so great. You got like robots running around talking shit and blowing people up. <laughs> it's gonna start happening soon, man. Fucking, they're building fucking what is it, Cyberdyne, whatever the fuck, right now? Or it, it's the real uh, Terminator Two type shit, huh? Yeah. yeah. They need to stop. Haven't I'm... they seen the movies? They need to stop. They're like, we're gonna make robots sentient. It's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it never ends well. Have some Blade Runner type shit running around, and it's like, oh god! Yeah, like it's silly though. It's a silly movie, man, but it's really fun. I really like Chopping Mall. Dick Miller's good in it, but Dick Miller's good in any everything.
Maddie, you say you have Shutter on in the background. What 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 you got on now? Well, what's playing in the background now? Oh yeah, I robot this fucking dope. See oh, that night bad. of the that night of the comet movie. I remember liking that, but I haven't seen that movie since I was a little kid, like below ten. But I remember really liking that movie. I should, I definitely got to revisit that one. I've never seen it. I've, I've it was really that. good. I remember it being very influential, like growing up. But just like American Werewolf in London, I saw that movie like ten times, but all as a kid. I still. I haven't seen that movie in fucking years. I wonder if it aged well. I know that's one of John's favorites. Um, that was a lot. I, I would, I would uh, fucking act the scenes out like with my cousins and shit like that. I used to love that movie, but I haven't seen that fucking movie since I was a kid. Like straight up little fucking rug rat. Nice. Oh, but I gotta see Bliss. That's another one. And Explorers, that's another one, too. I that's the one with the kids right in that little bubble fucking spacecraft shit? I think so. Yeah, I, I saw that. That was a kick-ass movie. Yeah, I gotta see that. What was... Explorers. Uh, oh. Yeah. That's a good one. Fucking uh, uh -oh. a young... <sighs> this kid. I'm trying to... Well, I guess if, if Art's not around, I'm going to have to smoke for the both of us. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Watch him come back now just because you said that. Doesn't, that, doesn't that have one of the phoenixes in it? The explorer? Uh, yeah. River. River. And a young... What the fuck? Who's this? Another, another actor that's... <laughs> Are you fucking stupid? Investigator. This fucking idiot. Ah. 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 <laughs> what the fuck ah. is that shit you got? He's got like a fucking a microphone voice thing shit. Only, only on this fucking shit right here, man. I didn't tell him to do this shit. <laughs> what? That made the stream. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I think somebody is high. Yeah. It, it seems like him. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan Hawk. That's what it is. I don't like Ethan Hawk. Depends. I, I I like them in some in some shit. I really like, I enjoyed the getaway. Like taking lives with Angelina Jolie, and that was like the beginning of her downfall in shitty movies. And then uh, <laughs> what was that other shitty movie that he came out? <laughs> like he comes out in a bunch of shit movies. That I just don't like. I can't like, think of any. Like oh, Training Day I did not like. Like I like a bunch of people love that movie. I I I, I, I like I like Denzel Washington, but my worst Denzel Washington movie by far. This might be a fucking like you know how like my man Brian Kubrick doesn't like Pulp Fiction. This might yeah. be your fucking. This might be your Pulp Fiction for some man. 
Well, maybe, but the, I, to me, there's no comparing the two. Pulp Fiction destroys Training Day. Oh, yeah. Yes. But I'm just saying, like, no, it, it, it's your own personal Pulp Fiction. Like, there's going to be yeah, more people. Yeah, yeah. Well, as far as, like, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely is, like, as far as movies that I fucking hate. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. We so all many have people one. love that movie too. They swear it's like so good, and it's just like, mm, nah, I don't think so. Mhm. Mm we all have our uh, our pulp fiction, I guess. Yeah. Well, you got you got your Matrix trench. You know. Yeah. What do you have? Like I, that's. Like, yeah, that's. What the, the Fucking uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, I uh, uh, before you answer, Brian. All her early work is stuff is fucking the shit, dude. It's dope as fuck. Like especially Gia, Gia. Uh, all her early work, man. Like her first few, even like like Firefox or Foxfire. Oh yeah, that's a Fire good one. Fox. Yeah, that's fucking good. Um, hackers. Uh. Like uh, shit, like that. Even the even even the sexy times ones, the early ones, though. You know, like fucking, you know, those love fucking tryst movies that she was in and shit like that. <laughs> and and uh, that mo oh that movie with uh, Denzel. Speaking of Denzel and Angelina Jolie, something Bones, the Bone Collector. That was all right. Hmm. Yeah. But Gia, if you haven't seen Gia yet, you got to see that. That's the fucking shit right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen that one. Nice one, Brian. Oh, dude, June, I agree. Citizen Kane is overrated. I mean, I get it. It created a lot of tricks of the <laughs> trade. It's like the story is boring. I think I think Chinatown is overrated. Like I, I hear so many people giving accolades to that movie, and I saw it, and I'm just like, meh. <laughs> I think I have seen that movie once, but I don't remember it. Well, then that that means it sucked. <laughs> if I you know, don't remember yeah. a movie and you saw it the whole way through, it sucked. All I remember is Jack Nicholson had a bandage on his nose. <laughs> uh, fuck. I don't know, man. For me? But I, I, mean, I like the Wizard of Oz. I'm one of those people. I'm, I'm call me old-fashioned, but I like the Wizard of Oz, June. I, I like it. Oh, dude, the Wizard of Oz is the shit. Fuck yeah, you can't. I like I like the Wiz too. I like the Wiz and the Wizard of Oz. You know, I think that they're both good on their own merits. The well, the Wiz is good, I like, I like, but I, I feel like it's the shit, man. Yeah, I feel I feel like the Wiz is better on stage though than the movie. Oh, cool. I misunderstood you. Yeah, I, I think that movie's classic and for good reason, you know? But go ahead, John. I cut you off. What were you going to say? Yeah. No, like, I, I I like any of that, like, Wizard of Oz theme shit. Because even, like, um, Filmation, I think, did some early movies. You know how they had Wizard of Oz fucking other shit related to that? Return to Oz afterwards with the the chick from uh <laughs> fucking what was it the water boy his girlfriend Peruza the bulk yeah yeah she, she was in that movie with the with Nev Campbell uh and uh, where the they're craft. all witches and what's that the craft yeah the craft there you go the craft uh -huh. I Yo, love I, the craft I, I I like that fucking movie bro I like that shit. I, it's a dope I think movie, she does but... have a naturally good evil kind of demeanor to her. Ever notice that she always plays like a dark character because she's got like that really fucking hella evil, like dingy yellow teeth too. <laughs> she's got Tennessee woman teeth. That's what she got. <laughs> so, what makes that movie? I, I, 
if she I don't, her, her, I don't know how many Tennessee women I've met. If she was a vampire, you'd have tartar flowing through your veins and shit. What the fuck, yo? Is that, like, in real life, Perusal Boak's a Wiccan, so they actually, uh, like d- doing the like the spells in the movie and shit. They uh they asked her and she actually helped conduct the rituals and make them realistic and shit to real life. Like she was a consultant as well as an actress on that movie. Cause she she is a wicked. In the chat, Melissa Ann. I bet you all my man will make the Hollywood great again. Hey, Juton's girlfriend. Hey, Melissa. What's up? The craft is Thanks not bad. The, I, I love the craft. Polanski's best films are Knife in the Water and Repulsion, but he's made a lot of great films. Rosemary's Baby. Can't, can't not bring Rosemary's Baby into the conversation. This is another person with the art and separating the artist from the art shit, you well, know what I mean? You got to. You kind of got to, because there's so much great art there, but he's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Homeboy actually fucking skipped town type shit. Like, I mean, he's, he's <laughs> really yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Uh, he I only, to tell you the truth, I only even fuck with his films. I, I, I only saw Rosemary's Baby because I'm a sucker for sadistic shit, and there's so many references in that. So I've seen that, and I liked it. I'm not gonna lie, I liked the movie. Um, That's but well made, huh? I mean, it, 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 it's well made. I mean, there's no denying it. He, he's a piece of shit, though. Rosemary Baby is on the free list for me because of that piece of shit director. Yeah, fuck him, man. Like, that's what I say. Fuck him. I, I'll, I'll boycott his shit even. Like, I don't care. I will. I mean, I had to see Rosemary's Baby, though, just because I have a, I have this album for, that I really like a lot. And and, and it's t- in this particular album... They they remix like all like a bunch of classic uh, movie scores like Cape Fear and mm. fucking The Omen and Rosemary's Baby and shit like that and so I just had to get some context for that for the basis of that album, mm. um, but uh, I won't support the dude like I try not to fucking support garbage like that because when you do watch their movies even if you are separating the art from the artist you're still fueling his little rape spree because you're the one fucking paying for his lavish lifestyle that's getting away with fucking the the child rape that he's committing, Mm. you know? Mm. That's why I tried to watch him illegally. There you go. (laughs) And and you're doing your part in Trenchy. I respect that. You watch that shit illegally, you get the best of both words. You can enjoy the art and then the the guy doesn't get shit. <laughs> like, that just, like, you just but, that's I mean, so fucking evil, dude. That is so evil. I I love it. Uh, yes. I mean, like it, the, a lot of other people put work into that shit, so their work should be, you know, they should be praised, you know, for the work. It should be like, uh, you know, respected and seen. But you know, fuck these other guys. You know, I'm not giving you money. You. You like molest children and shit, but I'll watch your shit for respect of the other people that worked on it and for the art itself. But fuck you, you ain't getting money. I'll steal from you. You're you're a pedophile. I'll steal. I'll steal from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it, the way I took it, man. And and bravo to that. Like I I'm I'm with you on that one. Pirate that shit, you know, like because like otherwise you're just supporting his little rape spree that he got away with and shit, you know. I feel you want you want to speak on that. I feel like there's a lot of that that we're supporting that we probably don't even know. Oh, well, sure, but like, do you have any suspicions? Like, you, uh, can you can you name anyone? I mean, <laughs> in, I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure you're right, but like, do you have any inclinations though? In general, man, like with with a lot of these motherfuckers in the industry and within the political indus- industry, 
<laughs> yeah, I, no, I agree, dude. I, I totally agree. But it just like the 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 most prevalent are the people that are supposed to be enforcing against that kind of heinous acts. Those people who, who just like have affectation of helping to solve the problem. Those are the guiltiest fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no one is excusing Roman Polanski. No, no one. Yeah, I won't even right. watch his movie. That's how much I hate the fucker. I did yeah, see that's Rosemary. Like, that's like the other dude, the fucking Jeepers Creepers, bro. I but mean, you know what? I saw that movie at the theaters. I thought that movie sucked ass. I mean, Trenchy likes it, but I, I thought that movie sucked. The, the, the first one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The first, I saw it in the theaters, dude, and I did not like it at all. I didn't think it was scary. Like I, I didn't like it. Were you uh, like, were you by worst yourself, or were you with a group of people or something? Uh, I, by myself. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I like, I liked the first one, man. The second one, I was like, yeah. And I, I didn't even thought, watch the second one. That's how so much yeah. I didn't like the first one. I mean, I like it, but it's not it won't, it's not one of my favorite movies by any stretch. I mean, there's a lot more movies I like more than that. Yeah. Like especially in horror, like it didn't even make my top 100 list. And there is like a 1000 mm. movies on that list. Damn. Like I yeah, I jam packed that with multiple different movies and it didn't even make the list. Like Wow! Right on, dude. That's cool. Like I, shit, man. I'm so busy hard, dude. In action and action, dude. Just because they have the shittiest acting, like in all of them. So it's hard for me to fucking be like, yes, this is a great movie. <laughs> Cape yeah, Fear, both of them. Cape Fear is a great horror movie, man. Like both of them, the OG in black and white, and the, like both of them, fucking brilliant. Mm -hmm. Like I, I get where you're coming from with that. With me, I, I don't give a fuck about acting. I mean, if your movie's fun, your movie's fun. Like sometimes an acting can turn me off. Like one time I was watching this movie, and there was a segment where it was supposed to be these two little girls, or these two girls, but they looked like teenagers. But one of them, you could tell that this kid was supposed to be five years old by the way she was acting. But it was like a teenage girl playing this oh, character. No, no, no. <laughs> it, was, it was an unknown. But it was like this teenager, but they were playing what was supposed to be like a five-year-old or like maybe even an eight-year-old. And it just it it just rubbed me the wrong way. It was I liked the segment, but it was still like really weird. What the orphan? What was that? Isn't that like the orphan movie or something like that? Where no, was that? it's it's called Weird Tales. It's mm. called it's called it's an anthology movie, and it's really dope. But one of the segments, like the acting's not really that good in it, but yeah. like sometimes some of it hits, but. It's just like in that segment, it was just really odd. And it just made me uncomfortable because you could tell that this was supposed to be a younger character, but they were being played by an older person, but they just made it too old. So it was just, it, it didn't feel right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> that reminds me of that dude from Mad TV, Mike McDonald, you know, who I'm talking about, where he plays that little boy and shit. Like, Stuart, yeah, Stuart is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he plays a little like five year old, but he's like fucking in his thirties and shit. You know, <laughs> Bro, that shit. You will go back to the seventies. There's a fucking movie called I think The Baby, or like like some shit like that. Go look this shit up, like The Baby or what? Like it's a fucking. It's supposed to kind of be like a horror movie, but it's just it's just fucking like weird. But. <laughs> Go look it up from the seventies. I think it's called the baby. But it's like, it's like that shit. He's it's a grown man fucking like acting like a fucking a kid. Good thing, Melissa. How are you doing? 
Who? Uh, Melissa was like asking how everybody was doing. Oh, uh, doing good. We I. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Like, yeah, I am. I mean, we were, we were, we had something else in common before you came, Brian. Like, what, what movie was I talking about that you said that Brian liked a lot? Oh, Sid and Nancy. Yeah, like the uh, yeah. Trent said you liked that movie a lot. That's like a top three for me. Like, because it's, I don't like the Sex Pistols at all, but <laughs> that movie is just centered around the Sex Pistols, but it's about, you know, the relationship between Sid and Nancy, hence the title Sid and Nancy. And it's just such a beautiful, dark fucking flick that I, I can really relate to it, you know, even though it's completely foreign and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah. All I know is like Brian used to, like, yeah. that's the first time I heard it because he would I always bring it, it up. I love it, Brian, yeah. Well, I know Ty will punch them in their face if they're on his set. What? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Dude. What's happening? Um, <laughs> why are we advocating yeah. violence? No, I was fucking around. I know it's not the same Clifford, but they're making a live action Clifford, the big red dog. And there's like a, a trailer and shit. And like Clifford accidentally eats another dog in the trailer and spits him out. Like, yeah, it, it's it, Brian. It's just like Apocalypse Now. Like, it's not really a war movie. It's just set in in wartime yeah. Vietnam. It's not about the war at all. If anything, the war is internal, and Mao. that's what. Mao. <laughs> Mao. 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 <laughs> Yeah, man. Everybody's everybody's remembers that shit. <laughs> I think I think she's saying that I will punch the pe pedophiles in their face if they're on my set. Damn, yeah. get ready for some brass knuckle time because she can be doing a lot of punching. <laughs> or or then Buddy Ravel, he gets knocked out like Buddy Ravel. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I've never seen the baby Ben. I've never even heard of that. No. No, I never heard of it. Hey, see, see the one movie that I recommend to everybody that no one's seen. Hopefully, John's seen it. Is is a, it's a movie called Flashback. It's with uh Dennis Hopper and Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. I have, but don't ask me to remember anything about it. But yes, yeah, that's a kick-ass movie. It's so I've good. definitely seen that shit, man. There's a movie called 1969 with Kiefer Sutherland, um, Winona Ryder, and Robert Downey Jr. That's really good too. Where, like, in the beginning of the movie, uh, they graduate, and and Robert Downey Jr. is not to be seen, and then and then he fucking is swinging through the air like Tarzan, high on acid, like completely butt naked. That's how it starts out. Great movie. That's one of the amazing. That one I've not seen. That's crazy. Yes, that movie is so good. I don't know how like some of these things stay obscure for so long with some people, man. Uh, see how it's like some shit's a little bit more niche. You know, mm -hmm. like yeah, it's the more lesser known shit. Like what? What movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you would think that a movie with all those like, come on, Winona Ryder, fucking Keeper Sutherland, mm -hmm. and Robert Downey Jr. You would think that that would have a little bit more clout behind it, you know? But just like, there's just people, they're just movies that go under the radar, plain and simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, dude, like that reflecting skin. I thought that would be bigger in the horror community hey. than it was. Like, because it's like everybody's like, we're into sick shit, but no one's seen this movie. I'm like, if you like sick shit, this is like one of the sickest things. Like, this movie's yeah. darkest. 
And you got dude from Lord of the Rings in there. Yep. Well, I made the most killer hash, and I am partaking in it. I would love to share, but unfortunately, you are in not close proximity. If uh, if my man Bryn was here, he'd probably be fucking doing that shit up with you. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just know Bryn. But you like yeah. edibles. I, I can put it in stoop and stuff like that, because like I, I use a a base of um, um, coconut oil. <clears throat> and it like looks kind of like kryptonite at the end, like kind of like candle waxy, but the kryptonite color. Mm -hmm. And you just get a spoonful of that, like not even half, and you're in you're in another galaxy, uh, and and you will sleep <laughs> you never slept before in your life. Crystal, all right, fucking motherfucking kryptonite. Well, listen, I can't do it. You know why? Why? Um, I'm the man of steel at kryptonite. What the fuck? I can't do it. And it looks like it, but it's not kryptonite, bro. Kryptonite. Well, who sang that shit? Remember uh, that? Ben Doctors. Oh. Three Days Grace sang uh, kryptonite. Oh, I thought the pocket full of kryptonite is a Spin Doctor song. Oh, the, the talking about. There's another one. It's like, if I go crazy, will you still call me Superman? Yeah, I know that one. That shit's, uh, or it's not Free Days Grace, it's Free Doors Down, I think. Oh. I get them free Doors Down. Hey, Trenchy, honestly, I, it won't offend me. Like, did you like that that uh, that music I showed you the other day? Like, uh, with the with the three ladies? Dude, it was actually kind of like, usually I like it when I can hear what they're saying, but when that one lady started going off and making those weird ass noises and shit, that was dope. When she was going like, ah, like I, I her, think like, even without like with and with, I think it's yeah. even doper. But like even without, dude, like they're just crazy fucking talented, like very prestigious, like uh, technical to the max. Those girls, very tight niche, like uh, so. Like, yeah, it's 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 good stuff, dude. Like, all their stuff is good. That's what I like about them. It's not like you have to skip through songs. It's like it's all fucking good. It's all really fucking great. It looked like at some point that she was gonna eat the fucking microphone. Like she yeah. had her mouth on that chick. Oh, dude, that chick's an array of bands, man. Like, like uh. All different kinds of music too, very jazz oriented. Hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that shit was dope. Okay, it was three doors down. I, I get those guys confused with three days grace. Hey John, do you have like do you still have CDs and shit like that or do you have a uh, uh, like records? Uh wait, hold on one second, sir. Uh as I reach for the very first thing that comes up, man, it's just dusty as fuck too. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> right on. Yeah, see, I still, like, with the band I was talking about right now, since they don't have records, they have CDs, I just got them all, you know? Like, I I try to support shit that I like, like, with whatever format they have. Um, and if it's just okay, and I just want to hear it, then I'll pirate the shit, but a majority of the stuff I just buy, like, that I like, that I want to listen to. Oh, right on. <laughs> See, cool. like, to yeah. me, it's sad that they've depreciated so much because it's like really a good format for music and the way it's recorded. You get much better sound quality than like what you're getting through nowadays when uh, music's digitalized. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I have I have a little record player shit too. I have um, 
some records. I have some. But shit, man. Yeah, Brian, I grew up with that, so I'm kind of burnt out on it, to tell you the truth. Like, that used to be my shit. And I still love it, but I don't listen to that anymore, really. But that used to be my jam growing up. Um, what, like, 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 I've seen them both in concert. Not Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. Uh, I'm not old enough for Led Zeppelin. But, yeah. like, uh, but uh, Pink Floyd I saw live, at, too. And Robert Plant and Jimmy Page twice. Mm. That's fucking dope. Yeah. Shit. I actually saw uh one of the times I saw him, I saw him in like San Antonio Spurs Alamo Dome. Which is pretty cool. Mm hmm Oh fucking uh Trenchy lost connection or something. Oh hell no. Fuck. I hope he gets it back because I, I don't know how long this shit lasts when it's on. No, I think you will. It, um, it happened a little earlier. Uh, yeah. He was only gone for like two minutes. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, fuck it. Because <laughs> like when, when you're left there, you're like, all right, what should we do? <laughs> Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He'll come back to like nothing. So have you seen like what uh, – you like hip hop a majority uh, of the music you listen to. So have you seen a lot of live acts before or no? Uh I think I think my uncle took me to Fresh Fest 1985. Wow. They came, they came out here and like it was like fucking run DMC, Fat Boys, a bunch of acts, man. That's cool. Run DMC, you can't go wrong there. I so I've see seen them twice. Like, and I saw That's them. Cool. I saw them. No in, wonder you're so hip hop fucking based. Like, you actually saw Run DMC live. That would have a huge impact on anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I saw them twice and shit. I saw them then, early on. And then, fucking, like, in Hawaii, years later, when I was in the fucking military, I went with my homeboy. They were having some throwback shit to the 80s. And it was this fucking broad that used to be on the MTV shit. Her name was uh, Idalis Leon. And she was one of the fucking girls in um, that fucking seduction group. Her and two other broads. Like, they had that fucking jam back in the, like, probably it was, like, early 90s, man. You're my uh, one only, my one and only true love. You 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 probably too fucking young for no, that. Hold on, hold on. Sing, sing more of it. How does it go? I said they're like you're my one and only, my one and only true love, true love. Look look that shit up. That's that yeah, fucking. I, I I think I've heard that song. Yeah, I I I know the cadence in which you in which you uh, recite those words. Um, yeah, that's cool. See, see, that's what I'm saying. I didn't like. I've been to hip hop stuff. But like not when I not growing up as a kid, you know, like I grew up like like uh like like Brian was talking about like Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, you know, like stuff like that. Like I I didn't really get into rap until later on, uh, and like it, I didn't really like I, I heard it. It was never really my cup of tea. But the the one rap that the band that that poked out at me was Public Enemy. Growing up, <laughs> like of course. But yeah, just, just they were politically conscious, and yeah. they were a stark contrast to just like the bling and pussy like uh, references and stuff. It it was actually introspective. It was fucking political. It was like thing you know, speak your own mind. You know, like all at all times as loudly as you can type shit. You know, uh, and voice voice it. You know, whatever. You know, and so like I always got that, and I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's it. and then that's how I got into like Malcolm X and. You know, people like that just through like Public Enemy and stuff like that. They're cool people, but it, it like that's that's another thing. So like with horror, I'm real finicky. With rap, I'm even more finicky because like with mm -hmm. me, like uh, you better be singing about some uplifting shit, not just like the same old shit. Because there there's various tropes within 
uh, hip hop that can be just very like misogynistic and homophobic and just like really overtly fucking alpha. That's like so much so that uh, it's just, it, it gets uh, nauseating. Uh, but you know, bands like fucking like Q-Tip and Tribe and like Public Enemy, you know, and newer bands right now like fucking Saul Williams, you know, like anything Saul Williams does, like like music wise, it's really I fucking. I think I might have heard of him. Yeah, like I, you, you should. He's in movies, dude, and he he started out writing. You know, like he started out writing just poetry, and I was into him back then. So when he came out with music, I was like, "Yo, this is right up my alley and shit," you know, because mm -hmm. he doesn't he doesn't talk about like anything that everybody else is talking about. Like it's completely his own, you know. So it's just. Like, and then he's in that movie. You haven't seen that movie? Fucking uh, Sasha owns it. Fucking uh, Slam. Slam. I, got, I, yeah, I know Slam. I, I own Slam. Yeah, the indie flick. Yeah, I have that shit on DVD. Yeah, that has a bunch of fucking rappers in it, too. They're in fucking jail, but, like, that's my boy. Like, mm -hmm. I met this dude, bro. Like, he's, he's a cool cat. Like, I got shit from him. Like, uh... He's 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 like fucking real fucking down to earth, but still up in the sky, you know. At the contemporaneously, you know, he's mm -hmm. like a, a prolific writer. He could talk your head off, and and he's just a he's a badass dude. Like in that movie Slam, that was his first his first uh, movie, you know. The fucking. So I I used to own it. It got stolen from me though. Damn. That's a sleeper. Not a lot of people know about that one, man. You gotta really be in the hip hop to uh, to know that shit. Well, th there you go. Like that's what I'm saying. It's like, hey, you, you know what? You probably like hip hop more than I do. Well, just well, you like more bands, you know. But like the stuff that I do like, I am versed in, you know. But it's just uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know a whole lot. Like I still, I still know about the gangster rappers, you know. I still know about like NWA and the permutations of, you know. Like uh, you know, different, you know, and Biggie and all that, Tupac and all that stuff. But do I listen to him? No, I don't. Like I, I, I just I like Wu Tang. I mean, like I, mm -hmm. I'll listen to them. I like Method Man and Red Man because I've seen them live. I've seen them live, and I mean, I saw them if if I had the choice of everybody you just said there, I'm gonna go with Wu Tang too every time. You know, I just yeah. feel like I, I feel like when they came along. That's that's my era growing up too. So it's like, you know, you you're in like like ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, and then pff, still going when you when you're hearing. And like I'm fucking, I'm in the military, and I'm I these these dudes I was up on, like I knew about you know with their shit, and some other people when I when I was like in different spots, I didn't picked up on them yet. You know what I mean? Ryan, I will shit all over Nugent's music and, and life. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, I have no problem saying that. Like, uh, I, I, I'm not going to fuck separating the art from the music, but I don't have to because they're both, like, fucking shitty people that I can just fucking give a fuck about and completely disregard. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Him and Kid Rock can go suck a dick. <laughs> or suck. Others dicks actually though they probably like that more. Kid, Kid Rock and who? Ted Nugent. <laughs> can suck each other off. <laughs> I don't mean to fucking like uh, uh shit over your music taste, dude. I'm just saying I just hate those people. I just hate them with passion. Hey, they're like endless with music. I'm I'm good with not listening to either one of them. Shit. Yeah, me too. Me too. I don't even know who Ted Nugget is. Yeah, <laughs> Ted Nugget. Well, then you you live the best life, then Trenchy. You're not you're not tainted at all. You're innocent and pure, take, like a hero. But you be take your Ted Nugget candy bar in the corner over there and kneel on a bag of rice and don't come out. <laughs> <and take you. laughs> yeah. It's I, all I, nice, I don't yeah, have a bag off, of rice. Dude. You're better off than all of us, Trench. Trust me. Oh. He said, oh. Yeah. 
You probably, you probably are in a better situation than we are right now. Especially if you are an underage female, Brian. What? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be around. He goes, I wouldn't want to hang around with Ted Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, now I'm imagining Brian as a teenage girl. Would he still be the same <laughs> or would he be different? Wait. Oh my god, I don't even know. I think he'd be the same. Maybe he'd be Brianna. Brianna. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Brian should just I right, see you all pull that shit on me. I'm just gonna fucking be like, well hell no. But <laughs> Juanita fucking no, I'm good. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah so Brian <laughs> see everybody's always like well I like the music but the person see I say fucking both like I think it's hypocritical to, to do otherwise. Like because otherwise you're fueling their lifestyle, especially if you're buying their their uh, the stuff that they're putting out there. Um, so like I mean, this the biggest one guilty of this is Michael Jackson. So it's mm -hmm. like as a kid I used to like him, but after growing growing up and seeing what he's done, I don't support him in any way, shape, or form. Mm. Yes. That, there's, I don't know, everybody got them, that shit where, like, you're like, fuck, some people don't want to, like, are either so into the fucking artist or what, that they just refuse to believe it, or, like, they, they just feel like they, they their, their um, perception. They blind themselves to it, dude, like, in other, it, like, they, if you look at the consent of age laws, like, that have been around, even just in America, even now. They're, they range. And some of them, if you look back, goes to really young. I mean, we're talking about 10. You know, so you know, there's, there's yeah. people who want to normalize this behavior. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. That's, and that's one of them. You know, one of many. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Elvis was married to a fucking teenage girl. And then we Ryan, we were talking Ryan, about it in a stream. Twice, fuck them all. Fuck them all. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know. You. Oh, we were talking about it in a stream, and this older woman was like, "It was okay. It was true love." And I'm like, "Shut the fuck up! If you're underage, you don't know what true love is. Like, a, no <laughs> true, girl knows what true love is. Like, if you're, if you're 14 and you willfully agree to sleep with some fucking rock star." Like, that does not mean that it was okay. That just yeah, means that you got raped. You know, right. you were 14 years old. Like, what the fuck? There is no consent when you're that age. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a product of that shit, though, bro. Because <laughs> my mom told me she was 16. And my fucking pops was, like, already in his 20s, like, 23 or some shit. Like, what the fuck? This dude, what the fuck? You, what? Yeah, back then, this is the fucking... The seventies, yeah, late sixties, seven early seventies, late sixties, late sixties, yeah. So that that you know they're probably on that fucking hippie shit and all that. So they they hooked up, but she didn't have me until like two years later. She was eighteen, cause they but she was just with him during all that time. But then you know, and that was it. So. Yeah, if Trenchy doesn't know that, Brian, you could just watch Great Balls of Fire. Um, it, Winona Ryder's in that movie. Um, mm. Are you talking about the dude from the original Nutty Professor? Brian? Jerry, Jerry Lewis. No, that's Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, Jerry it. Lewis is, is, a, is, is a musician. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, a piece of shit musician. Who was banging his underage cousin? Oh, mm -hmm. and married her. No, yep. like that's doubly that's that's doubly fucking heinous, man. Jesus uh, Christ! <laughs> the the thing is, the people that condone it and be like it's true love. I'm like, what the fuck? 
crack are you on? Oh, like, yo, wait, wait. There's this fucking song that I need to play for y'all. Not, I, I, obviously, we, oh, we yeah. can't do it here. I'm gonna explain I mean, something. Yeah. To you. I'm gonna explain something to you about this dude, though. When we when we go to the back trench, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can play it live. I don't give a fuck. But no, 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 no. No, we wouldn't want to. We we don't have to do that, dude. Um, it's okay. No, I I still want to hear it. Don't get me wrong, but we, we're not gonna play it live. Hell no. <laughs> I, I never want to do anything that will contribute to like Trenchy getting fucking banned unjustly. No, me either, brother. Yeah. Well, they'll get me eventually. It'll be fair and square. Yeah, but it won't be because of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll oh, be okay. Doing damage. So, this song. <laughs> the song came out in 1980. By this dude Benny Mardones, uh, and it's just like it's fucking. You think back on it now, it's fucking real creepy because uh, the the name of the song is uh, "Into the Night," and th he's basically like he's a dude in his fucking um, like around probably he looks like he's fucking like in his late fucking. 20s at least or <laughs> a close to 30 almost in his face and he's talking he's fucking trying to talk to this uh singing about talking to this this chick who's only 16 and and it's like fucking go just go watch it man it, it's fucking it's it seems tame because the you know it, the song how it's you know how he's singing and everything but like when you're like, oh fuck, you look back on that shit now, you're like, hmm. <laughs> you know? No, well, um, there's there's a bunch of songs, dude. Like, uh, as a matter of fuck, speaking of, <laughs> yeah, uh, do your uh, research, Brian. There's uh, fucking who wrote who writes the opus fucking sonnets love songs to the underage is motherfucking Ted Nugent. Like mm. he's got his own fucking diatribes to the fucking shit from to the subject at hand, which is completely disgusting. But yeah, I'm not talking cat scratch fever and fucking the mm. stranglehold type shit. I'm talking mm. about like you know like uh, shit, man. Well, go look it up. You'll see. You could just Google this shit and you'll see the songs that I'm referring <laughs> to. Fucking fucking. I'm not going to like, he's he's a shitty person. Is all I'm saying. There's a whole subgenre of music called jailbait. And even like fucking Pat Benatar, my mom pointed this out to me. She had a song where she's like singing about like and she's got all these teenage boys with her shirt their shirts off and she's singing about them and shit. Oh, I, I'm 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 gonna shut my mouth, man. Sometimes. It's a it's, it's, it's a bad subject, you know, like it, it's but it's per, it's good to talk about it because a lot of people like like Ted Nugent are trying to brush it under the rug like they're trying to normalize this type of behavior but if I have to be the angry old man standing stentoriously on the mount saying this is wrong so mm. be it but it is in the day that it becomes the day it becomes legal to marry a child is the day that he, the all hope in humanity dies. Like, well, what do you mean, dude? It's already happening. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean? It's already happening. It's already happening, but I mean, if, I, but there's still good people trying to stop it. I mean, if the minority outweighs the majority, I mean, you know? Because right now, I think there's more good people than bad. Well, maybe I'm optimistic. But I think Can I interrupt for one brief second yeah dude go ahead Only because i know that some of some organizations that are appear to be out there helping are actually uh like working. yeah because yeah, they're, it's politics yep 
it, it, the the people that are most uh, quote unquote helping are the ones that are trafficking. Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up, man. Yeah, it is fucked up. It really is. Because th once again, there's no rings like people were alluding to. It's a culture. It's a culture. And that culture is reserved. The people who get away with it are rich <clears throat> like Bill Cosby. Or just, just rich. Peer it doesn't have a color. It's not fucking <clears throat> racist. It's a classist kind of stuff. If you're a fucking billionaire, you will get away with that type of behavior. If, even if you're a multimillionaire. You will get away with that type of fucking criminal behavior, and since a bunch of people have this money, they flouted about by doing those kinds of things, like Kevin Spacey. But look at Kevin Spacey's connections, though. Kevin Spacey knows Bill Clinton. Uh, you know, I mean, and I mean, they're best friends. So hey. come on. You know, you know how they say six degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon. In Hollywood, I guess. Yeah. They can all trace back to him. Yeah. I don't know. But uh yeah, it's the same it's the same thing in, in, in with the political fucking theater as well. So Oh yeah. They're, it's fucking, like they, they're connected with you know, someone connected with the, the Hollywood shit too. So Yeah, yeah. But once again, it's a class thing. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's just it's just who's got the money to fucking uh, get away with the most shit. Like they probably challenge each other too. Like they're sick individuals. It's like fucking uh, what's this movie? Uh, ho hostile shit. Mm. But I love hostile because it flips it on its head. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, okay, you want that kind of behavioral good. Fucking get tortured, motherfucker. You know, that's cool. They fucking got, they got what they deserve, dude, in my opinion. <laughs> I know, so, but it's, it's just the fuck, yeah, but it's, it's not that. It's the fucking reverse. You know, it's the, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, it's the bad shit. Like that shit that, yeah, they, what, they got whatever, but, man. Well, I mean, look what they were going for. In other words, like, are these, but are these, let, let's ask ourselves, you know, are these likable characters? You know, and no. So, like, would you not want to see him get tortured, like, with a fucking drill and fucking blowtorch? <laughs> yes, let's do it. These are scum assholes, dude. Um, you know, so that's oh, what yeah. I thought all the hostels were good. I, I like what, how that movie me, uh, metamorphized uh, into something fucking brilliant and more elaborate to where, like, they were bidding on him. Like, it got to, like, where, like, in Hostel 3, they were bidding on him, like, stocks and shit, you know, to see who's going to get tortured. That was fucking cool. <laughs> I agree, June. There you go. See, now the world would be a better place. There you go. Yeah, Just yeah. make fucking... Just make them castrados. Well, what do you do with fucking, you know, well, what do you do with women? Them. Just put them down. What do you do with women? You they, they can get stuff cut too, you know. Well, here's what you do. Instead of castrating, you put them down. Like There's female castration, in other words. Like, there, there's, there is female castration. Well, well it, it makes no sense that, like, fucking, because you're just torturing them like here's the thing just put them out of their misery put them out of the world you know like a sick dog you don't keep a sick dog around you shoot it no but I'm, I'm, it. I'm with you both like first it's better you, off. you cut them and then you kill them but you let them live for like maybe a you don't cut them without I, any because... and maybe feed it to them and then you kill them and then well, that'd be fun that's fucking evil, man. That's fucking evil. You don't well, want to be they like are them. An abomination. They're an abomination. They might as well taste their fucking abomination. It's of their own yeah, product, it their own design. Mm. It's a sickness, but it can't be cured. Here's the thing. It's a sickness, but it can't be cured. It shouldn't be treated like it can be cured. Best thing is, put them down. Don't have to torture them. Just put them down. 
you don't got that fucking on your conscience that you you didn't sink that low, you're the better person, and they're out of their misery, and they can't hurt anybody else. I think it's fair. Okay, well, I, well, I say, I say, okay, okay, okay. I, I got a little overboard with the whole podcast situation we made the meeting, but I say, a uh, fuck the nice like like gas station or lethal injection. Bring back the guillotine. It's halftime at a Super Bowl game, and you just chop mm-hmm. off his fucking head right there. Boom, halftime show. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, it served two purposes too. Like other countries would be all like, "Fuck, America doesn't fuck around." You know, so it, it you know it could help us. I don't know, man. <laughs> Fuck. It's a good message. It we're does. Just, I like it. We're just fucking and bringing it back to fucking uh, traveling back in time to fucking just the Roman shit again. Heads will roll. I love the guillotine. The guillotine is swift, aerodynamic. It's it's and it's it's a message, you know. It sends a message, dude. Like, yeah, it may look cruel, Trenchy, but like at least people will know not to fuck around like that anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they're sick. They're going to do it anyways. They're well, yeah, if, if they that's no going on, they may have the inclination, but perhaps they'll think twice about actually committing the act. Maybe. You might have a point. He uh, he saw a fucking head get chopped off, and he wants to follow in that guy's footsteps? Be my guest. You know, it's it sets an example, dude. You know? Well, there's, a, there's an interview with this pedophile in prison. He's like, yeah, I know what I did was wrong and everything, and like it's horrible, and I ruined people's lives. But if I get out, I'm gonna do it again. I don't know why. I know it's bad, but I have this urge, and I'm gonna do it again. They don't give a fuck. Well, they that's got- the same like Bundy and Dahmer. You know, like they like mm-hmm. they admitted it that uh, well, Bundy actually did it. He got he he escaped from prison twice. And one of the places he escaped from, nobody had ever escaped from before. He had to lose like 30 pounds and fit through a shaft like, it, it, you know, that yeah. he was digging. I mean, he, he went out of his way, but he was that guy. When Once he got out, you know, he went on another spree and stuff. He just was, he could not uh, put out this fucking uh, rage in him, man. He couldn't. Same with Dahmer. He couldn't either, man. So, yeah, put him down, dude. What happened to Bundy? You gave him a fucking chair. Bring back the chair. Bring back the guillotine. Fucking A. The world would be a better place, dude. Okay, I don't agree with the public executions, but I agree with putting them down. I agree with that. I, I okay. get what you're saying. Though. I we get can, we can definitely work around that. Yeah, okay. We don't have to do it in public, but as long as they get killed in that fashion, I'm okay with it. So yeah, I careful. feel like I feel like pedophiles at least because you know. I think it should no be public. That way, it shows the populace, hey, this type of behavior is not tolerated. That's why I like the public. It's not like I like to be. Uh, uh, brutal for the sake of being brutal, you know. I I, yeah. I do it. I would do it to serve a purpose to teach others that, hey, this type of deviant behavior is not tolerated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it just because, oh, yeah, bloodshed. Fuck that. I don't like bloodshed. Not unnecessary bloodshed, but some bloodshed is is necessary. June, we are not feeding the pedophiles to the tigers. (laughs) It's the wild tiger that'll put up a hole in the pedophile. Again, Bill. Yeah, I, I like that. Make it all fucking like uh, what, uh, gladiator styles, you know, like that part with the fucking where he has to battle them and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, yo? Yeah. Hell yeah. But you know who made? Uh, I mean, let's be honest though. Like the movie Gladiator, the only reason why that movie was good in any way, shape, or form. Not that I hate Russell Crowe, but it was because of Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix just played the guy you love to hate. He was mm-hmm. great. He was fucking awesome in that movie. Oh, yeah, he killed that shit. Fuck yeah. yeah. He, he played this guy you just fucking detest and you just fucking spoiled brat motherfucker, but he did it so well. <laughs> you know what I yep. mean? Yep. Uh, 
but like he was still good. any role he really does, man. Like, I mean, I didn't love him as Johnny Cash. My favorite of his, I'm telling you, is uh, his portrayal as a Catholic priest in Quills. That was fucking phenomenal. That was my favorite. Have you ever seen that flick, John? Mm -mm. Dude, Jeffrey Rush is the Marquis de Sade. Uh, 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 <laughs> Michael Caine is a really scummy old dude that's kind of like has Ted Nugent inclinations. Uh, fucking, you know, like Kate Winslet's in that. She's fucking great. Uh, she's a phenomenal actress. But that movie, I, I that really showcases. Uh, Joaquin's range. I mean, that movie made him better than his brother to me, like like River. Really? That, you know? that film that one film? Yeah. That one film, yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah, he rocks in that movie. What's the other one he's in where he's uh he's trying to stop some some shit? Fuck. Fuck, it's a it, oh man. Hold up, man. I'm gonna find this shit right now. I want to forgive right, you. Brian. You hey, see work. But the, the culture nurtures that kind of blindness because he was, once again, he was caught twice. Okay? And both times he escaped. If he was so fucking dangerous and shit like that, you wouldn't even let him escape once, let alone fucking two times, especially from a high concentration fucking prison. How the fuck? <laughs> so, like, what is he? Fucking Houdini type shit? So, hey. like, have you what? have you ever seen with Joaquin Phoenix? You were never really there. Yeah, yeah. it's about him. Uh, it's about him, like when when he was uh, when he was doing on the hiatus when he stopped acting. Yeah, I, I I've seen it. Uh, I it was a long time ago. I I I I don't remember loving it. But I don't remember hating it. It was just kind of there. Um, I, I should see it again, though. Uh, but I don't remember anything significant about it. Mm -hmm. um, I do like him a, a lot as an actor, though. Yeah. I mean, the dude rocks a hair lid. How can you rock a hair lid? Just for that, I give him an A. Yep. Well. But Bundy escaped from a weaker security system in today's technology would would yeah. be. You've been watching too many fucking Sylvester Stallone escape plan movies. <laughs> it's hard to fucking escape from Alcatraz, bro. The, the one that he fucking escaped from, like I said, nobody had ever escaped from there before. Not one person. And nobody ever did afterwards. He was the only motherfucker that escaped from there. <laughs> the Birdman the, of Alcatraz and shit. Yeah, motherfucker starved himself, fucking lost 30 pounds and was like digging away like like the, the fucking Underground Railroad, but far worse uh, intentions than that kind of shit. He wasn't trying to save anybody, let's put it that way. Himself. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that dude was a fucking nut, dude. That dude was like he deserved. He, that's a motherfucker that deserved to die, and he did. And I don't mind making something like that public. In other words, but you, know, know, like, you know how like, <laughs> they always try to, you know how like he ruined so many lives. These are real life monsters, you know, versus the universal yeah. monsters, right? So, yeah. Look how they try to romanticize these motherfuckers, though. Like in these documentaries, like. Or you you get fucking what is this high school musical motherfucker to play Buddy. Zach Efron? Yeah, and the they bitches like, the bitches in their fucking forties are liking this fucking young nigga too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, that was a friend. Kid, what it fosters not only do you have like these Manson esque girls, but you have this complicity that's that's for your own fucking misfortune so uh, like what misguided females do we have that they actually are attracted to this type of fucking behavior because like mm -hmm. like there a lot of these girls like really love them you know now i'm not just not talking about their relationships i'm talking about like when they're, they actually go to prison and shit you know and they they get that notoriety like there's some sick ass demented females that are actually like hey 
Ted's pretty high. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, they, <laughs> Psycho. That, That's even worse than the the internet. internet. You're tr attracted to Ted. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll talk about, like, I've seen people on the internet talk about, like, movie psychopaths and be like, they, they're like, I don't care how many times he beats me. He's hot. Like, I'd rather have a person that would abuse me and, and rape me but be hot. Like, people have said this shit. And I'm like, what? You, you need help. And I actually got in a conversation with one of them. And I was like, dude, why do, why do you not have self-worth and shit? And she's like, the person was like, I've been in abusive relationships before. I know how to handle them and survive. Stay out of your business and shit. Stay out of my business. I'm like, okay. Let's no, but people it. that are accustomed to that type of domination or what so have you, like that kind of behavior, at, like it's funny that we mentioned or we were talking about this movie Quills because that's where that mm -hmm. kind of NM behavior, that's where it, it derived from was uh, the Marquis de Sade. You know, so the Marquis de Sade, like he invented uh, sadomasochism through like erotic poetry and just like what life within. And he would the the church would abolish his his works. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if I'd say sadomasochism was created by him uh, per se. Fucking you got sadomasochism right in the fucking Bible that you all read and shit. So think about that. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh yeah. definitely. Um, not the uh, the the term in and of itself. You know, like that's that's where it became uh, a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was definitely around in the Bible, dude. Just like like I was talking about uh, Shakespeare earlier. A lot of the mm -hmm. language within the Old Testament and uh, Shakespeare is very similar. So they're actually good uh, companion reads to, to read alongside one another because they were both written in the same time frame. They were. And some think maybe by the same person. But who knows, man? Oh, I don't know about the same person. I mean, they're definitely different. <laughs> in well, no, no, no. Different. Like where, where shit was like, or you know, obviously it was Council, shit already written. But yeah. Where it was more fudged. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Uh, there was definitely more of the fudgeness in the Bible because, you know, like, look at the Crusades and shit like that, you know? So uh, mm -hmm. there's many uh, parts of the Bible that not only are thrown together, but uh, that are missing. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. What's pretty cool, dude, is uh, is looking how they intersect like the the various forms of faith intersect i'm not uh a man of any faith but like i do enjoy reading some good fiction so i i've read you know a few bibles in my time um mm -hmm. of various faiths and stuff like that um yep. and, and it's fun to see how like jesus comes into play in all of them you know just like how how he's depicted in like the Quran. It's it's not so much Jesus himself, but the the, the Christ like figure being uh, the theme being carried over and over and different incarnated within different. Oh so. yeah, yeah, definitely. But that was that was taken just from like Greek myth and stuff like that. As far as those trope, those tropes that are in the Bible are just basically uh, it, it very uh, condensed versions of like the Iliad. And, the Odyssey, like those tropes, like whether it be David and Goliath or what so have you from where we're taken from like the gods, you mm -hmm. know, uh, of before all the lore and, and whatnot, you know, mm -hmm. um, but they just uh, constructed around uh, a mechanism which revolves around faith. And well, I, uh, what I don't agree with is, is, uh, um, uh, confession, you know, just like the guilt, mm -hmm. like uh, the, uh, Jewish faith, Catholicism, uh, uh, Muslim, it, it doesn't matter. They all revolve around serious amounts of guilt. Like you're a sinner, you gotta you gotta pray all the time. Mm -hmm. you gotta pray all the time, you know. Don't mm -hmm. don't worry about fucking your wife. You can fuck her later, but pray. You know, God is is your true companion, not 
not your wife. They're just there to pass away the time and give you. <laughs> yeah. Make more little slaves down there. Yeah. It's okay to beat your wife uh, and you know, submit to thy husband uh, you know, according to, to God's word. Just say 10 Hail Marys. <laughs> you can slap the shit out of your wife. You can bust an Ike turn. Just, just say the 10 Hail Marys. Yeah. That's what saying. <laughs> what's, what's a religious Hail Mary? Because the only Hail Mary I know is in football when you send the four guys down the field and you throw it really far and one of them catches uh, It's a prayer. It, it's a prayer, uh, uh, you know, the, the it's Hail a two, Mary. Right? It's a two-part. Come with me. Hail Mary, <laughs> run quick, see. What do we have here now? Do you want to ride or die? La, 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 la. <laughs> What so you're uh what what religion does a majority of my uh family are Catholic? Um what what religion are a majority of your family um Trenchy? Um my mom's Christian <laughs> uh my brother I don't know what the fuck my brother is. My brother wants to kill God, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh. he is I, I like your brother. I, I think my brother believes in the Viking religion, but he also believes in the right. Christian God because he wants to murder him. It's weird. Um, I'm, I guess, agnostic if you have to put a label on it. And my sister's atheist. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't like the labels, but I guess I, they, I guess I make plastic. But... I like like the the well. I I never got grown up with Baptist, Baptist, but that would be a weird juxtaposition, June. The Baptist and Catholic. Wow, that would be very rigid on both fronts. But I I do love going to black churches though. Um, because they get more into the the concession, you know, like the procession, like with the whole soul singing and stuff like that. The gospel singers, oh man, you could you could you could actually feel them all, you know. Like I mean, it's it's definitely more fun. It's more lively if you go to a, a like like a black church. I've been, I've been I've been to a few. Yeah, I rather go. It's it's more lively. Like you'll get better food. Um. You know, like, uh, I just, there's better scenery. <laughs> you're, you're in church, man. I, I know, but I'm an atheist, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I mean, damn, that's the only reason you're going, then fuck it. You're right there on the altar, you know? Fuck. I guess that's the best place, right? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's how it's called, dude. Right there on the altar, baby. What are we doing in the church? See, and, and June, I like some of those tenants I believe in as well, but I don't need a book to tell me that. You know what I mean? It's like be a good person, but I mean, but what justifies good? Like, who determines good? What is good uh, at the end of the day? People have different uh, subjectivities. Uh, giving back to others, that's a common trope within all religions, though, giving back to others. Do unto others as you would like uh, them having done to you. You know, that's a very common trope in, in much religion. What I suggest, you, because I've read uh, the Old and New Testament, I've I've read uh, the uh, I, I've read various forms of, of faith. I read the Quran recently, and and all of them have that same trope. You know, do unto others as you would like them having done to you. 
Like it, it's very common. So I would suggest if you are into that, like check into other religions too. Like there's there's wisdom bestowed within the all within all books. Mm -hmm. It's true. But I think, but as as a Christian, you should be more interested in the Bible because otherwise it's just blind faith. Like if you're really a Christian, you would definitely the Bible should have uh, more meaning to you than an atheist such as myself. And yet the Bible has more meaning to me. You know, and that's I I, I enjoy its work. You know, I I definitely like like Psalms, especially you know Corinthians, uh, Ecclesiastics. You know, like that's that's Exodus is great. Second fucking uh, in the Bible, you know, the second chapter in the Bible. It's fucking amazing. You know, that's uh, that movie. Uh, a lot of that movie. Uh, what was that movie again with the fucking frogs and shit? That was taken from the Exodus. Magnolia, Magnolia. Yeah, that mm. was taken. From and then it's a badass Bob Marley song. It's all Exodus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. That's what I'm talking about right there. Bob Marley was a hip ass motherfucker. Bob Marley makes fucking Elvis Presley eat his own feces. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> what the fuck? Bob Marley didn't Bob Marley hey. didn't go out the car and not know how to play a single note. <laughs> fuck man. Well, what happened? I read some religious books like the Bible and some Buddhist scriptures and the Hindu, but now I don't really buy into it. I get you, Brian. I read, I read all that too, man. I'm still reading it, actually. I always go back and read certain shit. I, I want to see how it kind of pertains to now and what what's gonna be. From the Bog <clears throat> is a real good fucking book. Man. It's very flowery. Like the Hindu religion is probably the most colorful. It's definitely the most interesting. Like because you have your deities, like mm -hmm. as well, you know. Um, but I I I like uh, Hindu as far as like how colorful it is. I mean, do I put any stock in it? Hell no. But do I love the fucking the the visuals I get from reading something like that and the concepts grasp? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I think it's it's amazing. Yeah, I think, like you said, that I, I feel there's a lot of truths in all this stuff that they be telling us. You know, a lot of stuff, obviously, with within something that they're telling you is the complete truth. There's no way it can be the complete truth. You know, because you know they fucking switched up shit along the way and. Like I said, it's just a story that keeps repeating over and over again. Well, the, the, the major problem with the Bible is the dates. There's something that's called carbon dating that can just like it. And there's very, there's various, uh, if you look at like, we, like, for example, we're homo sapiens. Mm -hmm. But like, if you look at our skeletal system, you'll see that we are homo sapiens. But the, the predecessor towards the, or not the uh, what predated I should say uh, mm -hmm. the Homo sapien was the Homo erectus. There's distinct features within the, uh, the physiognomy of the uh, of of the actual skeletal system that that clearly differentiates the Homo sapiens from mm -hmm. the Homo erectus. But why I speak of this is because there's actual fucking proof of evolution. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, like, this is why evolution is taught in college. It's because mm -hmm. you can't objectively teach faith because faith is the antithesis of logic. So, therefore, like, yeah, you could teach religious studies, but, like, nobody's going to be out there saying, hey, this is the way, unless it's, like, a Catholic school or something like that. You know, then, of course, it's going to be hell-bent on hell and heaven. Mm -hmm. No fun intended. <laughs> <laughs> no, real shit. Real shit. <laughs> it's, like I said, there's two sides. 
everything duality is too dead. That's that's just simple fucking mathematics. So I I lean towards like some of the shit with the the cause the cosmological side of it too with like you know like the sacred geometry and all that shit. And I'm not talking about masonic shit either. I'm talking about just more like where you where you can fucking put things together and and see how they connect. You know what I mean through numbers and all. You know I do it with my hip hop shit. Well, you know what? What I'm surprised is that you don't like if you if if you believe in cosmology, you should you should definitely get acquainted with uh, Hindu type stuff, dude, because they're big into that mm -hmm. and numerology. Mm -hmm. They're real big into that, dude, because they have a Ayurvedic or uh, Vedic, I should say, astrology, which is Eastern astrology instead of, instead of Western astrology, and that's where they start talking about like cosmology and and things of that nature. So I know that kind of shit just because I'm a yogi. But do I have any stock in it? Not so much. But do mm -hmm. but uh, do I like it? Fuck yeah. That's a lot of that. Like I was talking about Saul Williams, that kind of imagery is depicted within his writings, even though he's not, he doesn't subscribe to that faith or anything like that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, if you're into if you're into hip hop, I don't want you to get fucking completely like a lot of people that are into music don't want to get influenced too much. But like if you haven't heard Saul Williams, you should hear him, dude. He's fucking no. badass. I'm pretty sure I have, man. Like, but he's done something lately. Yeah, but I, you know what? Like, yeah, but I don't keep up with it anymore because he's once again a product of he got corrupted, dude. Poor guy. Like, I, I'll, as much as I love the guy, like, uh, once he got that fame, <laughs> well, uh, Trent Reznor produced one of his albums. You know, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, after, like, once that happened, I didn't really follow him because then that's where the music just kind of went to shit. But his first two albums are fucking amazing works of art. Like, so there's one that's self titled, that's the second one, and the first one's called Amethyst Rockstar. Yeah, I, I, I definitely know Homeboy from the fucking the movie, man. Cause I, I was like, I saw, I was on top of that movie like when it fucking came out, basically. Yeah, well, like, but he, but he's, he talks about like that when he, when he raps, dude. Like, so, like, you know, in that part of the movie, he's all like, "You massage the world's spine the way you crawl through time and leave shadows on the sun." You know, like, so he'll be talking about, uh, uh, he'll be saying shit like that throughout his whole songs, like even deeper than that shit way deeper oh, yeah. and and it's he's he'll trip you out man like he's he's pretty fucking thought-provoking I'll, I'll give him that much dude like and he's fast too like when he's talking and shit like that he's real and he's got a cadence about him that's very unique mm -hmm. you know like people don't sound like him at all maybe yeah. like Sage francis is probably like the closest well i know i know say about sage too yeah, there you go. Some, some something like that, you know, will probably be like the closest to his fucking style. Mm -hmm. uh, but I still say he has a style, a style of his own. Hmm. Mm hmm. I felt that's how Doom was too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had his own his own style, you know, like yeah. You know, when I saw Brian, I saw uh, Nine Inch Nails with the uh, Jim Rose Circus and Marilyn Manson, and uh, I I went to go see Nine Inch Nails. I fucking hate Marilyn Manson and fuck that piece of shit. Not only for what he's doing right now, but he's always made shitty music. Um, but Nine Inch Nails used to be a really good band. Like they were very influential on me growing up. Um, uh, their early stuff but uh well they they sold out too once once uh after the concert i went to which was downward spiral mm -hmm. uh that was the that tour and stuff after that the, their music went to shit but that was like five five albums in so at least they had a good last time mm -hmm. i almost got killed at that concert i almost got killed at yeah. the concert well, because see, while I was a kid, 
I was, I was like, I was in a, you know, mosh pit and stuff like that. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and, and with that. well, <laughs> it, it's, I wasn't too bad, but I was right in the middle of it. And like, I got this cramp in my chest, like, you know, those, those bad cramps yeah. you get and I could barely breathe. And I was all, okay, well, it, uh, good. It's the end of the song. You know, like I can just go run for, uh, and for to shelter until this blows over. But then, like, I hear uh, March of the Pigs, and March of the Pigs starts off real slow, but it is a brutal song. And I was scared. I was I heard the beginning of that. I was like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And then, like, right when it started, fucking boom, I was just pummeled, man. Like, I, I couldn't escape, like, this whole crowd of people, you know, and I had a cramp. It sucked. <laughs> the only time I've been in some shit like that was like at the fucking uh, it got pretty wild. But the the when Wu Tang was doing the shit in Hawaii, me and my boy was there. And that shit. So well, that, you're saying there was a mosh pit in the Wu Tang concert? <laughs> well, just people fucking like fucking getting amped and fucking pushing around and shit, yo. Like, yeah. But, but a real shit, like, I've been in a real shit like that. My boy was like, nah. He's like, come on, man. What? Because he was into that punk uh, shit and all that. I mean, I'm not saying shit, but like, I mean, certain. I can deal with certain shit, but this type of shit, not really. Like, I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna get pushed the wrong way one fucking time before I bang somebody out, you know. So, like, and came close to, and I was like, all right, got to the, I got off the fucking the area. Where the, were you? Where were you? Like, you know, were there? Was it a band or what was no, it? I don't. They had some. I don't know who the fucking the band was. They had a band and they had music playing in another area of the club too. So it was like it was kind of divided. It was it was a pretty decent sized place. This was in um fuck where are we? I think we're somewhere in like St. Louis. Oh uh, I've so, never been there, dude. I've always wanted to go. I was there, huh? I'm good with not going back. It didn't Hello, really show welcome. Me. F you. <laughs> My bad, John. No, what, Trench? I haven't heard your voice in like a oh, while. Wow. I just been listening, and then I had to go wake my mom up. Oh, yeah, it is 3.30, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I already forgot what I wanted to tell you in the back, man. Fuck. Oh, nobody... yeah, you. this has been going on for a couple days. <laughs> and nobody's going to remember what it pertained to. Sasha did the other night, but... Oh, do, wait, speaking of... Speaking of fucking Sasha, <laughs> you said my name right when I clicked in. <laughs> I don't know. Is he? I didn't see him. Is he in the chat? No, I wasn't no, no one saw him. He literally popped up right when you said his name, like literally right after I got a boink in the back, and I was like. I wasn't here, I was John, like, until you spoke it. Uh, <laughs> I told you, man, I, I fucking find these glitches in the Matrix. <coughs> Will Smith. Monkey Man. What? Monkey Man. Good to see you, man. I just come back from a smoke break, and it, it's Sexy Monkey. Oh, so you're in a good mood. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm always in a good mood. What are you talking about? Oh, I meant... I meant well, you had said you had a smoke, so I'm just. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh I see what you mean. That's that's a good uh, uh, assessment. 
<laughs> oh, we got Brian. It's tag oh, team. Oh, Brian. Hi. Well, I was I was gonna leave leave the stream right now, but I maybe I'll just stay up one more hour. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, dude, you're good. I like uh well five. That's a interesting name you've given yourself now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just got bored, so I put words together. Thank you for reminding me. I need to get some more avocados. Nine a.m. There, there, right, welcome. Sasha? Yes. Yeah. Paul, where are where are you? I'm in Texas. What's the time there? It is. Oh. Man. Hang on. This is John, you're doing the stream, right? This isn't Trenchy. This, this is Trenchy. I'm so confused. Because <laughs> I thought, John, this was your stream, and I see that I just noticed the vampiric penguins from Mars. I thought you that's you using Trenchy's thing, but that's it. I I, I really thought that John was hosting this stream. <laughs> no, I had I was I did go live earlier, but like <coughs> I look and I saw a trench and I'm like, well, <coughs> they're over there and they usually come to mine all the time. So let me just fucking be here for a little bit and then I went over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, put, you don't have to end the stream because of me, man. I didn't even know you were alive. Well, I didn't want to fucking stay with it by myself either. Like that was, you know, I was with Kevin and Kevin was wanting me to give him your channel. So I was like, okay, so we're going to. I said, yeah. I Live because I saw Ian up first. Ian was up and I cameoed in his stream, and then and then I saw Trench, and so I went over to his stream. Nice. Oh, Ian, which Ian? There's only one. Ian Rex Falcon is. Mm -hmm. Ian what? Rex Falcon. Rex. Oh, Rex. Uh, oh, I think I. I think I know more than one Ian on Facebook. That's what I'm not face YouTube. That's that's why I was asking. The one that comes. Uh, to me, me yeah. He likes comic books a lot. Huh? He likes comics a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I W K. Okay. Yep. I W K eighty three. I yep. think. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Brian. Yeah. Have you have you Ooh. ever in your life experienced something that seemed to you like a Mandela effect? Um, define what a Mandela effect is. It's it's what started because people thought basically Mandela was died in the either died in the prison or like something happened other than what actually happened with him. So it was right. like yeah. like what happened? Did we go through a loop time loop or something? And are, are you saying like Machiavelli, like that kind of deal? No, like Mandela effect. N Nelson M Mandela? Yes, Nelson Mandela. Like, he was jailed for all them years. Yeah. But people swore that, like, he had got out before, either got out beforehand or, or some, or he got killed. I don't know the exact story, but the thing was, it wasn't true. But so many people swore by it that, like, they remembered that. And and they would say it was on the news and all yeah. this other shit. You know what I mean? So, I, so I, my take is he was in jail for all those years. Right. That's my take. Well, that makes me think of the boy who cried wolf. You know, you say it so many times, people believe it. So yeah. You mean like like if I read some books about South Africa, or watched some documentaries in South Africa, I might get a different. Take on the situation, maybe. Is that what you mean? Are you saying that Nelson Mandela wasn't in prison? Is, am I correct? No, no, no. I, I don't know. See, I'm, I'm probably fucking up the story. I just, yeah. I know, I know what the concept of it is. It, it's basically like I'm remembering something a certain way, mm -hmm. and but that's not the actual way it is. Like, I'll give you my example. Here's my Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. uh, the song Get In Jiggy With It. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sasha told me this. Yeah. I yeah. swear it was around either in 
late 94 or early mm -hmm. 95. Yeah. And <laughs> so Corey looked it up and it was actually recorded in 97, came out in 98, some shit like that. I, had, mm -hmm. I have a specific memory special to the, to when that song came out because I know who I was with and I know what I was doing. Yeah. And it turns out like I'm, you know, you're reading the internet now and it's like, it says otherwise. So that is in a sense oh, what that I, effect is. I, I think it's um just the way you remember things. It, your brain jumbles things up. Uh, well, like like for example, like when I said was talking to Sasha, I think it was today. We're talking about Seven Samurai. Yeah. And I was watching. It was on Master Chaos TV streams. He's a movie filmmaker. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, 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 he's a, he he streams a lot of days, but he does videos on the other days. Mm -hmm. He's over in California. But um, somebody in the he was doing a quiz with. He had like sixteen people on his on an, on the camera or eighteen mm -hmm. people, but in the chat he was doing a quiz on, on 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 the screen. But some people were doing a quiz on the on the chat. So mm -hmm. somebody asked how, how many samurai were killed in Sam, Seven Samurai. So I said two, mm -hmm. and um, the person that asked the question said four or five or something. So it just. It's, it's like when the police, when there's a robbery and the police come and they say, do you know what the the um, assailant, would they, that be the right word, or the yeah, criminal was wearing? What, what did perp look like? Yeah. Perp, yeah. And they, they say, one person says he was wearing a purple coat and another person says, no, he's wearing a, a green coat, you know? No, I know, I know you're saying it's colorful, yeah. but it's like, it's just too many people have, you know, I'm not the only one saying it. I mean, there's the ones that, that they throw out there. I think those are the propaganda ones, like probably the Berenstain Bears. It, it was spelled like Berenstein instead of Berenstein, Steen, you know, like, but whatever, man, fucking. <laughs> uh, there's other ones, too, man. Yeah, I've heard of other examples of this, although I can't recollect them now. Yeah, well, I'm I'm giving you my example, and I don't, I'm standing by that shit. Okay, I'm, well, I'm, yeah. yeah. I understand why you would, because you have those specific memories, and that can't be – there's no two ways about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, John, I, I guess it's just me. It's just <laughs> logic for me. It's just – No, I know. I see, I see, I see things scientific. I don't know. I'm not a science whiz and not a rocket scientist, but I, like, I, I've gone through the journey in my life of like starting off believing in all this religious stuff and God, and then I, you know, I metamorphosized and mm -hmm. read lots of books, you know, philosophy, history books, um, religious books, and it just changed eventually over time. Mm -hmm. um, and I think also my the loss of my hearing and the death of my father. Um, like the, when my father died, I I don't believe he's in heaven or anything like that or or hell. I I just believe he's dead. You know, same with my mother. Mm. So yeah, I mean, you just become uh, cynical, but but it, an enlightened cynicist. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, I don't know if cynical is the right word. I mean, maybe I'm sort of cynical about um, I, I'm how the not government's going to help you. people. But yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying I perceive you as a cynical person. I'm just saying yeah. you take uh, other people, like society, especially since the majority of them are of a faith of some sort, will perceive you as a. They just, they just will. That's just because you're an unbeliever, you know. But there's nothing fucking wrong with that, dude. Those, those. Things that transpired in your life give uh, credence to the manner in in which you live and the way you reason and hold logic, you know, as number one. You know. Yeah. 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 I agree. I I was looking in the comments. You said something about Buddha or Buddhism earlier. 
Yeah, um, I said I said, made, made more than one comment about Buddhism, Sasha. Um, like for example, I said like Zen Buddhists technically don't believe in God. Enlightenment's basically more important. Yeah. Yeah, they, it, it's very interesting Buddhism. I mean, the Eightfold Path and uh, just the 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 terminology, the flowery terminology. It's 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 pretty cool. There's a lot of wisdom bestowed within that. I mean, how the fuck can can those monks like in in like twenty below zero elevate their heart rate to such where it actually warms themselves? You know that there's definitely some science behind uh, all of that, you know, and uh, but but that's very difficult to objectively prove and stuff. Aside from them actually doing it in front of you. Yeah, I um, like the Dalai Lama is not the type of Buddhism I buy into. It's really more like Japanese Zen Buddhism. Mm. <clears throat> I think the Japanese people are. Well, maybe they're they're one of the most atheistic countries in the world. I think I think Sasha England has become quite atheistic. I think because I think some you would might not might know a little bit better, but like churches have closed down. A lot of churches have. Well, it's not like it's it used. To be. Yeah, it's, huh? not like it, it's certainly not like it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but well, I, I mean, I you can find a direct correlation between the amount of churches and the general like uh, richness of the city or surroundings. Like, for example, in a very poor uh, third world country, there'll be a fuckload of churches, like tons of them. Um, yeah. But like in a very like uh, skyscraper, there's a bunch of skyscrapers around, and it's very fucking industrial. You know, just mm. uh, a bunch of roads, a lot, lots of uh, technology. There's going to be much less churches. You know, there's uh, the the more uneducated a region is, there will be more yeah. churches. Maybe, maybe the more education makes you more atheist. Oh, that's an interesting statement. So, so, I'm sorry, Paul. What, what was the last thing you said? The more incest that, if you see, there's a lot of incest uh, products of incest inbreeding and stuff like that. And chances are they live right uh, next to a church. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you know, well, that this is sort of digresses, but they say the ancient Egyptians. Well, I guess the population, of course, the population was lower back in those days, but they actually had sex with their siblings. Even in the Bible, like just in the Old Testament, yeah. I mean, uh, God told Lot, "Hey, yeah. why don't you just uh, uh, his daughters to daughters get him drunk and and just fuck him and and procreate?" And apparently, it was okay with the big head honcho in the sky. Yeah, yeah. Up in the sky. Up in the sky. <laughs> Up in the sky. <laughs> Parts of the Bible have good stuff, like um, well, basically the New Testament is what I think. But, well, but, I like the um, old. I like the bloodshed. Call yeah, me, call me evil. I like the old. Is, um, it just, is it just me, or did you suddenly sound like you were from Fargo, Paul, when you said that last sentence? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit of a chameleon, bro. So, so I, sometimes I'm a changeling, and I will change up my <laughs> shit. <clears throat> There's that line from the Bible. I think it's told Sasha. I, it's in the New Testament, I believe, but I'm paraphrasing. Because I don't know exactly the way it goes, but there's a rich man. He has $5 billion. He gives $2 billion away. There's a poor woman. She gives, she all she has is two pennies. She gives those, she, mm -hmm. she gave all that she had. Yeah. I, th I think that's not a bad lesson. And there was more virtue, but the way the Bible uh, explains it is there was more virtue in what the poor lady did, correct, than what the rich billionaire did, because yeah, she because, gave all that she could. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, meant, it, yeah. Means, it meant more to her than 
a billionaire who's got billions. Right, but that type of self sacrifice is precisely why uh, it's like <clears throat> the Bible is is ludicrous. <laughs> you have to be in a position to help somebody. Like I believe in phil philanthropy. Like I believe in altruism, but uh, I believe in selective altruism and not to give to every fucking person who asks. That you know, give to a charity that you find is is a worthy cause. But like, if you only have two dollars around you or two cents or whatever and you give it away you have to be in a position to give otherwise you are going to in fact become the beggar yeah mm -hmm. i know it's kind mm -hmm. of a problematic pa passage but um well it's maybe, very philosophical I, though nonetheless maybe, so maybe I, I don't literally mean it i mean maybe you still have some money left behind what's up tim did you give like up a lot of yourself you give up like a lot of yourself I think the billionaire did more too because two billion dollars of a hell of a lot more than two cents, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I understand. I, I, I understand what yeah. the Bible is trying to put out there, but it is an interesting yeah. topic. Oh, a person I watch on YouTube, he he says he, he's very against the Bible. Well, he's an atheist like me, but he he's um he says the Bible justified slavery, and I I, I think I agree with that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Like even even like uh did you know like Christians are the only people who like when they took on slaves and stuff like that would actually indoctrinate their slaves into Christianity like other other religions like whether they be Muslim or Hindu or whatever yeah they'd have slaves but they wouldn't actually try to fucking say hey this is your religion now you're you're you know Hindu or you're only Christians did that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like yeah. not only are we going to physically fucking like uh, enslave you, but we're going to spiritually enslave you as well too. We <laughs> want your mind, damn it. Mind too. We want the mind. Yeah. <clears throat> the mind, you get everything. He's he's saying that um, pe kid, young people are leaving in droves from the churches in America. So I, oh, like I it, guess it's I, happening. June, if you go back far enough, we're all related. That sounds so deliberate. Up, so, there, 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 there. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> that, that's kind of scary statement, dude. Uh, oh, oh, there's ooh. something in the. Oh, I, I didn't look in the chat. Yeah, it, it's true, but like at the same time, that we're trying to keep, like that was long ago. We're trying to keep that from happening because, you know, we might all be related, but at the end of the day. Blood, like, you know, it's the closer to connection. If, if you, like, fuck your sister, you're going to end up, like, half the time the baby's going to have issues and be, like, really sick and shit. Yeah, you're going to have flipper kids. <laughs> yeah, hills have <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Flipper kids. Oh, no, uh, flipper kids because I, I don't know. I got that from that 70s show because there was this episode where like Eric Borbin's cousin was hitting on him and like he was down with it so that he went to the basement to go hit her up and shit. And then like all his friends like fucking like were were eavesdropping and then his parents came down and, and he's he's like, Oh, I uh Eric Borbin was like, I was sleepwalking, you know? And he's all mm -hmm. uh, his dad's like, I, well, I'm gonna be sleep kicking your ass. I don't want any flipper kids, you know, in my family and shit, you know, because he was like trying flipper to do some kids. Things. Yeah, flipper kids. That's what oh, he God. said. So I got that from Red Foreman. He's a legend. He was great in Girl Interrupted. Oh, he's good in everything, yeah. man. Well, who, Hell yeah. I, I, Paul, I, I was reading the chat, so I, I wasn't focusing. Yeah, I got distracted too. Oh, that's who, okay. I did, I did too, so I understand. Who, um, who, who, Red Foreman was in this movie called Girl Interrupted. Red, what's the name of the actor, dude? Do you even know? Oh, uh, Winona Ryder? No, no, no. Oh, uh, Angelina Jolie? No, Red... Red, Red, Red oh, Red, Rebel Red Wilson. That was the character's name. Yeah. Uh, dude from that 70s show. Oh, he was, the um, he was, he was um, in, in Robocop. Clarence Bodica, Kurtwood Smith. No, his name is uh, what's his fucking name? Like in real life, I call him Red Foreman, but he has an actual name. He yeah. was the he was when Owner Riders Shrink in in Girl Interrupted, and he's in a lot of movies too. Like, 
Um, what's it? Kurt, what's it? Kurtwood, Kurtwood Smith. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. Clarence Boddicker. Oh, I said that. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Yeah, Trenchy, fucking, that. Trenchy told me something that I wasn't aware of. Uh, that really hot chick. She even died hot. Like she was hot her whole life. Uh, oh, Tanya Roberts passed yeah. away this year. I did not know that until like a couple days ago. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, she, conversation. Yeah. They had a report of her. They've had a few reports of of celebrities being dead and the celebrity still alive, and they said, "I, I I'm dead." Yeah. They were, um, Richard. And Pratt, they did one of those. Uh, he had one of those. That happened to Richard Pryor. Yeah. Time, we were talking with, about Richard earlier, oh, Sasha. That yeah. that happened with Tanya Roberts, but then she, I think it was like a few days or a week later, she did die. So she was declared dead once, but she was alive. That's weird. That's weird, yeah. As fuck, man. Yeah. Yeah, that, like, like, like they were already prepped for that shit. You know, one I mean? of the. Very few, like, significantly older women that I would get with. Like, she was so beautiful. She had Beastmaster, yo. Tanya Roberts? Yeah. She oh, was, yeah. Oh, Tanya Roberts? Yeah. yeah. Sheena. Uh, and just a shame. Even in that 70s show, I still think she was hot. Like, Donna's mom. You know, I never saw it. She's, oh, she's really? quite attractive in View to a Kill. I never saw that 70s. Wait, wait. Oh, you're you're missing out, man. It's a good show. Like if you've never seen it, it's funny. Like, like you're you're not really into sitcoms too much, though, are you, Sasha? What's your favorite sitcom? Um, a British show. I don't know. Does uh, can you? It could be enthusiasm a sitcom. I think. Technically, oh, that's a sitcom, no, I, I your enthusiasm. It can't be as I think sitcoms they, they got to be half an hour, I think, right? Yeah, that's around half an hour. Well, that fits, yeah, or 22 minutes because Curb Your Enthusiasm was a, an hour show on and it was by that dude Larry David, right? Yeah, yeah, but okay. they they became half an hour. I think everyone is half an hour up in the pilot. Yeah. Um, yeah, that counts. I, I've seen I, him on Broadway. Hmm. He did a play called Fish in, Fish in the Dark, I think. It's it's not that I wouldn't want it to count. Like, if it were up to me and I could just say, yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm definitely counts. But, like, I, I, I think uh, just definition-wise, it's not a fucking uh, sitcom. Yeah, I Because it has to be, like, uh, a broadcast, like, uh, on, on, the, on the regular channels, too. You know, like Three's Company or some shit like that is a sitcom, you know? Even mm. Sanford and Son is a sitcom. Oh, I'm Be, because sure. it's not uh, like it's a it's on a studio before an audience or whatever. Not in all cases, oh. ideally, so you don't have yeah. that stupid ass laugh reel and shit. Yeah. Like Cheers was was a uh, live audience. Yeah, <laughs> Cheers performed Cheers. Laugh reel. what? Cheers. Performed in front of a live audience. Yeah, they would always yeah. say that in a day. They see that every intro, yeah. Because it was. Uh, Cheers is boring. Uh, They're just sitting around at a bar talking to each other. I disagree, <laughs> man, because yeah. you have all, all different walks of life there. Um, yeah, I, I know a lot of people like it. Yeah. It, it's a, it's yeah. a legendary show, though. It is. Yeah. I did like the spinoff. I did like Frasier. See, I I don't know how anybody could be like that. I don't get that at all. Yeah. Like I just don't think Fraser was interesting enough character to make a spin-off of in the first place. Like I think any other character was. Um, not that he wasn't great in Cheers. I thought he was great in Cheers. I just don't think he was uh important enough to actually build a whole series after. And I didn't follow it. The humor oh. is witty. The humor is more witty in uh uh fucking Fraser. Like yeah, I, li no, I like, I like high, high, high party party shit. Yeah, well, I disagree because they're talking about like uh, in Cheers they talk about like Schopenhauer and Nietzsche having an argument over a cup of coffee and like there's oh, 
yeah, there's definitely oh, philosophical yeah. doctrines that are just uh, beast and and music, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, that that's played that's uh, was very quintessential to the age. Uh, there was a lot going on in Cheers. Uh, plenty of good actors were in Cheers too, you know, that that cameoed mm -hmm. uh, that were unseen. Well, they did, uh, they did that in Frasier too. A lot of the calls he had were were, you know, they had Michael oh. and people on the phones, but you didn't ever saw them. Right, okay. you just put a voice. to Google, Curb Your uh, Enthusiasm is a sitcom. Sorry, John, go ahead, my bad. Um, no, I'm good. I, I've mm -hmm. been to the Cheers bar. I think I told Sasha that. It's, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like the, the um, no. what it looks like in the show. No, because that, that, they, they probably didn't film the inner shit there, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't think they did. No, I don't think so. I think, no. you know, like when they, before they go in the bar, they show an outside shot. So that's shot in Boston. And then yeah. when they get into, you know, when you see the indoors, that's LA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, but it's a stark contrast. So not only do you have the live uh, audience, but it's also a stark contrast uh, to the CGI that's inundated within even um, sitcoms nowadays. So like mm -hmm. Cheers was just like pure acting. You know, and plenty of famous actors, you know, uh, made on to, especially Woody Harrelson, just went on to become like huge fucking oh, blockbuster fucking stars. You know, that's that's the thing about Woody Harrelson. I, I I like him now, but when I saw him on Cheers, I thought that's what he's re like in real life. That's that's who he is. And then I saw <laughs> all these movies he's been on, like. People versus Larry Flynn and Natural Born Killers, and I, I think I saw more, he could hit more range to him. But, I, yeah, but, but that's a know. good thing, though, because he, I think that that's good because he made you believe that he was that like down south, dumb, you know, white kid, you know, corn husker kind of farmer boy. You know, yeah. he made you believe that, but he had, he, but he was so much more prolific. You know, I mean, he did. If you haven't seen Rampart, you got to see Rampart, man. Oh yeah, Rampart. Rampart, yeah. Rampart is dope. Yeah, Ben, ben oh. Paul, like a motherfucker. Yeah, Paul, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was very good in Rampart. Um, I found where was it? Oh, it's it's on YouTube Movies. I think it, I think it was free in another service service, but I don't know where. But and I, Trunchy, I, you know this too. Um. The Lost Boys. Well, I was telling this to Sasha too, but anyways, it's free. Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube, I think. Oh shit! With yeah. ads. So I, I gotta watch YouTube. it. Hopefully, it won't leave before I watch it. Oh, have you never seen it before? No, I haven't seen it before. Watch it. Watch it tonight yeah. after you, after you leave this, bro. Just go I, watch. I gotta get some sleep. Seriously, it's it's that like important that you do. Because it really is a phenomenal movie. Christ. Like, I'm not, and this is coming from a guy who's not really into vampire shit. You yeah. know, like, I don't really like vampire movies. They're not my thing. Um, but uh, Lost Boys is fucking amazing because the makeup alone, like, the vampires look stupid real, dude. They look so yeah. visceral. Dude. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really good shit. I Me. like it a lot. When I get up tomorrow, right. sometime tomorrow, maybe I'll, I'll 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 put some time aside to watch it. It's a nighttime yeah. flick, though. If you yeah. if you've never seen it, see it in the nighttime. Oh, I don't care what time of the day to watch it. Doesn't matter to me. You can watch vampires in the daytime. <laughs> what the? Uh, you, I don't know. Twilight. There's two films I can think of. They just uh, they, they 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 they're better because if you watch them at night, and that's Back to the Future and The Terminator. Oh well, Sasha, the, David Lynch, I think, wants you to watch Eraserhead in the Dark. Oh, that's even all gives I you, did. Even I did gives like you that. commands. You know, like Quentin, how to. Quentin Tarantino wants you to watch his movies in the dark, masturbating to feet. Yes. <laughs> masturbating to what? Feet. The feet. The feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, death yeah. proves for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it did. He accomplished like, yeah, that feat with monkey. Here we go. <laughs> no, I'm, love... not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's a lot of feet in Death Proof. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. 
I still have to see Death Proof. Did you like them feet, Sasha? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, feet have never been my thing. The girl can have all these bunions. I don't care. Just wear some fucking shoes. I, I don't care. You can have bunions. It's okay. Because I'm not I'm not looking at your feet or feeling on your feet. Well, no, but when they when they do long tracking shots from the foot to the leg to the person, you know, you can't help but notice the feet. The film starts out with several feet. They could start off above the feet, and I'm, I'm still good. You know what I mean? What like, a great feet! Yeah, but he's accentuating. He's he's accentuating the feet. Right. I don't know, man. Yeah, for for weirdos like yourself. <laughs> feet, no. Well, <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man. Um, uh, what you call it? But like, no, I'm just saying, I don't get, I, I don't get the fetish. Like, I there's so many more interesting parts on on uh, the anatomy than feet. I just think feet are gross, basically. I don't even like touching my own feet, man. Like, you know, yeah, like... I hate cutting my toenails. I fucking dread it. I mean, oh, I, the way I oh. see, the body's just a vessel, and you know. June, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I was talking to Sasha about customs in other countries like Japan and and, and, and Iran. I, I, I'm pretty, I've seen it in the Iranian movies. You have to take your shoes off before you enter a house. Yeah. Or, or in the entranceway, you know. Oh, uh, John, Tim wants to tell you happy indie day. I don't know what that means. Independence Day is the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm good. I didn't. <laughs> I'm good with it. Yeah, there were some football hooligans going crazy yesterday because because there was a football match the other day. They were, they were screaming, and I think they must have been drunk because they were being so loud. I, I don't get it. A man kicked a bull, so what? Hmm. You, you oh. guys get like riots over there, right? Like that. Yeah. You, you guys that's get the, like crazy. That's the only sport that encourages violence. You don't get that in basketball. You don't get that in, in any other sport. What yeah. about football? That's what I'm saying. Football's the only one. Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm thinking of American football as well. <laughs> Somewhat too, Ben, because you get some crazy fans over here. I don't know, like, I don't know how to compare them. I hear it's crazier overseas, but I'm not sure because we get some riots in the parking lots over games. And you ever been sometimes. to fucking Boston with the when the fucking Red Sox win the shit? Yeah, That's dude, yeah. dude, like, uh, there were. I had some family members be threatened for going to a game in a rival territory. Like, <laughs> they, they just because they were wearing the jersey to get in the fucking game, they were wearing the rival team jersey. People were sizing them up and shit. Like, yeah. it was no, bad. To me, that's crazy. It's like you both have this, like, passion for, like, football, and you can't bridge the gap. Like, there's no solidarity for both loving football. Like, this same person will not hate somebody who completely hates their sport, but they will have this hatred. They will reserve this special hatred for the opposing team. That doesn't make any fucking yeah. sense to me. Fucking weirdo-ass mother. <laughs> it's, me. it's kind of primal, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely... It's, it's worse. It's definitely barbaric. It's definitely boorish. Yes. I find most right. sports boring. Almost all sports boring. If you don't have sports, I find interesting. I, like, I don't. I happen yeah. to like sports, but I don't watch them, if that makes sense. I like to play them, oh, in other words, but I don't yeah. like to watch them. Because it's you know different. Yeah. It's, good. it's good exercise. Uh, yeah. You know, it it's, it's can be fun. Like it do, mm -hmm. and uh, it's definitely great exercise, especially like their kind of football, uh, like Sasha's kind of football, <laughs> you know, like uh, uh, just soccer, like, I guess. Soccer is like you have to be in so good shape to fuck. Have you ever yeah. seen a fat dude play soccer professionally? No, no it doesn't no. happen. Yeah, they are fucking ripped. They can run for hours on end. It's amazing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to play soccer once, and then I accidentally got kicked in the nuts. 
<laughs> oh. I think that's happened anytime any soccer plays. I, I, I think the only sports I like, and I don't really love them it, it really that much, is anything with a race because that's easy to understand. Oh. You know, because the first one out to reach the finish line, and then the bottom of the ninth inning of a baseball game, score is tied. The Indians or the Yankees will win, or the Atlanta Braves will lose. <laughs> well, my, um, my dad, the you know, Yankees. Uh, huh? Every weekend, my dad used to play the uh, sports results, and when they when they would give them, they sound so bored. They sound like they didn't care what they were talking about, which is kind of ironic to me. Your father was bored talking about it. No, no, no. The people giving those. You know, Aston Villa. Sportscasters. Sportscasters. Oh. They yeah. just, you know, they weren't interested in what they were saying. Well, you yeah. know what I think makes it revolve? It's not so much like the fan consumerism and stuff like that, but it's the betting. Like what basically they're trying to get people to do is make serious bets on the games. I think that's the overall objective, you know? And yeah, that's why a lot of the cases it's rigged, you know? Yeah. I, so oh. I try to refrain and, from uh, watching it. And the players are so. It's all. It's all about money. The players, are yeah. That's another reason to not like it. I think it's just. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what took me. Away. That's why I prefer playing versus you know like uh, uh, watching, indulging that type of lifestyle. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense to me. Vegas. Yeah. Uh, I knew a person that used to do parlays. They would like buy these slits of paper and put money on certain teams mm -hmm. and scores. Of, you I know, mean, and of course, is, is, is boxing, dude. You know, because you have yeah. tons of people betting on one person that's going to win. If the, if the other guy, you know, takes a dive, like if the guy who's a, a huge favorite takes a dive and you bet the other way and you're getting like 10 to 1 on that shit, you know, like on that, and you bet just like 10 grand and you won a fucking 100 grand on bet. You know what I mean? That type of shit is going on all the time where people are taking dives in fucking boxing and shit all the fucking time. They made an, they made like a 70s movie on that shit. It was all about like a crooked boxing ring. I forget the name of it though, but my dad had it on VHS. No, but it's sad because it takes away from the beauty of the sport. You know what I mean? That oh, whole yeah. pugilistic like yeah. type of you know, it takes away all, all the all the intrinsic worth of that and just and, and and you know sucks the dick of capitalism. Yeah, because boxing is like truly a sport of, you know, two men duking it out. Like, you know, wrestling is is it's real but it's 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 oh. it's performed it's performed it's, it's, to a script to keep people from getting hurt trenchy it's you so know? fake wrestling no, I mean, no, at least american no. wrestling you know world wrestling no. you know here's the thing is it's set up it's rigged yeah. to the yeah. winner but the thing is that all the stunts are real they don't really punch each other but like they all those stunts they're performing, grappling and jumping off the rope, that's real. Like they, they yeah. can't fake that. Yeah, but. of course. I mean, mm. they're definitely uh uh gym you know, have some gymnastic like qualities. But yeah, yeah I just I can't uh get behind something that's totally fake, you know. Uh uh but mm. I mean, but r remember wrestling is a real thing too, you know, like oh. the actual, there's a sport of yeah. wrestling. <laughs> yeah, you know? uh, like oh, yeah, if you yeah. go to see high school wrestlers or college wrestlers, that's that's wrestling, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Cool wrestling is 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 just big show and yeah, but what they rigged. what they say, they don't really hate one another. Like they make out, you know, that's an act. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. Fight, no, they seem pretty friendly with one another. Actually, I mean, a little too friendly if you catch my drift. Yeah, um, sure. But you know. Yeah. <laughs> but like, like in that movie, uh, The Breakfast Club, it's it's all. Uh, was it you eat tights? You wear tights. I wear the required uniform. Yeah, tights. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Ro rolling on around on the floor with, with other guys. Yeah, you know, like uh, what do you say? Uh, 
John Bender and shit, man. Fucking legend. Judd Nelson is a legend, is all I'm saying. His movies are so good. Mm-hmm. Like, have you guys ever seen uh, Blue City? No. That's a cool mm-hmm. Judd Nelson flick. I've so. yeah. seen, uh, seen New Jack City. Of course. New Jack City, of course. Uh, that's one of my fi- – that's a top five for me. Um, Relentless. I've told you about that. Relentless, where he plays a serial killer. Hmm. Paul, oh, where are you, how are you seeing these movies? Uh, do you have like a streaming, or do you buy lots no, of movies? I, I grew, as, as a kid, one of my favorite movies was The Breakfast Club. So yeah. basically, I've seen every movie that all of them have done. Like anybody, even Molly Ringwald or Ali Sheedy or or Emilio Estevez, you know, or or Judd mm-hmm. Nelson. I just followed them throughout their career, as well as I did the direction, like John Hughes and shit. So, like, not, I've seen pretty much everything that they've done. Not just, not mm. just that, but I mean, in general. Um, oh, uh, 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 various ways. I either own them, like on DVD. Uh, I don't have quite the collection as, like, say, Sexy Monkey. Not even close. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but uh, the movies that I really care for, I own. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, what you call it. Uh, I also will go online, see them any way I can, or I will, I have Amazon right now. I don't usually support fucking Bezos, but I have to make a lot of birthday. There's a lot of people I know that have birthdays in June. So I went ahead and got Amazon just for this month so I can Mm -hmm. get free shipping on all their shit, you know, all their birthday gifts. And so so are are you watching one or two films each every day? Um, I wouldn't say every day, but I did see a film last night. I saw Which Way Is Up with Richard Pryor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have that movie, Sasha? Yeah, I have it. Um, yeah. I don't see it, but I have it. Sasha, do you have every movie that Richard Pryor's been in? Not every single one. Um, yeah. Which Way Is Up? Grease Lightning. You should, uh, hey, Sasha, you know what would be cool for a video? Is uh your Richard Pryor collection video, just That's like what you one. have of Richard Pryor, Pryor, and just like talk a little bit about each of those flicks because uh, I've never seen, I've never seen any of your Richard Pryor movies. Well, you That's mean, a good idea. Uh, I, I can I can just show you. You mean talk about them, not just show them, because I don't know how interesting it is just to show something I own. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You would talk about them because you've seen them. Uh, Paul, have, have you seen the band? I'm, I'm sorry, Trenchy, what? Oh, my bad. I cut you off. No, no, no. I did that. Oh, what did you say, bro? No, I was asking if you've seen The Stand. Um, I read the book. I haven't seen the movie. I've read the book, though. Oh, I was just curious because you said you followed their careers and Molly Ringwald was in it, so I was interested because that's one of my favorites. I love that movie. Oh, well, yeah, you caught, you caught me in a movie I missed for Molly. She was probably the only one who I didn't follow because she ended up, just like John Bender said, like uh, really fat. <laughs> see, he goes, I, I see you're going to get married. You're going to squeeze out a few uh, puppies and... The puppies get bigger, and then does she act anymore? No, no. Uh, I mean, she was doing like not another teen movie and stuff like that, uh, like mm-hmm. comedy and stuff like that. But uh... no, she actually, still I... acts. She does Riverdale. She does fucking Riverdale. Oh yeah. What do you mean Riverdale? What the fuck is Riverdale? Riverdale's like adult edgy, not adult, but it's like teen edgy fucking archy on the CW channel. <laughs> yeah, but she's like far from teen. She's like in her 50s. <laughs> like, oh, what do you mean? What are you doing in there? She's like his mom. Yeah. You, you know who I found more interesting was definitely her career was, uh, was Ali Sheedy. Uh, Ali Sheedy's the boss. Is she is she working now? I have no idea. I don't. I, I, I don't follow. Uh, I yeah, mean, I follow I, everybody. You know, like just like these actors. Even though I followed them, right? But I was talking about when I was a kid. 
I still yeah. don't. The, the only one that I religiously follow from the Breakfast Club would mm-hmm. be Emilio Estevez. Like yeah. I religious, I have, I have Emilio. literally, uh, I have, I have literally seen every movie he's been in. Um, oh even yeah. His, like, but um, everybody else, I was following him and I was seeing all their movies. But then I, I quit after a certain time. Maybe when I was about like fifteen or something, I stopped. Well, you know, he's the director as well. John Hughes. Oh. No, 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 Emilio Estevez. Emilio. Sasha. Yeah, Emily when he direct. did. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's done a few. He did a uh, uh, rated X. That's another movie that no one's ever seen. He directed that movie with uh, Charlie Sheen. Uh, uh, oh, really? Well, he didn't. Yeah, yeah. Where they're yeah. they're like they're direct in the movie. They're directors of like they're porn directors. Emilio. He directed a film with his dad as well. They were yeah, wo- the way oh. back. Yeah, that's the yeah, one. That, yeah, that yeah. One, uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you weren't interrupting. Well, I was just going to say the way back. That's in. Sp- that's about the um. The um, what do you call that? Um, Here you go. I do have found it. That that walk you take in in Europe and Which in way? France and in Spain. Uh, um, I love to see that was the original like nutty professor and like like before yep. there was uh fucking Eddie Murphy there was Richard Pryor and that's what people mm-hmm. don't understand everything well, that Eddie Murphy did oh, Richard Pryor did better in terms Pryor. of yeah not just not just this but in terms of comedy too there would be no uh, Eddie Murphy if it wasn't for Richard Pryor oh that's really right, that's, yeah 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 that's yeah. that's what I'm I mean he was about, right? he was the, he was a massive inspiration for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah massive. Same with Chris Rock. There would be no Chris Rock at all if it weren't for any of those. Yeah, he played three roles in the film. Yeah, yeah. Shit, he played more. He played more. He so he played himself. Oh, yeah. He played that old guy. He played the the deacon too. Well, that's, he played that's, that's three. That's was, three, and then and then uh uh what else? He, 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 dude, I I counted like five when I saw it. He did like five roles, bro. Mandela of <laughs> say three times the pro, three times the loss. Oh, okay. maybe he just busted a a a cheech. Then maybe he just busted a cheech. It felt like more. Sasha, when did that come out? Seventy, late seventies, I think. Oh yeah. Um, seventy-seven. Oh yeah. yeah the same year as um as a uh, blue collar. Then. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah, go, go run and see that movie. Which one? That movie that he just showed us. Which way? Is oh, up? okay. Because yeah. I seen Blue Collar. Um, I gotta write it down, Sasha. I'm gonna forget. What's it called again? Which way is up? Which way is up? Oh, let me ask you some, Brian. Re- remember yeah. you? So, so you like Japanese culture and stuff, and I recommended yeah. that movie, Zumi. Did you ever see it? Not yet. I I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm not because I don't want to watch it. I, I did record it onto my hard drive. Yeah, I um, had, I I had trouble playing it. Um, I also recorded the sequel too off of YouTube. They're both on YouTube. Sasha told me about this. I can tell you on right now, right, Sasha? I guess I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I I. I, I've done a video on it, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah, legal. I've, it's legal. It's okay, legal. I've I've copied stuff. In fact, in fact, that's how I got the Warriors. Ooh. Um. But okay. well, I'm digressing for a second. But um, like the Warriors and Napoleon, the silent film, <clears throat> the sound and the pictures intact all the way through. Because like the picture is usually intact when I copy a video. But sometimes the sound goes in and out if I jump ahead. You know, but, speaking of Napoleon, you know, like, uh, so I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but see, one of yeah. the reasons why, like, uh, 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 Les Miserables, mm-hmm. the unabridged version, is because there's an interesting account that Hugo has of Napoleon on how he got defeated by Wellington that hasn't really been articulated until that oh, yeah. work. So basically he had this his take was he had this tour guide and his name was Lacoste. Napoleon did. Mm-hmm. And so the tour guide was responsible for uh 
explaining like the the terrain and just knowing the land you know and knowing you know what was there you know what what they what, what was the best way to traverse the land whether it be horses or you know like uh what kind of battalions to 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 have and so basically since he was like the man when it came to the land he he there was this sunken trench uh hmm. and he did not account for this he did not even know about it and so that when napoleon was was charging to wellington like two-thirds of the fucking of his horses and the people on the horses his troops fell into this sunken trench and fucking and everybody got trampled over and stuff like that and they died in the trench and he lost like a third uh two-thirds of his army and then the rest were just killed uh with the rest of wellington's army and stuff just due yeah. to their the tour guide of napoleon not not taking into account what he was responsible for was this trench that was unaccounted for <laughs> it's like is it is achilles heel well, a lot of people think that it would just they they think oh, well, Wellington just out you know chest him you know or yeah. but yeah I I'm oh. I'm one to you, you mean, know what I mean he he get, he gets the accolades you know for having defeated Napoleon but you mean he was it, just it, lucky yeah yeah he was fucking lucky hell yeah he was yeah. lucky man <laughs> yeah huh? lucky oh so yeah so I I recorded a zoomy on the hard drive. Yeah, um, you check it out, dude. Yeah, You'll well, like you know what? Um, because the sound cuts in and out sometimes when I watch one of the, one of the things I record off of YouTube. Um, sometimes it, it did work in a few cases with the Napoleon silent movie and the with the um, with the warriors, <laughs> but um, I think I found a way of circumventing that and, and making it work. So I record a few YouTube concerts. Onto the hard drive mm -hmm. on on a MP4 file, and then I got it into the something called a VLP or I, another type of file. And mm -hmm. when I put it into that one, when I went later in the concert, like it's a two-hour concert, three-hour concert, they it stayed. When I got to a certain point, like an hour in, yeah. the picture yeah. and the sound was in sync. You know, on the, yeah, the MP4 wasn't. PLP tends to have better performance than than others. Yeah. So maybe if I took the Azumi file and put it in there, it's kind of tricky how to do it. But now, now I know what yeah. you're talking about. So like, I hate when that doesn't sync up like that. That's fucking annoying. So I I understand the quandary. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully that that seems mm. like a a good well, resolution to remedy that. Paul, and, and maybe I could watch it out directly off of YouTube. And well, I mean, some movies, I don't know, YouTube's kind of weird. Some stuff, music, mu movies, and music, they'll take right off. I mean, they took, for example, when I recorded The Warriors, the next day it was off. They pulled it well, off of YouTube. Well, the, the cool thing about Azumi is it doesn't, it's not as big as The Warriors. So I'm pretty sure it's been on there for a while. So I'm pretty sure that, that you won't have any problems watching that. Um, yeah. The only thing that would suck is the resolution. I'm, I, I know that it's not the yeah. best, like as far as pixels are concerned. Well, that's okay. I mean, because I don't, I can't. Yeah, I can get by with know. it sometimes. But yeah. a movie like that is very. Uh, c cinematography driven. It was shitty resolution. Then not see it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's sort of like that's sort of like David Lynch. They did a fake iPhone commercial. Um, <laughs> he's saying, uh, "You what? You watch a you watch a movie with other people, but you don't watch it on your fucking iPhone. That's what he said. It's a fake iPhone commercial. Um, mm -hmm. it, you're watching it on your goddamn fucking iPhone. That's what he said mm -hmm. at the end of the commercial. Yeah. So I, I like that sentiment because, dude, the last place I'm going to watch a movie is on a fucking phone. Oh, well, never... the point, yeah. I thought but of the that. Thing the thing is... I thought uh, of that the other day when someone said, I can't remember who it was, um... 
But they said they watched the Goonies on their phone. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, I guess watching Lawrence of Arabia on a on a on a phone is kind of defeats a purpose. But maybe it's better than never seeing Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, well, I agree. That's what I was saying with the Zoomy. Um, Richard Pryor stand up, for example, it'd be okay to watch on phones. But if we're talking like a cinema, you know, like if we're talking like fucking Game of Thrones or something like that, you can't watch that shit on a phone. Hey, how he, cool. he the, the thing how cool. like, how cool. Slow was the director of photography on a Richard Pryor stand up, so they have cinematic value too. Oh, they do. I'm not saying that they're not filmed correct. Oh, like you, you got a point there, Sasha. But it's not as important because there aren't numerous characters. You know what, what I mean? Like there isn't changes of scenery or anything like that. Everything is like it's the same place. It's just different shots. You know, it's much easier, yeah. dude. This is a thing. Like if you have to watch it on the thing fine like on the phone or on the tablet but like that that's be a good way to get a taste but you'll know if you really like mm -hmm. a film if you be like okay i gotta find a way to watch this on my tv and shit you know oh like, yeah well i mean i have no problem with that because not only do i have good tvs but i have uh, uh my computer i got two monitors and they're they're fucking up-to-date monitors too you know they're high-tech monitors so like i i watch i watch uh pretty good resolution can you tell me again how do you spell a zoomy a z u m i a zoomy does that mean something i, I know you know i know some japanese but that's a person's name i think is that what it is yeah, I don't know like the origin of the name or anything like that, but yeah. I know the actress because I've spoken with her before. Oh uh, yeah, but yeah, Ooh. but uh, Aya Aya Ueto. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with her. She's pretty yeah. popular in Japan. Yeah. Hmm. How, how did what were the circumstances that you met her in? I you know it was online circumstances. Oh um, okay. Yeah, uh, I wasn't even seeking her out. She just happened to be at the same place. She actually turned me on to her movies like I didn't even know. She said mm -hmm. she was a musician, and she is a musician. Um, so I checked out her music. I really didn't like her music, but I checked out her movies, and I liked them. Yeah. Oh, that makes me think of Meiko Kaji. She's a big Japanese actress. I guess she's fairly old now. I mean, I'm 48, so she's pretty... Maybe she's in her sixties, but she she did music too. I don't know if she does music currently. I think uh, earlier this is Chinese, but um, Asian nonetheless. Um, uh, the Night Watch Zone did a uh, uh, Enter the Dragon earlier today, which oh, I was gonna watch cool. that. I, I'm yeah, sorry. That was I'm sorry, Paul. Cool. No, no, they they give a, a lot of good uh, insight into like the uh, the making of and and some good tidbits that I didn't know. You know, the it's pretty cool. I I, I rather enjoyed it earlier. I, I I watched the Bruce Lee box the Criterion box set. I don't know, maybe a month ago I finished it. I can't remember exactly, but I watched the whole watched all the movies he was in. Pretty interesting. I, I was gonna watch Night Stream, but I was on with Sasha. I I didn't have a phone or something to make me know. I. I, I don't. I, I I wouldn't get off of Sasha. I, I wouldn't get off of, get off her streaming and say sorry, Sasha. I'm leaving. Yeah, and there was a, here, but I didn't. I didn't see Sasha streaming earlier. Oh, like I guess. But you yeah. did. You did that yesterday. Wait, who? For for Daisuke, you said I'm going to go now and watch Daisuke. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I I, I, I knew Daisuke <laughs> was going to be on like a week ago, week before. So I, I don't know. Any even if I attend a night stream, I would have to leave it an hour after it started. I, I don't know how long night stream was. I tend to go about forty something minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, may, then maybe it would work. Yeah. So 
But I, I remember Daisuke was on to, today. He's doing streams on Bond films. He's been doing it for about a year. So, um, yeah. So I, I, me and Sasha were, were privately chatting earlier today. That's all right to say, right, Sasha? No way. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sasha has been exposed. Just don't say it. Gaslighter. <laughs> um, I can't. No. You lit the ocean on fire, Sasha. <laughs> oh, Sasha and Brian. Do you guys know the we humans have found a way? They lit the ocean on fire. Like oh, I saw the that Gulf clip. of Yeah, the Gulf of Mexico is on fire because like some idiots like fucking like that's amazing to me that we are so stupid we found a way to break nature and set water on fire like that amazes me <laughs> we're the stupid ones that's I mean, what i'm we, saying man. human beings yeah, no, are, I'm are the corporations they're, they're they're the stupid idiots that's why yeah, i can't wait can't wait till there's no more oil and everything's electric, man. Fuck oil tycoons. Yeah. Um, they're, they're making people... I don't know if this 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 stuff is going to reach the shore of the south, southern uh, United States, but I don't know if the citizens down there are going to be affected by this, but the stockholders and the CEO are Nothing's going to happen to them, you know? Mm -hmm. but, Precisely, but why should we live in the Flintstones when we could be the Jetsons, you know? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should invest in, uh, in a green, shit, green, green electric economy. economy. Yeah, electric cars are the way. These these I mean, these uh, rich people, well, you know, these corporate people are not going to give up easy, I guess you could say. Mm -mm. Right, but there, they but no, ultimately they're going to have to though because that's yeah. the way of the world, you know. Yeah. But they hung on to it for as long as they could. That's for sure. They still are. Well, they're clinging on to it with their greedy, money grubbing hands. But like it's Donald, going away. Donald Trump, I think had one million dollars when he was three years old. What are you talking about, dude? He fucking had over. He had more than that. Like when he, he was three. Was he was born of a platinum spoon, not in his mouth, yeah. up his ass, like just yeah. straight up up his ass. Because I like I, 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 doc, I watched a documentary on him. That's how I know. That, that's that's, that's what I think. That's, that's too visual. I don't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was gonna say something about Donald Trump, or maybe it was just rich people in general. Uh. I can't remember. I don't like the fact that those uh, July six people, oh, wait, January six people, are not being uh, held accountable. Like they're sort sort of letting it all s sort of slide away. Well, uh, I mean, it's not that because there are they are standing trial and they are doing time. What what perturbs me is the head honcho, uh, the insider. Uh, the one who started that whole bullshit, were it not for his stupid inflammatory rhetoric, uh, is not in prison. That's, You're talking you know. about Trump, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, straight up, he it, he's the one that should be in prison. I mean, he's he's yeah. the one that incited it. He thinks he's he's um, impenetrable. He thinks he can't. He's above the law. Well, that's yeah. that's coming from the wayside, though, man. Especially since he's not in power anymore. I mean. All, all, oh. his, all his past it will haunt him. Well, I have seen some clips of, of rallies he's been doing, and then people have been walking out of the rallies, Trump support, just walking right out of there recently. Well, it's just like the whole conspiracy thing is getting old, you know? Like, yeah. The whole, like, we really won the election. Well, I mean, even the first election that he won, he mm -hmm. lost the popular vote. What makes yeah. him think that, like, four years of in just like the shit show is going to well, make I, more people vote for him? I, I would say he, less um, people would vote for him. I think the the pandemic really made him look bad. 
I, I, I think he's a mass murderer in a way. Yeah, he is. He, well, he's so stupid, like, as far as, yeah. like, trying to put the, the thing, making it seem like, you know, the pandemic wasn't a big deal. And then his whole family gets COVID, including himself. Yeah. You know, well, then he, he claims he, he he got the vaccine. He I I did the vaccine. I took care of this. But you weren't in the power when that happened. You know, right? And well, not only that, he he didn't distribute them or acknowledge that it exists. You know, um, he, yeah. It, we always he, played to his advantage. That's what he always did. He used it. Always, it yeah, still doing. We're still doing money. He used it to make money. Basically, yeah. all the billionaires got richer, like Bezos. Like oh. a, a well, Bezos is a trillionaire now. I think he's the only oh, trillionaire. Yeah, exactly. First because trillionaire. They all profited off the pandemic, dude. All the all yeah. the major billionaires profited off the pandemic. Oh, I I think I know what I was gonna say. I'm sorry if I'm. Um, Amazon's doing ads like on Spotify, but I, you know, for people that work work there, I never worked there, but I hear that they they they. they they're tough on bathroom bathroom breaks on their workers. Yeah, I saw a document. Well, uh, I saw an expose thing on YouTube about this. Yeah, that's true. Can you send me that that YouTube video, Sasha? Yeah, I can. I'll send it okay. to you. Okay. I don't think Je Jeff Bezos has a soul. Basically, I'm okay. sorry. I I'm sorry if I went off on a spiel there. Greed is good. Yeah, you're good. You good? Mm -hmm. No, it's it's freedom of speech, man. Like we can talk about whatever. I don't I don't care. I mean, it's good conversation. Like, yeah, but this needs to be talked about. You know, can't just pretend it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ain't got time to bleed. Like, like you said, they're making money off them. They've been making money off of everything. Look at the hospitals, man. Like they, the 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 pharmacists, like they're just. They're, there's probably a way to cure cancer if they can cure oh. the fucking. If they can cure cancer. Oh, that's they a, just. They just want people to be sick. They make money. That's, that's the thing. Was, I'm that's sorry. Go ahead. No, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's a fact. So, I've been doing this forever. Sasha as, showed up. I'm sorry. As long as people are sick, there's an income. You know? Sa well, Sasha even showed up. Work there no. makes a lot of money. When we're in war, the, the economy thrives. You know, mm -hmm. it's a very sick, fucking evil means to accrue wealth. Sa Sasha showed me mm -hmm. a picture. I can't remember what exactly it says, but basically, we're talking about it. Maybe Trenchy was there. I can't remember, but I, th I think Trenchy was there. But like all this money we put into a defense could feed the homeless, could house homeless people and veterans yep. in this country, and yet we spend all this money on defense. And I and I think I, I think a lot of uh, people around mm -hmm. the world don't yeah. like us. We've 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 uh, armed people that the. Um, People of that country were treated bad by by those rulers, um, and we we arm those people. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It's I a mean, big mess. It it's been fucked up forever, man. Look at during yeah. the pandemic, they're telling people to eat healthy, but what was what was an essential workplace? All the fast food places. I know my mom works there. They were considered essential workers, but they were telling people to eat healthy. Yet they were shoving fast food in their face. They want people to be sick. They, they. That's why there's so much fast food and all that yeah. stuff because they, they're, they put poison in the food because they why want they you sick. Cigarettes. They make money off you wanting to kill yourself. You know, it's a sick fucking. Mm -hmm. It's a sick world. They make right. money off cancer. In other words, they make money off cancer. Why would they want to cure you? They're making money off your off your demise, your slow and painful demise. Yeah, mm -hmm. they tell you don't. Yet the fucking it's still legal. Mm. I'm not gonna make that illegal. It's it's criminal to my mind. It is there. Yeah, I mean, there's no ands ifs or buts about it, Sasha. It is criminal. 
Because you if you're sick, the, you're easier to control, and they'll take you your take money. The money out of uh, out of um, equation health health tier. You get. I think this country has to be more socialist. Like, I don't know how how socialist UK is. If it really is, a, Sasha, I guess UK is not a paradise as far as socialism goes. I, it's probably not not the most apt word you could say, hmm. right? Are you kidding? They have a royal family over there, man. <laughs> no, not not the royal family. I mean, I mean, just socialism. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, if they have the royal family, they are far from socialist, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sasha, so is I thought the UK was kind. Ki well, actually, it's more socialist than we are. But I mean, like other countries, maybe the Scandinavian countries are more socialistic. What I mean is like free health and free education. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe compared if you're comparing the two, but still, that it's not. It's not dramatic. It could be better. Yeah. Anything, bro. Like, yeah. Junebug. It's just a big game of chess and we're the I, pawns. That's the most poignant thing that you said, Junebug. Like, so far, not that you haven't said anything poignant, but like that about the Nazis, yeah. That's true. Because the thing is, you can't beat an ideal. You can defeat people, but Nazism is an ideal. It's not a person. You you the can't ideology. defeat an ideal. Yeah. It's I, yeah. an ideology. Well, well, some people are. Nobody's born racist, but your parents can tell you things to think racist. That's what they do in the South. I think that's that's why. That's why some people are are so. Um, entrenched in racism. Yeah, influence. Yeah. I, guess not, the South, I think they, they, could, they put up north uh, too. What? It's, it's not. It's not just the South, man. They do it up north too, man. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. But I, I, maybe pe people can change. Hopefully, I mean, I mean, well, that Sa Sasha sent me a video about a guy. Can I say this, Sasha? I don't know what you're about to say, but the KK and K what thing? Oh, did I? I I didn't. I watched that video. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can. Of course, you can. Yeah, because he he this black man when he was a kid, he was having all these stones thrown at him, and he didn't understand why. He was and yeah, he said. So, well, yeah. I didn't understand why someone who doesn't know him would hate him because he said. Yeah. What do you hate about me? You know nothing about me. What's the yeah? Hate? But that's the whole. Then, uh, that's the whole thing. I, I'm sorry to interject, but it, yeah. it was that fear of the unknown, um, and that's that's what it was. It's fear. Yeah. It's that which you don't understand that cannot be explained. Well, I know. Uh, that. As a child, he couldn't understand that. Yeah, he couldn't fathom that. Yeah. Uh, so, go ahead, Brian. But he. So when he became a man and he's a, he's a musician, he uh, he decided to contact one of the people that that is part of the KKK, and then he went to their meetings. Um, I saw that it was on Amazon, was, right? I saw that. Was it on Amazon? It was. It was a TED talk. It was. Yeah, it was a TED talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I I saw a different one. It was in English. It was a is a a black uh, uh, British dude. Who, no, this who, is an American. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it was, yeah. it, but he he went he went to America though. The one I'm talking about. Oh yeah. And yeah, and he he went to like the head of the KKK and he he confronted, you know, like why are you seg uh, advocating for segregationism and whatnot? Yeah. And he did a pretty good documentary. So I mean, at least people are trying to, but see, but like, yeah, I advocate well, for socialism too, especially when it comes to the billionaires in which we're, we're talking about. Like if we yeah. just tax them fuckers, the the one yeah, percent that, that would solve would be, the problem. That would get rid of everything. homeless. 
That yeah. was well, not only homeless. I mean, there would be the healthcare issue would be resolved. Pharmaceutical companies wouldn't be fucking just raping people without any fucking yeah. kind of loop whatsoever. You yeah. know, it would solve so many oh. things, dude. Well, yeah. that's the thing, Dusty says. That's why I watch his show because I really feel feeling feel informed from the left instead of being bombarded with what the right has to say. Like, um, what does he right. say? I mean, he I'm says, not, he, not, says not, he says, uh, he says, like. He says, I, like, I, the, I believe in the death penalty. That's pretty right wing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess a purpose can't be a, pe a person can't be totally left wing or totally right wing. There's no. Yeah. You get the best of both of, worlds. Yeah. You get the best. Um, but I mean, I mean, I mean, like, my politics may be left, but my uh, sociological things, some of them, like, like fucking uh, uh, the death penalty. I yeah. definitely believe in the death. And let, let's bring back the guillotine. I'm all for the I, guillotine. I think I don't believe in the death penalty because of you can frame somebody, and I think some people in 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 prison are have been racially profiled. Wrong, they're they're innocent. Well, I I yeah. agree with you, but yeah. I'm talking about beyond reasonable doubt. Like for example, oh yeah, Ted you mean like a serial killer, like Ted Bundy. Okay, yeah. that mm, guy yeah. got the chair good. Like yeah, he, like it's probably good for him to be in be uh, killed because he would right. But it's anything. a good example to set too for other people. Yeah. So I think it well, should be that at the halftime game of when football you say, game. When you say example, other people, people <laughs> that are born that way, you're never you're never going to change them. The only way you can change them is killing them, basically. Yeah. yeah well, like, that's, like, that's like what we're talking about. Yeah. Ben, They're already in prison. People. You can curb the behavior, though. Like, in other words, like, if other sick fucks want to... You can have the fantasy. That's fine. Because that's all in your head. But once you enact yeah. those fantasies, that will deter them. If, if there were public executions, if there were yeah. public executions, like at football games, at halftime shows, and they would say, okay, these are the uh, rapists over here, and they're getting their heads chopped off, I guarantee you it would deter the next person who wanted to do that from, from committing that. A same heinous uh, act. I don't. I don't know if you I should do. do it publicly. Yeah, that's what you I was that saying, Brian. Example. I you get you yeah. that in as an, an example to that this action will not be tolerated. Yeah. No, uh, I, I get where you're coming from, but I, I just, I don't know about publicly, man. Like, I think, like, maybe be a big, I'm sorry, so uh, Trenchy. No, I was just saying, I agree with, like, pedophiles being put down, but I, I don't know about publicly, like I said earlier. I get where you're coming from with it, though. Maybe it'd be sort of a letdown that it would be sort of dampen people if they saw it in public. I, but it, like, would also, I, I really... it would also deter other people from committing those heinous acts, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not advocating for, the, for that to transpire like yeah. abundantly but just enough to show hey this kind of this kind of uh behavior will not be tolerated like it's not like it's supposed to be very family oriented or anything but at least everybody gets it through their thick fucking skull that this kind of behavior is not tolerated and you get killed for it yeah I, maybe you shouldn't have i don't know you shouldn't have like sell hot dogs <laughs> At yeah, execution, you know, it just well, actually, it wouldn't be selling hot dogs because that's a too phallic of a symbol. Oh, what? right, I, I, I didn't mean that. No, I know it's a joke. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry if I'm what laughing a little. Like just... Um, but but Sasha mm -hmm. sent me that video, and, and so you know, he kept the black guy kept attending the KKK meetings yeah. or rallies or whatever, and then eventually. At a certain point, um, the KKK guy left the KKK and gave the black guy his KKK robe. Um, completely changed the guy. Yeah, they became friends. He said he just wanted to, even though they have opposing views, he just wanted to understand where he was coming from. And he said he knew that he could have been killed on their first meeting. He knew that. Yeah. Uh, because he believed, you know, he's superior. Yeah. The superior well, race. 
what you guys said earlier reminded me of like this. I don't know what song it is, but it was this rap song and it had some pretty poignant lyrics. It went like, you fear what you don't understand, hate what you can't conquer. I guess it's just the theory of man became a monster. Like, I hmm. thought of that when you were saying, because it's like, it's very true. Because from the beginning of time, it's always came out of you fear something. So you either conquer it or kill it. You either conquer it and make it your slave or kill it because you're afraid of it. And that fear turns to hatred. Yeah, that makes me think of uh, what Yoda said. Yeah, yeah. 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 What did Yoda say? Fearly. Suffering. No, he said anger. Anger yeah. leads to war. No, oh, no. he goes, fear leads to anger, and anger leads to hate, and hate leads to suffering. I thought there was, I thought he mentioned war. I don't think there was war in there. No. Uh, seriously, there, there was no war. War was happening. <laughs> yeah, war was happening, definitely. Yeah, you're right about that. Speaking of Yoda, wait a minute. Hell, that's my favorite. That's my favorite oh. right there, the one Brian has. Yeah, yeah. mine too. Yeah, oh. by far. Is that, too. The, is that the untainted version? Or yeah, that's the untainted like, version that Sasha sent me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Very good, Sasha. Oh, yeah, I John, you have those, don't you? Yep. Sasha, um, Trenchy, do you have those? No, they're Blu no, ray. I don't even have a Blu ray player. <laughs> I'm painted. You, Me neither. I, I, don't yeah. own, I don't own them, but uh, that is definitely by far my favorite Star Wars. It ends on yeah. such a downer. You know, I love that Harrison Ford. Uh, Harrison Ford is like frozen right there. You know, the, the dark side wins. Yeah. I, yeah. I, like I can't yeah. help but like it. Yeah. Hey, Marty. Hey, Marty. How are you doing? I like uh, Junebug's previous comment, and he's so right. Oh, yeah. No. Like, th definitely the one comment he did earlier about parents actually teaching their kids instead of letting the TV do it. <laughs> Because I was raised partially by the TV. My parents would just sit me in front of a TV and my little, like, walker thing and just leave and shit. And it's like, that's yeah. why I got really fat as a Television, the drug of the nation, feeding ignorance and breeding radiation. The opium of the masses. Yeah. What's yeah. that, Sasha? It's a song by the disposable heroes of hypocrisy. <laughs> when did that come out? Uh, was it the early 90s? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe 92. Mm -hmm. Hypocrisy. Uh, Michael, Michael Franti. Trenchy? Yeah. When you watched Goodfellas, were your parents there or your brother or sister? Um, They were asleep. It was later in the night. Oh, okay. When you watch films, do your does your family see them with you, or um, is it gen generally just you watching it, or how does that go? Uh, sometimes they don't join me as much as they used to. Like I used yeah. to watch stuff with them. Like sometimes I'll watch it with my mom, but mostly mm -hmm. it's just it's just you. Yeah, we used yeah. to watch stuff. Better though, like I showed my brother. I used to show my brother a couple things. You you don't have a Blu-ray player? No, my my brother technically has one, but it's not mine. So, well, and he won't let you use it, right? No, because he, in his words, you will destroy it. Oh, I don't know. What yeah. that is. <laughs> you can buy you. yourself one. <laughs> for like and, 60 and bucks it takes a lot to destroy it you, you've got to be really really clumsy to destroy it you're not going to destroy it 
But it's you not a question you. of it's not only the sixty dollars, Brian. It's all the money that goes into buying the films. You know, I had to like. I know it's a better quality oh. than DVDs. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But I started off with DVDs, so I kind of just like <laughs> oh. like that's where I stopped. You know, oh. like I he doesn't have. He could stream. Streaming's streaming's cheap. You you could. I mean, he's doing Netflix. And I guess he could do. You know, you could do that, Trenchy. You know, streaming's pretty cheap compared yeah. to buying movies. Agree. I got ways. Yeah. Hey, I agree, I June. Think... Yeah, discipline. We're talking about discipline. I mean, in the June... future, I'll buy movies, but not at the moment. Like I don't, I can't at the moment. Say that again, Trenchy. Was... What was the uh, last that in also... the future I'll probably collect, but not at the moment. I can't at the moment. Oh, well, of course it's gonna be in the future, it's not gonna be in the past, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh you said in the future you might get it, but not now. Yeah, tomorrow is the future. Yeah. I, for, I forgot where somebody was saying that, like, yeah, I remember that th this picture, like, when they refer to, like, a picture of themselves, like, it, when, uh, when I was, when I was younger, and it's like, it, in, in all pictures, you're always younger. younger you know? yeah. If I took a picture of you right now, you'd be younger than when I showed it to you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that rings a bell. Oh, Marty, you can come on. I was, I dropped well, the link, but yeah, you can come on. Just like a science, a science teacher in high school said, <laughs> if if somebody comes to the to some some uh, the principal or whatever calls you to come see him now, you can't see him now because now it's already happened. Well, just like even early in in elementary school, like I had teachers where I'd be, or I would say, you know, I I they they tell something to the class that was a complete lie and I'd say, well, that's a lie. And they, they and people will say, are you calling me a liar? It's like, no, everybody lies. Then everybody would be a liar. I'm just saying that you were lying in that particular moment of time. I'm not calling you a liar. I'm saying that you lied. Because if, if that was the case, everybody lies, everybody would be liars. Right? I guess that is the case. Everybody is liars. Yes, we are. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, by virtue alone of the things that were taught, I got into I, I, trouble. Is too strong of a word, but one of my tutors at college said, "Have you done your homework?" And I said, "Yes." They didn't ask me to give it to them. They asked me if I'd done it. Yeah, um, but they meant, "Please, can you give it to me?" But they didn't say that, so I didn't. Um, so, so what happened next? I think you said he this failed. before, but he failed miserably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened next? They probably had to. There was a. They they didn't. Uh, they had to. They had to say, "Okay, give it to me now." So, I don't no. know. That, maybe that's when I got. The, uh, maybe that's when I was, now. Um. That might have been when I was. Um, Tested for Asperger's syndrome. Oh, okay. Like, I thought the was gonna end with, and then we both whipped out our rulers and we sword fought across the classroom. I, I had a teacher. He um he used to punch this one student every single day. <laughs> oh, he'd, God. he'd walk in the door and get gut punched. It was funny. It was, he meant it. He did it. He did it out of. It, no, it was funny. It sounds bad. It funny. Funny. Yeah, he'd just knock him down on the floor and, you know, in good humor. <laughs> That's yeah. hell yeah. That's what I'm going to do to just like somebody I don't like. Fuck it, you know? But, but it's in good humor and just like face plant him, you know? Hell yeah, yeah. Sasha. It was always in good humor. Sasha, when I physically meet you, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I would take it on the Lightly. You would take it on the nose. <laughs> oh, uh, Sasha, because I we asked. I, I told you how tall I was, and and you told me how tall you were. Yeah, and I think you're shorter than me, so I was just. 
You mean it would be easy for you? Do we need to get Rex Falcon in here to fucking referee this shit or what, man? (laughs) What is this like Fight Club? We're going to meet up and all fight each other like Jesus Christ. It's like, you want to know how much I love you? I'm going to punch you in the face. (laughs) But this is. Are you hitting on me? Like, yeah. You've heard of this. I mean, you can tell when when someone means it or when they're being playful. Oh, yeah. Hello. And it's not, not, not meant to be malicious or violent. Happy. But it's done in. Fourth of July, in my American bridge. Done in a place. Hi, Sasha. How are you doing? Way. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. How you Hello. How's it going? I, I got this guy down because I'm going to be reviewing Independence Day for 4th of July, so I brought this guy down. Oh, nice. No, is- one of my Facebook groups were doing that for this month. Oh, we're reviewing that Reviewing movie. Independence Day? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. What is oh, that? no, you're good. That was slow. Oh, Marty, have you done a... a is that a fucking... Marty, have you done a video of that you know, like moving around? You know, like those short videos. Oh, stop motion. No, because yeah. the fucker has knobbly the fucker has knobbly legs and there's no articulation on the legs or arms. I, oh, yeah. I if I do I'll have to do them I'll have to do them stationary and just mm-hmm. the tendrils moving around. I'll see. Yeah. I might I like those. Thank you, I Brian. Like, I appreciate I, it. I, li- I like those videos a lot. Oh, somebody left. Also, I I wasn't stopping you. There was one time because I I think you thought I was I I wasn't ignoring you. I just, just genuinely didn't see your comment, and then you you had to get back to me on one of my stop motions. I apologize about that. Um, I can't remember exactly what 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 you mean. That's, maybe yeah, I no, sort no, of remember. No, your your grands. I, yeah. I I I I remember. Because you were asking me a question, was it about Alien Three or was it about something else? I don't know. I don't even remember. But, but I, yeah. I hope you didn't think I was ignoring you at the time. I don't think. No, I understand. Oh. What is what does grand mean? I mean, it means it, that everything's okay or something like that, right? Oh, okay. Oh, you're saying is that what it's grand? Oh yeah. Yeah. Fucking, what, yeah, what yeah, does yeah, that yeah. mean? It's grand. It's just, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry yeah, that's it. what I thought I meant. Yeah. Well, you, know, you, know, you know the meaning of the word grand. Grand. The grand. Yeah. Huh? You know the meaning of the word grand. Everything's okay by a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, is that, um, I don't know if Americans say that. It's often, slang. A lot. It's slang. Yeah, it's, it's Irish it's people slang. say that a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, I, oh, yeah. I, I saw, yeah. what's his name? Um, Oh, I've forgotten his name, but the Irish comic, um, I really like him, Ed Byrne. He said, I, uh, Ameri- um, he said the Irish call everything grand, so, but he was talking about the Grand Canyon. Like, if everything <laughs> is grand. Okay it's canyon. Not, not it's, grand, it's an okay canyon. canyon. Doesn't impress me. <laughs> worry about it. Oh, there's an American <laughs> movie called The Grand <laughs> if that's any help. <laughs> Oh, Brian, yeah. I sent you the link man, to that Amazon video you asked for. You sent me the link. I I replied, sent it to by reply to your one about the and one you sent me. Um, he was he was he was all right. He was all right, Mark. He wasn't the best. He could have been better, mm-hmm. but don't worry about it. He was it's all right. Sure, he blew up fucking Dantooine or fucking Alderaan or whatever. Sure, he's all right. Uh, Trench, how long are you going for now? I don't know. Oh, wait. It's six hours. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I didn't bother looking at the disorder. Oh, fuck me. Your yeah, room looks so colorful, dude. Like, damn. Like, you, you really got it decked out. I would feel a little claustrophobic if I was there. You're encumbered with all kinds of goodies. What the fuck is this? Hey, that, there's another one. 
That's another wow. one on my, on my name list. Is Ariana Grande? No, that's Grande, not Grand. Oh, she is Mar Grand. Marty, <laughs> do you have any pets? No, I don't keep pets. No, I wish I could have a dog, but. I don't know. They're, they're a lot of maintenance. So you got a little dog, like a chihuahua. Like a chihuahua. Huh? Yeah. Can you... Not, uh, well, can I mean... I, 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 I'm sorry. No, you go on. Right. No, on. I was just going to say my landlord doesn't... Well, my previous landlord, I just got a new landlord like, like maybe a few weeks ago or a month ago. Um... <laughs> But my the landlord I when I moved in he didn't allow pets he did before I got in but the person that lived below me before the the person that moved in before I did down there they had dogs and that pooped all over the carpet or whatever and so he decided no longer yeah, pets but, so but so why punish other know. people because some other lad to stop his own dog from shitting everywhere. That could have been the same with a child. Yeah. But if a child fucking yeah. shot everywhere, is he going to fucking stop people having children? Fucking hell. Yeah. That's bollocks, man. What about goldfish? Yeah. Would you get goldfish or a terrapin? Get a terrapin. Gold. What's a terrapin? It's like a mini turtle. Teeny, teeny, tiny turtle. Oh, turtle. That's what the turtle. mini turtles were. Were a terrapin. Yeah. Dogs are my kind. Of, I, I, I took care of my brother's dog and my sister-in-law's dog, and we had a family dog before that. And um, I, yeah, I, I love dogs. I really love dogs. Brian, have you a big gaff or is it small? Say it again. Have you a big kind of apartment or house or oh, condo? Or? It's like um, six hundred twenty-five square feet or six hundred. 60, uh, 645 square feet and then I have a uh, it's a three three apartments and a house and I'm on the third floor so I get the attic I'm the only one person that gets the attic above me um yeah I mm, yeah I, well, mm, I it's terrible you, here you in the need, summer because yeah, you, the heat you rises need some, yeah you'd need somewhere yeah. you'd need somewhere maybe a bit bigger for now yeah. dog and if the heat is bad, the poor fucker would probably be sweating out his bollocks. Oh, it would be terrible for the dog, you mean? Yeah, it'd be better to have a cat, in other words, in, in your yeah. where you live. Yeah. Because he we, doesn't we, have a... Your dog wouldn't have a yard. Well, oh, there is a, there is a small yard outside. But it's um, shared. Huh? It's, it's, it's what? Shared with, it's shared with the other people that live there, correct? Yeah, well, they don't really go out on the lawn. Neither do I. Um, well, what about yeah. a budgie? What about a budgie? That's a that's a bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I don't think he. I don't think he allows any pets. The funny thing is, there's a guy that lives the building right behind us. It's the same address as us, even though it's a different building. And he had a cat. But it was a wild cat. He didn't purchase it. And he was feeding the cat, and the cat would visit our our house too. But the cat hasn't been around since, like, December or January of this year. And the guy who takes care of the cat, he's wondering where it went. So maybe maybe it somebody picked it up, or maybe it's dead now. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully it, it gets resurrected it. like in Pet cemetery. Well, maybe it's going to come back as a corpse so, and yeah, and just yeah. kill motherfuckers. Maybe, yeah, maybe you heard there's some guy that in New York that took a molest and it's decided to fucking head on to, to, to New York to fucking fucking torment someone. What you reckon, Trenchy? Huh? Oh, I don't want to be raped by another cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But come here, I change. Are you, are you going firing off some fireworks for the fort? I don't know. My mom says she is, so that means I have to watch her to make sure she doesn't hold them again. Okay. And and have you any kind of what like 
Is there any type you like using, like Roman candles or anything? Uh, well, <laughs> last time I had something with a firework, it flipped over and almost murdered us and set a, and set a, a fence on fire. So I'm good. What's, okay. what's a Roman candle? It's like one of those big kind of rocket bastards that when it explodes, it goes fucking... It's kind of like a wand, and it just starts yeah. at the end. You hold it. I'm laughing at June. Wait, laughing. no, that's a sparkler. A Roman candle is like the big bastards, isn't it? No, Roman, it's not a sparkler, right? because it actually shoots beams up into the air. A sparkler. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can hold them. I think it's a 10 shot. It's a 10 shot, like you hold it. Yeah. I remember growing up in Cleveland, Ohio, and we before we, we moved to Connecticut when I was 12, and fireworks were legal when I was younger, but then they made them illegal. One guy in our neighborhood got, like, crippled because of fireworks. I, do you I guys have, like, crippled. PSAs about fireworks? Like, it has, like, a, a mannequin's hand, and they show what happens if you hold on to a firework. And it like blows the fucking hand off the mannequin, and like there's like, another one where like they tape, yeah. they tape a firework to a, a a ceramic dog, and it blows the dog to pieces. It's like, well, what they they should do, and what they've been doing is test with corpses, which makes more sense because you get the actual flesh, you know, and you get to see like what really like they do that a lot with like bulletproof vests. They use corpses to see if it, if it the the vest will penetrate, or uh, they use corpses as like uh, crash test dummies. Okay, there's a visual. It, there, there's, is, is yeah, there's like a, I hate to ask this. Uh, I hate to I'm, ask the more kind of topic. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's a book by Mary Roach called Stiff that further elucidates on the subject matter. It's a rather interesting book. I recommend it. What's the like, title of the do book? Do families donate it. the bodies like because they think it's the science? Or is it like prisoners, like pedophiles or fucking rapists and shit? Because if it's the latter, I'm okay with that. Hold or on. Normal. What's your question, Marty? Like, what? How, how <laughs> do they get the corpses? How do they get the corpses, dude? Is well, they like, they donate the their their people donate their bodies to science. Yeah, I know that, but surely, surely, fucking Brian, fucking Considine from whatever, he'd like to think that he's curing cancer, not having these fucking digits blown off by a fucking firework like that. Oh, me. just like, like Dahmer, Dahmer used to try to preserve the corpse so he would inject stuff into them to try to make them live but just be brain dead but it never worked he would just I, end up no, I, I i i like i get that man but it's it's like fucking i don't think anyone really do <laughs> i don't think anyone donated themselves to dharma what i'm saying man is like if you were donating your corpse to quote unquote yeah. science who'd like to think you're going towards cancer research or fucking research of the brain or something like that not fucking, not, <laughs> not being. But you don't get it. I understand your point, dummy. but you you don't get a fucking say so, dude. That's why personally, I would never fucking donate my body to science. Yeah. You know? yeah oh shit! I don't want to be no fucking crash test dummy. You know, I know I'm dead. I'm not gonna feel it, but it's just no. Nah, I oh. don't. But no, that's the kind of shit they're doing, yeah, dude. Yeah. Right. Well, but you, you so, so you, uh, Cindy, you're you're with me then, right? You're like. Uh, if I was, if you were going to donate your science, your body to science, you'd prefer it to be for something a lot more sophisticated and noble than just testing out fireworks or seeing how good a windshield and a fucking car is, like you know. Yeah, I'm with you, uh, but I'm I'm with you so much to the point where I would not donate my body to science. <laughs> yeah. my, my, you know my what father... I mean? Like, it's not that I don't believe in the scientific pursuit, like you're saying, like with cancer. It's just you don't have a say in that. You don't know, you know? what's going to happen, and you have no say. If you donate your body to science, I mean, you can be a crash test dummy. 
Like for all right. you know, yeah, I mean, but you can also be a science. Like you can also, they could also be testing your brain for cancer. I mean, you, but it's it's a fucking lottery. My, my yeah. father donated uh, his body to science. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, yeah. I don't. I oh, think it's a good. I I I I'm not criticizing, and I don't I I don't think Cindy is either. But no. I, I'm kind of of the same regard as Cindy. That like, um, just it 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 it's it's a fucking turkey shoot. What what you'll get? Like I I just I. I, I'd like to, I still will, I think I still will, but I would just like to think that if I'm donating my body to science, it's the case of like helping sick kids or something, rather than seeing if the Ford Mondeo, it's, it's, the Ford Mondeo is airbags, activation time, you know. <laughs> I, I'm totally with you, Marty, but like it's interesting, this book, because it further delves into like, um, well, back in the day, there was like uh, me medical students. There was a shortage of of bodies to practice on, so they would pay grave diggers. They would literally pay people money to illegally dig out corpses, so they so they could test scientifically. You know, I mean, they well, would. Um, so they would they would illegally like med students would hire well the teachers the professors would hire just like some bum off the street or something like that or some rogue doctor would hire some bum off the street to go dig a grave and bring him a corpse just to do and experiments this, this wouldn't have been back as far as alexander Knox or barkin here this would be like in the in the 20th century the ninth like the early 20th century dude i would, would even say, say 19th, 19th century yeah Okay, because I, you know, the case of Burke and Hare and Knox hiring them to get cor corpses and shit like that, and they're like, "Fuck it, let's just murder people and give them, give, 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 give the fucking academic fucking hospitals and academic fucking schools the the corpses." Fun fact: they actually a majority of skeletons we get that aren't that the you know the medical student skeletons that are genuine skeletons come from India. Because it's just easier to fish the bodies out of the Ganges. Did you know that? Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, I, I like that. It's uh, cheaper. I, I like it. It's cheaper than a plastic skeleton, believe it or not, as well. <laughs> wow, that, that's pretty amazing, dude. Seriously. Marty, so people just die, just when they, when they die, oh, I guess in India, maybe they put them on a pyre and then they burn it and they throw it in the River? Sometimes, if they're lucky, they just fuck the corpses into the river as well. Right. Yeah. They want the corpses? They, they literally just fire them into the river, Sasha. Oh. In India, in the Ganges. It's a burial custom. Um. And then some dudes will come along in a rowboat, fish the body out. Sasha, have you seen that? Down. Huh? You've been to India, so you... no, I, I've never been to India. My mum has. Oh, I thought you were in India. India. Uh, um, no. Hey, how would they get the skeleton? Would they like just cut all the meat and skin off and remove they, the they, organs? They, they'd leave the they'd leave the body. They'd leave the body in a caustic or acidic fluid for a number of days. Some people use insects even because it doesn't destroy the bones. Some people, there, there's a particular type of beetle, or um, it eats type flesh. Of yeah, maggots too do. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's interesting. Jesus, hey, what what into deep in? Sorry, lads. <laughs> no, we've been talking about fucked up shit all night. This fits right in. What? Wait, what were you talking about? Like the 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 the, the, the black dude fucking joining the KKK? <laughs> I can't relate to that. Not, not joining, but just trying to understand where the hatred comes from. Have you guys seen a movie called The Believer with Ryan Gosling? He I saw you were a uh, rabbi. I haven't seen it. I like the actor though, so I will. Yeah. Marty, the black yeah, guy didn't join. The black guy didn't join the KKK. 
one of the KK members that he was trying to understand why he was racist. He left the KKK and he gave the black guys KKK robes. If if you guys actually want to understand a movie, and it's actually part of the Criterion Collection, I thought it would end yeah. up in in fucking. I thought it would have ended up in the Arrow Collection, but it's actually part of the Criterion Collection. It's a really interesting movie called White Dog. It stars oh, I have uh, that. Paul yes. and her lives. White yeah. dog is the shit, man. You see yeah. that trenchy? Yeah, this like yeah. dude has a racist dog, and then this black man like is training him to be good again. But it it, it has a twist to it. Yeah, it, yeah I have a copy the of that is, film. The, yeah, the thing is, Paul Winfield, like like other people would be like, dude, just give up. It's too fucking dangerous. And Paul Winfield's thing is like. If I can fucking change this animal not to be racist, then it's potential for humanity itself to change its conditioning towards racism. And that's why that's why he's so compelled to try and do it. It's a really good fucking movie. If you get a chance, if you haven't seen it. Sasha, have you seen it? No, I haven't. It's, it's a well, really when, good when I was a good. teenager, along the same lines, I would go to uh, KKK forums, like you know, like a like a forum, like an internet forum, mm -hmm. and I'd meet some of the girls there and talk to them and try to sway them to the other side by like like by showing them cool music, like oh Al Green or some Stevie Wonder or some shit, <laughs> and you know, just like. I, I would infiltrate them and just try to deter them from that kind of like yeah. mindset that they've been indoctrinated in. Sasha, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I was just going to ask Cindy, did it ever work on occasion, or was it just a case of they were too fucking, they were too indoctrinated? It it did work, but seldom did it. But it did still. If I could change, just like that one guy, as far as the dog was concerned, that you were alluding to, you know. But yeah. this is an actual human being's mindset. So if you can get through to them, at least you're you're making a difference. Now it's just a, it's just a needle in a haystack, but nevertheless, it exists. So I mean, that's that's good because maybe that it'll be like a domino effect. You yeah. know, so you just do what you can. You can't save the world, but you can make you can save some of the people. Yeah. You can make a difference. Yeah, you can make a difference, exactly. Yeah. You can if you can change one mind, you can change a million because and I'm not yeah. talking about you yourself, but from that mind that you changed, they could have changed somebody maybe on a mass scale or something through art or just through their sway, the the clout that they've uh, cultivated. Oh, like like in Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Claude Claude Rains, I think. He says big things at small beginnings, and that. Um, that's uh, that's you know. the other quote David took in Pro oh, in Prometheus. What or what, what what did it happen? There's, in Prometheus. Yeah. I never knew. Thank you, Brian. There's so there's two Lawrence of Arabia's quotes. One is where David is doing his hair and he says, uh, the trick, Mr. Potter, is not minding that it hurts. And the other one right. is when he's like when he has a drop of the ampule on his finger, he's like, uh, big tins of small beginnings. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's, he's watching it, 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 it kinda reminds me of the God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. Uh <clears throat> Famous uh, Indian writer, um, but yeah, it's kind of the same principles. Is that the book, Paul? The God of yeah, all the, things. The God of small things. Yeah, it's oh, a very, the God of small things. Yeah, the God of small things by Arundhati yeah. Roy. Um, Sasha. Dude. Yes. Um, when you say hooligans. From a soccer match, were they close to your house? Is that what you're saying? Well, they sounded like they were. They were they were being so loud, but they might yeah. have been. They might have. I have a. There's a. There's a. Well, there's a. There's a football field um, 
relatively close by, so maybe they were there, but they sounded like they were just walking around here. They were that loud. All right. Is your area safe? I thought you may, maybe you even heard them yesterday. Yeah, it's safe. I thought I thought you're pretty safe. Come on, Millwall, you fucking bastards! A fucking Millwall, Millwall, Millwall! I can't stand fuckers who are totally like I get it. I have an obsession with science fiction, horror films. Sasha likes his films, but like I don't get football. And these fuckers, oh, we we drew last night. You done nothing. You sat in your hole and you watched a fucking fucking soccer match yeah. on the fucking telly. Will you go away with that? We but that's what I, that I was talking about earlier, dude. Is it just like I don't like watching, but like playing it is a different story, you know? Because you're getting hella exercise if you're fucking if you're running around for fucking hours on end, dude. Uh, you're in great shape. Uh, playing that soccer, man. But, but hey, the right. thing is, Cindy, I'm not talking about that. I talk about, I talk about the types that fucking are making yeah, noise outside. We, yeah, the we, we tried. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That they completely did nothing and wasted their day, but they yeah. think they find solidarity with the, yeah, we drew today. You didn't do shit. All you did was watch the telly. And got drunk. How, how did you support your team? I sat in my hole, drink, drank lager, and had pork scratchings. Yeah, pork scratchings. No, 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 because no, you know if you wear the t-shirt, you're one of the team. That's oh yeah, 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 because that that makes that makes us like I spent fuck I spent forty pound in his jersey. I'm fucking part of the team. <laughs> Can't you fucking tell, boys? We go to Millwall Wait. next week. We gotta fucking send him home. <laughs> Sorry. Does that Sorry, mean Sasha. if I wear an Avenger t-shirt, I'm part of the Avengers? Yes. Hey, <laughs> Trench, I have an Astromo t-shirt, so technically I'm a fucking astronaut. Way! How's that? Yay! <laughs> I can Does picture you light light so You would make an excellent spaceman. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. No Marty. I'm away with you. Yeah, Brian. Um, I'm not really a sports person. Um, are you a sports person? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Brian. You're funny. Um, yeah. no, hurling. I what? No, okay. Here's the extent. Um, in Wait, Ireland, your sport is throwing up. What? Huh? Your sp your sport is throwing up. No hurling. Hurling. It's busy. Imagine <laughs> hockey. Imagine yeah. hockey, except lads have to wear cages on their, their head because it's so fucking brutal. Although they do wear cages. On oh. their head. <laughs> but basically, it's a bunch of lads running around the field, wailing the shit out of each other, going after a little, little, uh, little ball. And it's like, if my county gets to the like finals, I'm like, eh, all the best care. But that's, that's about the extent. I like pool as well. I like playing pool. Oh yeah, that that's that's a gentle, easygoing, slow game. I don't I consider so it good. a sport though, but I, it's definitely cool as fuck. Yeah, I I like pool too. Uh, but but oh. that just goes, like I liked I like games that require skill. You know, like that and chess. You know, are are two of my favorites. Well. Well, hurling does kind of require skill because you got to, like, fucking heist up the ball onto the end of the hurley, balance it, and run, like, fucking three meters down the other side of the fucking field to get get your opponent's fucking goal. I, I'm not saying that it did it, man. Like, I think sports require skill. Like, like, with me, I'm not really into watching sports, but I'm just naturally i'm athletic i i just yeah, i'm you know i'm i'm a good runner i got good stamina i can catch you know so like naturally i'm athletic so like i have an appreciation for what's involved but does that mean i'm gonna sit around and watch it all day no i got better things to do with my time you know mm -hmm. are, are any too. guys gonna troll oh sorry brian what me i said me too um uh marty um so is this 
I can't, whatever this is called that you're talking about, is that cricket? Sort of like cricket? No, this is I'm much more a stringy, I'm going to share something with you, okay? And then give me one second. Now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was very confused at the beginning because over here, hurling is puking. I knew that was going to yeah, be the next no, thing. I I'm very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when am have... I not, Sasha? When am I not? <laughs> you have a hurling thing? I... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link a video. Oh, okay. Uh, it reminds me of that Donovan song. It's like, then come the hurly girly man singing oh, yeah, the... songs yeah, of love. Yeah, that's a good song. I think Jimmy yeah. Page is playing in that song. And maybe John Paul Jones. He's is also there... playing in Joe Cocker's uh, have, have a Little Help, uh, that song that's on the beginning of uh, of uh, The Wonder Years. Who is? Jimmy Page. Oh, Jimmy Page is in that song? Yeah. Oh, really? I, I know yeah. he's a session player, him and John Paul Jones. John Paul Jones, yeah. Yeah. Um, as, as a matter of fuck, I think it was John Paul Jones in the Donovan song, if I'm not mistaken. Gertie Gertie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gertie Gertie. Yeah, that's a good song. I like that song. Okay, Trench, I'm sharing my screen with you now. Okay. I was. Okay. Kind of, I was. Jimmy kind of, Page did the score for Death Wish Two, by the way. Yeah. I was. Kind oh, of it's not going up. Oh, now it is. I was kind of surprised, Marty. You said you're obsessed with sci-fi, and I like film. I mean. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Where did okay. I didn't want to say obsessed. Well, I mean, that's the thing that came to mind. Is is that is that no, like cricket? That like, um, no, you know what that looks like. Uh, that was an American Pie, Trenchy's favorite movie. Oh, um, highlight. Um, what? <laughs> I knew he'd say. Uh, I knew he'd get a rise out of him. No, Trenchy hates All this right. movie, American Pie. Um, uh, what you gonna call it? Uh, what's it called again? Uh. Uh, what, what do they call it here in America, dude? Like that sport? Is it highlight? Or is sure. wrong? no? Oh, it's black on my end. I can't even see it. I can see it. But I think it's you guys can. Yeah. They look like they look like that. Well, as long as you guys can see it, that's oh, all that matters. Lacrosse. Yeah, lacrosse. There you yeah. go. Lacrosse. Yeah. Yeah. But it's up to that. that's different because they they don't have nets like in lacrosse. It's a little ball too, but they they have a little uh, stick with a net on it where you can catch the ball. This one you hit the ball, right? I I, I don't. I'm not sure. No, I'm asking Marty. But Marty looks frozen. Yeah. Maybe Marty's a answering back and we can't he's breaking up. I don't know. Yeah, Marty, we can't uh we can't hear you anymore, dude. So if you wanna come out and come back in. Uh, what, what? He's all frozen in time. He's like Oh shit. He's like Han Solo in Empire Strikes Back right now. Yeah. Uh, I'll fix the problem so people don't see him. No one is frozen. <laughs> yeah, luckily, I oh, always shit. have those technical difficulties, man. I've never been so happy to fucking upgrade my tech in my life. Like, I never have problems anymore, like with computers, and I always used to be the guy who was having problems. Paul. Well, what are you using? A phone or a computer? I'm using a laptop, but I'm a using laptop. my laptop had a stroke. So sorry about that. Let's. I I don't think I'm gonna attempt to try to show a video. If you get a chance, look up Harlan yeah, in, okay. in, in, in in YouTube. Hey, uh, what's going, dude? Your eyes look so bloodshot, Marty. What what's going on there, man? Like, are you having? Are you partying? Uh, without I this? got up. I got up. Um, I got up. Fucking! What time did it come on? It up about half an hour ago. It's like, it's like fucking 11 a.m. here. Oh, you're still on a vlog. 
Yeah. You're still well, in the fall. Been on here two hours. Yeah. I didn't realize. I came on here at nine o'clock. Marty. Yo. I, I, I can't stand video games. I, I I played them a little when I was a kid. Not too much, but do you like video games? Oh yeah, big time. Big big Yeah, time. I, I don't mean to I don't mean to sound like um Condescending or rude or uh, un. Oh, look at that! You know. Why would you say so <laughs> No, no, no. I, I just, I. Well, oh yeah. You know what? I, I did hear you talk about how you like to play video games, and I think Trenchy says she, he likes to play them too. So. Oh, but. I, yeah. like I think video games are wonderful. For... I love. I love video games. Yeah, they're just. I can't do well on them, and, and I guess I find them boring. I, I, I think reading books, watching movies, listening to music is more Brian, my thing. Brian, can I make a suggestion to you? Yeah. Can I make yeah. a suggestion to you? If you yeah. do ever play a video game, if you get a PC or if you get an Xbox, try yeah. the Telltale games. They're the episodic-based kind of – do you remember the old Choose Your Own Adventure books back in the day? Oh, yeah. I used to read those. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're like that, but they have really compelling storylines. There's a Game mm -hmm. of Thrones one. There's mm -hmm. a Walking Dead one. There's a Jurassic Park one. Uh, yeah. There is a Fables one. There's a Guardians of the Galaxy one. Uh, there's a cool Batman series of Batman ones. That's true. Uh, I think you just it both to one that's down your alley, Brian. I bet you would like yeah. some of those. I can't yeah. invest all that money. I got to see for a trip to Japan. I Video game hey, is you, just... know, you know something? I'm going to Japan as well too, dude. Like, oh, that, you are? That, yeah, they're in Africa. Yeah. Oh, you? Oh, my Wolf? cousin, my nephews are from Africa. They're adapted. Marty, you've seen this, right? You've seen this. Oh, that's sexy. And you know what? Damn, that's fucking sexy. I I just assumed you'd seen it. No, I hadn't. That's fucking. Yeah, I liked it so much. I had to frame it. I I I I've got a couple of things framed, but I I I don't have that. That's nice. That's Sasha, nice. That's, did you? That's awesome. a, the, the frame is broken, but that that's that's. Oh fuck that! It still looks the fucking. It still you looks you can't even thing. tell, Sasha. Like you yeah. don't even need to put in that because it doesn't look broken. It looks great. Sasha, did you, me, did, did you? Did you um? Do that, or or did you just buy it as a poster? Um, I, I found the I found the image. I had it. I had it uh, printed. It's very, it's very, it's very grainy. But uh, you know, I like that about it. it it's kind of yeah. grainy. Um, and I added the word "predator." It's not on the original image. I added that, and I got the same shade of green. It had the three. It had the three red dots there. But it, mm -hmm. but they're they're, they're 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 here. So mm -hmm. I think they need nice. to be. Two places, so I just put the name. Well, it there. makes sense because it's on his helmet. That's the source. Of I'll, I'll say one thing, uh, Sasha: is you can't even tell that it's not like professional. You know what I mean? Like you would think that that's like just a, a rare movie poster from from that. Well, I mean, it was professionally printed. I didn't print this myself. I can't print things this size, you know. So I had to go to a, someone who knew what they were doing to get this done. Oh yeah, it looks genuine. Like it, it looks authentic, is what I was meaning. Like it was and, like uh, by the film company. There's something in those trees. There's something out there, and it ain't no man. I I was going to do a, a video edit of there's something out there, and it ain't no man. And it's actually Rolf Harris with a wall bobble board. He's like, can you guess what it is yet? Predator, Rolf Harris. Yes, he is. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, I, I don't got time to bleed here. Mm -hmm. have, have you seen <laughs> someone's taken someone's taken a picture of Blaine, Mr. Ventura's character, and replaced the mon mini gun that he's holding with a box of Tampax, and it's like Tampax when you don't have time to bleed. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too that's too literal. <laughs> Oh, that makes me think of those reface things. That's bloody funny. 
I sent Sasha a whole bunch of those. What did you send me? Those reface things with the celebrities. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got I got a whole Sasha, bunch on my phone. You you seen my wall, right? Oh. <laughs> What's that? Where'd that sound come from? That's the predator. That's my wall. It yeah, came alive. I know. It came alive and took him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Marty, do you have uh, costumes like predator costume? Like, oh no, no. The the, no. the best I the, the best I have is um. I don't know if you can see it there. Focus. Oh. There yeah, I there's one local in on my high street. There's a shop. We've got a predator, a full life size, um, but it's made out of metal. Is it? Is it? Is it a? What? Well, oh, is it one of those kind of like? It's a, a statuette. It's a figure. I see yeah, guys but, make stuff like that out of scrap metal. They made the alien, and they made Robocop and the Terminator and stuff. They use scrap metal to make them. But this cool. one, but this one's life size, yeah. Yeah, I they're, they're, that's pretty awesome. I, do you know what, Sasha? If I ever get a duplicate NECA Predator, I'm gonna send you one. I know you're not big into action figures, but I don't know. I thought you might like it. Well, I appreciate the thought alone. Thank you. You know what? He, he, you could make him a Rihanna action figure and he'd love it. Oh, oh. action figure. Yeah. Joel, I could. I could. I could because there's actually an action figure of her that came out. Uh, what's the Luke Besson movie that's kind of like Fifth yeah, Element, yeah. but it's got Cara Delevingne and uh, Jane uh, DeHaan? Uh, Valerian. She's the only good thing in it, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, is she in human form or is she blue? I mean, well, she's in human form, but she turns blue later on. Yeah, but like yeah. I could, do you know what, Sasha? I could, I could get a Conan figure. I could remove the head, and I could get. I don't know. I don't know who I'd get. Uh, the fuck would I? I get someone who had your head, put it onto the Conan figure, and just have her up over your shoulder. Like you're carrying her off. I don't know. <laughs> Sasha, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> to kidnap Rihanna. <laughs> to hear your enemies grumble. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love Conan. The Barbarian. Battle boy. Brian Stein. I'll split your fucking head open again. What the fuck? Your money now. <laughs> this is a new one. This, this is Joe Pesci. Oh, Joe Pesci. You is Joe Pesci. Don't make me be a bad guy. Come Wait on. Man. I'll split your fucking head open again. How the fuck am I going to get your money now? Hit me again. Mm -hmm. Who? Who's mouth? Who's mouth is he? Is that who he is? Is that you, Sasha? No, it's Sasha. Oh, Sasha is the How the fuck am I going to get yeah. your money now? What's, um, what's, what's up with the glass with the, in the desert? Am I wearing glasses? That looks strange. He's wearing shades in that scene, is he? I think he wore glasses in that movie. You were um, in the, um, the scene in the desert. Casino? Yeah. You motherfucker. Um, oh, I probably should just type out. it in and be faster. Well, I guess I could show this one. This one's pretty good. Oh, have you got more that I haven't seen? Well, these are ones you've you've been in. But... Sa Sasha, can I say something overrated? I mean, you probably you probably like yeah, that fucking that. Um. Or no, not overrated, controversial. I think the Irishman was overrated, and I think the CG was terrible. So long, man. 
I never. I didn't think there was anything wrong with the with the CGI and Irishman. To me, uh, it looks realistic. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it, you like it's this fun one, sir. You mentioned that because I was actually going to ask you, Marty. What? How do you feel? Uh, like American movies depict the Irish. I I don't think that they that they uh, do you guys justice. The way the Irish people are depicted in film. I I still think he did the us a bit too much. You're getting better. You're getting better. That's what more, where most movies do. Like, I I I kind of was a I like Jamie Gillum. I think he's a cool actor. But I'm a bit pissed off that he got a Welsh guy to play an Irish guy in Preacher. He plays Cassidy the vampire. Uh, he could have gotten. He could have fucking. Like, fucking Colin Farrell wasn't really fucking doing anything at the time, and you could have fucking forked out for Farrell. And he was doing perfect capacity because he's from I, that I part of the I the Welsh guy just because I, I hate Colin Farrell. A great example of that. <laughs> Gangs of New York. Cameron Diaz as an Irish person. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't get me started. Why? Oh, just I thought... I enjoyed that movie, but it's not one of Scorsese's greatest movies. No, but it's why, a fun uh, movie. Why? Why her? I'm I'm more of a means when it comes to Scorsese. I'm I'm a Mean Streets kind of guy. I like that old shit. Taxi Driver is my favorite Scorsese. Uh, it's overrated. It's kind of like The Catcher in the Rye. It just really way, yeah. way overrated. Yeah. It was his claim you know, to fame, basically. Do you know but who you I like? Mean, mean Streets is a terrible. Are you saying? Oh, sorry, Brian. Brian. Mean Streets is a big claim at the fame too. Are you saying Taxi Driver? It's it's when it's people think Scorsese, they don't say Mean Streets, like unless they're like an avid Scorsese in a film. But like when when you say Scorsese, they don't say Mean Streets. Sorry, I'm distracted. Are you I know, I know you would like this stuff. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, Duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino. Huh. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, Duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino. I'm not into the whole club of the Sasha? I just finished the sentence. Oh, you're you're talking you're talking about uh, Big Lebowski. Yeah, yeah. But um, um, Paul, are you saying that Taxi Driver doesn't deserve the acclaim it gets? I think it does. I, th I think Mean Streets is what it put him on the map. The start oh, it, off, yeah. I think. it is, yeah, it is because yeah. um, Alice doesn't live here before that. And... So, sorry, you're good, no worries. I wonder which is one, which one should I pick? Oh, I'm going around in a circle here, I think. When you said no Cindy, worries. My favorite. Oh, sorry, Chasha. Sorry, sorry. Um, that's the first time that's ever happened. When you said no worries just now, I thought of Akuna Matata. <laughs> no worries for the rest of your day. Trenchy, you sound like you're you're slowly going unconscious. Unco uh, conscious. I'm awake. Be careful. He'll do that. He'll get on his own stream, host it, and fall right asleep. I've only done that about five to seven times. 
Oh, wait. Lightning that's never a... strikes seven times. Never mind. That That's a big number, actually. Oh, I, I like James Coburn's accent, even though it's terrible. I like his character in Sergio Leone's Fistful of Dynamite, a.k.a. Dr. Oh, Sucker. I love that movie. You shoot me, and I'll fall. Now, if I fall, they'll have to change all the maths. I love that fucking one. <laughs> you like that movie a lot, Marty? That's a brilliant movie. That's a brilliant I love movie. that movie. Why would I, like I how the, a two-bit chicken teeth? Huh? Huh? I, I like the fact that it's kind of pessimistic compared to – not that I don't – Oh, yeah, it, it's like, pure anti-war. Like there, there's, there's a, a scene – uh, in a cave where uh, Rod Seiger finds his family massacred, and it's it's the only reference in a, a, a massive kind of massacre that took place during the Spanish Civil War, uh, and uh, it's like pure anti-war. It's like, oh, what's the point of revolutions? Revolutions are where 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 clever people do the thinking and poor people do the dying, and they get around the round table, and if they, they, they talk and talk and talk and talk and then things change. And what happens? The poor people are still dead. I like, again, you're dead right. It has a very pessimistic view. Have you guys oh. ever seen the proposition of that Australian film? Like with yeah. the, or Nick Cave does the score? Yes! That one's awesome. That one's wicked. That's a, uh, yeah. Guy Pierce. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Marty, you just might made me think of uh, The Wind That Shakes the Barley. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, that 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 caused a bit of fucking trouble when it came out over here because yeah. uh, it 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 made the free staters out to be a bit kind of a bit fucking backward. So uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you, you kind of have to know the history to to guess. Like there was the free staters, and then there was well the 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 the, the, the Republican Army or or the the, the fucking um, the tan coats. It's it's it's. There's a whole fucking history you have to delve in there. I mean, like yeah. a year after we finished, we won the War of Independence. We had a civil war, and it's basically fucked the country over. And you know. I think it's. I think that's what kind of led to us not really liking owning guns or stuff like that. Because we we butch when we were done butchering the British, we ended up butchering the shit out of each other. Yeah, in your two separate countries, right? I think. Uh, yeah, Northern Ireland is still part of the UK. And uh, no, I don't, June Bug. I, I don't. I don't have a silly hat either with a star on it, Butcher. That's fucking. I suppose that's how the dice rolls. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, it, yeah, we're, we're two separate countries. The, 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 the North is still belong to the UK, and we're our own independent state. I know somebody who knows, um, well, one of my best friends, she knows Ken Loach. He made The Wind That Shakes the Barley. Yeah. Oh, Ken Loach, Sasha, he made Kess, didn't he? Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, ordered it. Um, she she, uh, she yeah. made him a chocolate cake on his birthday and danced with him. That's the, his her first encounter with him. The thing I'm searching for you, Sasha, you put your face on. I looks like it went away. I don't which, know. Maybe I can find it. Which one is it? Uh, well, I'll just use this one for the time being. <laughs> oh, I know that voice. Yeah, of course you do. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Trenchy, you asleep? No. I'm just checking. I will wake. I guess it takes a while. To, not to, it takes a few seconds to to render. 
Trench, well, if you, you if you fall asleep, you have to give Cindy all your stuff. Uh, wait a second, Brian. Have you just made me into Rihanna? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, it, it brings. <laughs> why is the term "go fuck yourself" coming oh, yeah. to mind? Uh, why? Mm. Hey, hey. I'm happy and I'm single. Yeah, and talk about a butter. I'm not looking for a man. Let's start where. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. I'm happy and I'm single. <laughs> I'm not looking for a man. Let's start where. I'm happy and I'm single. <laughs> There are tons oh, of Sasha, these. If you met if you met alternate universe version of Rihanna that looked like that, would you? Would you? <laughs> well, I don't like the face. She's not so pretty. Hey, hey, it's your face, dude. It's your face. <laughs> just brown bag special. That, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Just fucking cover up that. Give her an old meal sack or something. Hey, baby, this will this will heighten the experience. It will make it more erotic. <laughs> Speaking of video games, it, they had those virtual reality like this guy on on YouTube called the Dusty that I watch every Monday and Friday. Um. You know, he attacks pol he he's a leftist and he attacks politics and he's an atheist. But he he what he enjoys doing in his spare time is like doing virtual reality things. He puts a helmet on his head and likes to play video games. Future may not virtual insanity always seems to. I, I guess there's some video games are so. Incredibly real, I guess, according to him. Like they look like real reality. Some of them are really hard. hard. Yeah. I've been playing one called 36 Years called Life. It's a pain in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I get it. Okay. I get it. Yeah, me too. Oh. Yeah, I think video games are really cool, and they keep your eye-hand coordination. I think that's important, because I think that's something you lose as you age and stuff like that, as far as reflexes are concerned. Yeah, like, it, um, it's... Maybe I can oh, learn that. I mean, I play around with my guitar, so maybe that sort of compensates for that. Oh, yeah, Actually, I, would, I would definitely say guitar is much more productive, dude. Um, it, yeah. Video games are more like a... More creative, too, because you're in charge. I mean... You're creating it from scratch, right? Brian, yeah. Would you ever? Would you ever? You ever you played the Guitar Hero games? Oh no! Did I? This is. Um, which one? I'll show this one first. <clears throat> I have one avocado left. I need to get some more avocados. I'm an Careful. avocado fiend. Oh, so there you go. Does that do anything for you? No, it, it's not until you open it up, then it becomes erotic. Trenchy blow this Yeah, it up. looks like... It, turn, turn the jet away, Sasha. Wait, do you want me to blow up the avocado or Brian? No, I don't yeah, know. It looks, like, it looks like an inflamed testicle. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Stratocaster. Nice. Nice strat. Hell okay. yeah, dude. And then I got my Les Paul. Les Paul kind of, is more heavier. It's got a humbuckers, and the Stratocaster has a single coil pickups. Let's try to get this. Let's see. I gotta be kind of careful. I don't wanna. Here's my 
Oh, shit. Ooh, yes. that's pretty. Yeah, look at the stock on that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not getting in the... There's, there's better lighting. That's nice. Well, yeah, let me show the strat again in that light. June bug off your time sheet you, if you found Tommy Cooper. Oh, I got to. I haven't yet. I will Let's eventually see. go. Is, is that like a teal? This? Yeah, it's, it's teal. It's like a... It's like a sea foam green. Oh, okay. Let me, get, let me get in the better light. Let's see. Can you see it? Yeah. There we go. It's pretty. It's got two tone knobs, a volume knob, a five pickup switch. It, this is a Squire. It's a Fender, but it's it's owned by. It's a this is a Squire. Which is like a company that is owned by Fender. And yeah, the Les Pauls and Epiphone. I've, They're just cheaper versions. Yeah, I'm sorry, I've, go ahead. Huh? Nice, dude. That's very nice. Yeah. Uh, little guitars right there. Yeah. So, anyways. What do you want to yeah, I'm like, playing video games is just something you do for fun. I don't really consider it creative. It, it's just a place to hang out with your friends and let loose, basically. Kind of like what we're doing right now. Like, a lot of people will just, like, be talking like we are right now, but but collaborating in the means to defeat, some, defeat something, you know? Like, uh, so it takes some strategy and some coordination and stuff like that when you're playing amongst uh, friends and stuff, depending on the type of game that you're playing. But, like, as Marty was saying, they got, like, choose your own adventure type shit too you know like to i used to like this as a kid too just like read yeah. books and like make a decision on what to do it's the same thing with games oh. now but yeah more graphically intensive but I yeah guess, music uh, will always rule though dude like yeah. if you're creating music like that's always going to be superior but this is more of a let loose kind of feel good kind of deal not yeah. creative. I, i've been doing music for a few years now i, I don't really know I don't know like what an E chord is or an A chord. I, I I've picked out a few few things like how to tune a guitar, what the tempo is, um, dro what drop D tuning is, um, learning how to do chords. I guess chords you put your your fingers on different frets and you strum them at the same time, and that's a chord, I think. So yeah. Like, yeah. Um I know I know some chords and some scales. Uh yeah. But I mean, uh I'm more of a singer, but I know a little bit of guitar, but I would never call myself a guitarist. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I, I guess I'm an experimental computer avant garde musician. There you go, that's cool. Yeah. That's that's what you wanna be, dude. You wanna be experimental. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I I yeah. do a lot uh singing wise. Uh not yeah. but not not playing guitar once. I, 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 I've done some uh, songs for an album. Well, two actually so far. It's uh, I'm I'm doing like a concept album called H Hiroshima: The Mind. It was inspired by a poem I wrote called Hiroshima with Love. So it's a concept album like Dark Side of the Moon or Wish You Were Here. And it's going to be centered around like the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. It's going to be like in five parts. Spring, summer, fall, winter, and then spring again. Like each each season will be like spring will be um, love, and then summer will be war, and then fall will be aftermath, winter will be death, and then fall then spring will be love or, or rebirth or something like that. You know, it'd be like musical. Um, so there's, there's stuff on on my hard drives I've done in GarageBand that I haven't didn't haven't known what to do with you know because I put my songs up on my music YouTube channel and there's a large amount of it on my regular channel Cooper Clover. Are but, you um, singing or are you just playing guitar or how does that work? Well, um, I'm, I'm playing guitar and some of it like I'm I'm. I'm I'm thinking of using some of the stuff that I don't know what to do with that I've 
done over the past few years and using them as like uh, bridges to bridge the pieces of music together in the album. But are they are they just instrumental or is there words? Oh, I I might have some singing in it. Um, some of it's inter- instrumental, and I have written some lyrics, so um, just some songs. I don't know if I'll sing them or not. Um, I, I asked my cousin if if his daughter was interested because she has a great singing voice. I, I'm not. Yeah, so, yeah I always yeah. prefer like uh, uh, female singers to males. Definitely. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just because they can hit the soprano, you know, better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I and I asked uh, Sasha for to be on it to be a BBC. Um, journalist talking about you know the war. Guys, be right back. I'm gonna make myself yeah. a cup of cool man. You're good. What's he holding up in that picture? I think that's the Necronomicon. Necronomicon. He says I read that one. as a lad. I stole that book and read it. That you can't be more sinful than that. Um, I stole it. And I read that book, and I tried to cast. Uh, there's a few spells in that book. I tried to do the conjuration of the fire god. Yes, I remember that vividly. It didn't work though. Well, go figure. Did you have to sacrifice a goat or something? No, uh, but I would have gladly. Aw, I, I got a. Use the restroom, so I'll be back in a few minutes. You're That's good. Cool. Yeah, I might. Maybe I'll have something to eat. I, I didn't, I didn't figure it'd be up. It's now, what time is it? Six thirty-four in the morning. Oh my bad. It's not bad because I don't work on Monday. So uh, yeah, if I just oversleep, it doesn't matter. Huh? A lot of people are off on Monday. Yeah, well, I work at the library, so. Um, Dude, you have the coolest job in the world. Are you a librarian? Yeah. Not really. Um, I, I've been working there since I've been, uh, what age was I? 17, I think. Yeah, Deep 17. Right? Like, wh- what the fuck do you do? I put away books. My, my, my job description is, I'm a library page. I put away books. It's basically... Well, I do more than just put away books, but I that's the that's the first that's the number one thing. And then I pull books that people request, you know. Um I also you know, on, on Wednesdays I take out the recyclables and put them in the recyclable dumpster. I shred shred uh, stuff stuff up, you know, so you know, nobody can find out. On Wednesdays, I go shopping and I butter. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, you're, you consider yourself lucky, dude, because like you have such a peaceful fucking job, dude. Like, yeah, well, there's air conditioning, you know, because there's a, a few days back it was really hot, you know, and it's 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 good to do that. It, also, I don't have to vacuum or like mop the floors. We have a cleaning staff that does that. And also, you just get to check out whatever fucking books you want whenever yeah. you know. Just no, 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 I don't. I don't have to pay fines either. So that's yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, right, so right on, dude. I have a ton of books at, at my apartment, but um, like, like no when, wonder, yeah. no wonder why you haven't gotten a job since you've been seventeen and you just stuck with that one. You know, it seems like a really cool gig. It's it's not terrible, but it. It's not great. It's the pay's not great, but it's steady. But it's not my dream job. My dream job is like making movies, or if I could play music well, that'd be something artistic. Like I've written lots of poetry in my past, you know. So yeah, yeah, so, I, yeah. I, I I agree. But it it's definitely if you have to work for the man, that's the kind of job you want, man. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's uh, and I. I like the people I work with, so that's a good thing too. So yeah, I used to have this job where I was a, a nighttime security guard for a a, a country club, mm-hmm. and that, that was like my favorite job because it paid shit, 
but yeah. I could eat. I could eat whatever. Like they had really fancy f- food, like chicken cordon bleu or fucking filet mignon or whatever, or just like mm-hmm. enchiladas or whatever. Like, and I could. Uh, they had two kitchens there. I had the keys mm-hmm. to everywhere. I got to drive yeah. a four wheeler through the golf course, patrolling every single night. It was mm-hmm. a kick ass job. I I had all the coffee I could drink. Uh, I could bring dates. I was the only person who worked there, so like I I own the country club, you know, like uh, uh coffee. Every single day. Huh? I, I like coffee a lot and tea, but and I drink a, a lot of tea, and I, I I would like to. It's like burgers for me, like coffee. I used to drink coffee like every day. I like go to Dunkin' Donuts, but I I, I don't go to Dunkin' Donuts because I don't make a lot of money, so I just. If I make coffee, I make it at home, but without even knowing it, I only go out to eat like twice a week and, and without even thinking about it, I only really get coffee when I go to the re- to the two restaurants I go to and um, um, but anyways, I, I don't know, I'm digress. I'm going all over the place. Um, coffee and tea make me urinate a lot. That's... I, so, like, if I had coffee, you know, like, you know, I'd have to, it'd make me go, they're very diuretic to me, you know. Yeah, well, co- coffee can, uh, too much coffee can cause that. That and yeah. chewing gum for some reason, I never coffee knew that. Chewing gum can do that? It's, yeah, it's if a, you read in the back of a packet of uh, Wrigley's or something, it yeah. uh, will cause, uh, overconsumption will cause lax of the laxative uh, uh, side effects. Really? Yeah. It's a natural laxative. Uh, it opens up the bowels uh, movements more. Uh, but it's also it also boosts your metabolism. It's an antioxidant. Uh, you know, so it's, it's good for you uh, because it, it actually improves liver function. Um, it, coffee? coffee? Yeah, coffee. Yeah. And tea's great for you as well, too. Yeah, but, I, I drink um, lots of great green tea. Arizona yeah, that, green tea. Oh, well, I don't know about Arizona because all the where you where both coffee and tea, their 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 Achilles heel is the sugar. Like if yeah. you start adding sugar or milk to anything, that's bad for you. Milk is for babies. Oh. It may taste good, oh. but it's it's not good for you. Oh, you could, there's really? other ways. No, it's I like have, there's there's better ways to get your calcium, dude. Yeah, I, I have milk with cereal every. Every day before I go to work, with and I shredded wheat. That's that's such a a, a a juvenile thing to do, but don't worry, I do it too. I'm um, not yeah. every day, but I enjoy well, a good. I do it like five days. What about week. almond milk? What if you used almond milk? Almond milk is is well, almond milk is what you should be drinking, like because that's not. That has twice as much calcium. There's no, uh, you know, it's if you're lactose intolerant, which most people aren't, it, it, it's not going to affect that. Uh, it, it has more calcium. It, it's better for you. Uh, it's less calories, you know. Um, but 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 cereal in and of itself is bad. Like they cereal, really? unless you get some real fibrous stuff, yeah. it's, well, it's, that... it's too sugary. It's it's not yeah. good for you. I, I know the sugar, but the it's, it's it's shredded wheat, so that's that's healthier for you than, than say uh, cocoa puffs or Captain Crunch. Well, of course, but yeah. uh, what I would what I would recommend is getting into oats. Like, oh, uh, yeah, I, oatmeal's okay, but it's not very filling. Shredded wheat is very filling. Oh no, I I disagree with you there, man. Yeah. Oatmeal can be very filling because oh, not only can not to me. Yeah. Would you huh? try granola, Brian? Try for what? But that's another thing. Granola. That's a common mis- granola is bad for you, dude. Very bad for you. What? Yeah, There's dude. Raisins and shit in it, and oats. Uh, well, I, 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 I have had raisin bran. I, I sort of alternate between raisin bran and maybe if you make it, it can be healthier. Sasha, I said granola. If you, make, if you make your own granola, it can you know you know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, that makes I don't know. Sense. I I guess I'll stick with shredded wheat for the time being. I had a um, a, a, well, a unique title for my next live stream, and it involves mm-hmm. shredded wheat. 
Oh, it does? Yeah. Yeah. I think I told you about it. I told If you did, I can't remember. About eating uh, eating shredded wheat under certain circumstances. That sounds weird. It's not weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, <isn't laughs> the thing you if you like, if you don't like oatmeal or, or and you like shredded wheat, you should try both wheat bran and oat bran. So that's mm. even better for you. So that's just like the the cream of Without the crop. The sugar. The, yeah, it doesn't have sugar. That's what fucks everything up. Whether it be yeah. what we were talking about, tea, coffee, you know, anything that you eat. Like if you're eating any kind of gluten or stuff that's processed or sugary stuff, that's like oh. cancer. Well, um, I've tried to add a glass of milk every day because it fills me up, and I, um, I like to be filled up. You know, I don't like to eat something and not feel be filled up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't see how milk can fill you up, and oatmeal can't. Like oatmeal is very filling, dude. Like especially if you put nah. bananas and nuts in there and blueberries. Yeah, for me. In Bana you, you banana banana filling for you. Um, oh, oatmeal just doesn't fill me up. It, it doesn't do the trick. That's interesting because oatmeal is thick. Like oatmeal is yeah. like a thick texture, so you think that would. But that, that well, I don't know. Maybe maybe you have to make a bigger, a larger amount. I take yeah. one packet. Of, I probably have to make a larger amount. That's probably what I have to do. Well, see, four, that's four four liters of oatmeal. Don't get packets, dude. Get actual oats from a from a store, like from like Sprouts or something. You buy yeah. oats from Sprouts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's there's different type. Oh, well, also, mm -hmm. you have to. Um, the prices of things, you, you have to take that into consideration. Real cheap. O oats are fucking cheap as fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a pound for a dollar type shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I buy it in um, bulk, man. I, I fucking, I, yeah. I had last the month. Yeah. Yeah, um, same, real. Same I mean, a lot of people don't like it because they say it's bland. I just dress it up. Maybe I, I, I'm thinking of that episode of Parks and Rec where Ron goes to the Grain and Simple with uh, your man, and he's like, "This isn't food. This is what my food eats." <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, well, good. Speaking speaking of being unhealthy, I've been. Eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream, and I sometimes I eat half the carton. I just, I'm I don't with know, you there. Just, That's irresistible. The key to getting yeah. around that is don't buy it because, like, yeah. I love. <laughs> I, I will. I won't. I won't eat half of it. I'll eat the whole fucking thing. Like, and I oh, like. I love that shit. Half. The sometimes I eat, eat three Hell quarters yeah. of it. Well, yeah, I love that shit. Yeah. Well, I found generic brand at, at the shop right I go to, which is like oh, man, two, you're, you're, two wait, to wait, three Brian, dollars you're cheaper. The ghetto B and J's. You're, Brian's getting the ghetto uh, Ben and Jerry's. He's like, oh, <laughs> it tastes exactly the same. May contain human shredded skin. What? <laughs> what? Is this good? It's soiling green. Yeah. <laughs> it's people. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably awful. To it tastes great, but it probably is terrible for your health. Fuck it, everything's terrible for your health. Yeah. Okay. You're, the well, you're gonna die. The fucking the air, the, yeah. the the milk, the fucking admissions, the batteries from electrical cars, everything will fucking kill you. Fuck it. Yeah. But the the trick is to go out happy. Isn't that right, Trenchy? Oh. Didn't yeah. George Carlin say that? Maybe. Perhaps, but I don't think, see, but I think the nature of happiness needs to be, like, reconstrued. Like, if you're finding happiness through meals, then there's something that's gone awry. Like, oh, don't no, get me no. wrong. I, I guess you that. Like, you shouldn't fucking, you shouldn't use food to kind of substitute your emotion, or you shouldn't use food to make things yourself up. But don't, like, don't 
don't like if you're invited out to a restaurant, don't go. Oh, I'm not going to eat that because it's bad for you. Fucking live a little as well. Like, don't fucking. Yeah, don't yeah I'm, I'm with you. Like, there's there's a uh, definitely a, a balance to achieve, right? Moderation, there. moderation. Yeah, but see, with me, I'm so like all or nothing that it's hard for me to. Uh, like I. I I, I don't know something. I, I wish I could moderate myself more. But I, but I'm with you, man. I still eat pizza. I still eat a bunch of decadent shit. So, like, uh, I eat meat. So, like, I just hey, cook steak tonight. I love steak. Yes. Yeah, uh, skirt steak. I, I'll, Brian, how thick is the bastard? I'll, I'll steak. Yeah. Uh, maybe an inch. Like, like this thick? Um, let me see. How big was it? Maybe that big? Ah, uh, that's a rasher. That's, big. That, that's that's a sliver of bacon. Come on, that's not steak. Unless you can <laughs> oh, oh really? That. Unless you can fucking clobber a fucker to death with us. Did, did you say steak. a rasher? A rasher. A rasher. That's what we call fried bacon. Oh, okay. Rasher. I'm eating, I'm eating satsumas as you talk about this. Satsumas? Yeah. Hey, you oh, bacon rashers? Bacon, Sasha. I would what? love to be like mornings with Sasha and have him cook. You know, that's what you should be doing, man, like on your YouTube. Come here. Oh, Come yeah. Here, Cindy. I, I fucking make your slap up breakfast. Four slices of toast, six rashers, three sausages, fried tomato, two fried eggs. Mushrooms, beans, black pudding, white pudding, you'd be fucking sorted. I would totally eat that. I mean, I'm not so big on all the bread. Like, I don't know about all that toast. But everything else that you mentioned, fuck yeah. Black pudding, best stuff. Fucking put hair yeah. in your balls as well. Love Some black hash, hash browns. Yeah, that sounds good, dude. What, what I love you, you your hash browns. You shaved the spuds for dinner. You Marty, shaved the what? spuds for dinner. Sasha. What would you what would you have for beverages for the, the the breakfast along with it? Big dirty mug of tea. Big fucking okay. big mug of black tea. Okay. So you said black tea. That's good. I like yeah, orange tea. juice and coffee. Yeah. I like orange juice and coffee for it to go mm -hmm. along with my I like mm -hmm. orange juice, but the acid bites my stomach, so I I can't drink it. I can only drink it every so often. Do you ever try putting water to it? Well, it's like it's like soda because I haven't drunk soda since 2012. Oh no, no, I I know, I know, Brian. But like, <clears throat> you fill a half the glass with with with, with fucking um, ugh, fuck. You fill orange half juice. the glass with with orange juice and the other half with a uh, uh, fucking water, and Last, it wouldn't be yeah, busting on your stomach. It doesn't Last matter time. that much because they only drink it every so often. Last time I drank Coke was on my 21st birthday. Oh, really? Yes. That's great, Sasha. I, I I don't drink Coke anymore, but it hasn't been that long. Like I, I haven't gone over 20 years without drink, drinking a pop. But I gave... I'm sorry. No, it's cool. Go ahead. I, I gave it up. Uh, because uh, it was bad for my teeth, and I, my medications cause cause dry mouth. So, but my teeth are better. Well, I got a crown recently, but I think for the most part, my my teeth are in better shape. Because yeah, that's of the, fact. the only bad thing about coffee, like is and and tea uh, for that matter, is that it it's bad for the teeth. That's that's about oh, you, it. Though. You mean like staining the teeth? Yeah, staining the teeth. Yeah. Well, that's not the only bad thing about coffee. It keeps you, it makes you kind of, gives you too much energy. Oh, well, I don't know. I Some people say that if you drink coffee or tea, you won't be able to go to bed, but I can. <clears throat> I might have to wake up later yeah. to go to the bathroom. Oh, but... well, Brian, do you take your medication before you go to bed? Like, yes. Would it, not, would it knock you the fuck out? Because I'm yes, the same it's... with my Cipitrin. Like, I could fucking drink a rake of tea or coffee, and the Cipitrin mm. would knock the shit out of me. I wonder why I haven't fallen asleep. Well, I was tired a few hours ago. I, I took my pills. At, I'm, 
Marty, I, I think I could tell you this. I is and I I can tell Paul this. I think I told Trenchy. I think Sasha knows what I'm gonna say. Right, Sasha? Um I'm not what, entirely sure. Why I take medication? Oh yeah. I I think I told them. I can't remember. I'm bipolar, so I take medication. But Dude, like I, I had trouble sleeping. So I t I one of the pills knocks me out. It takes about two hours, I would say. But um, Brian, I, I, are yeah. you worried that we'd be fucking yeah, mental, mental or something if not you told being bipolar, but of going to sleep? No, I don't think you would be. I'm sorry, what, I, Paul? I bet you I could get it to where you could go to sleep without taking any pills. Nah. I mean, I used to have insomnia, so I'd be up for, for over 12 hours, maybe 18. I don't know. All you got to uh, do is 24 hours. Any, any Halloween movie, it'll put uh -huh. you right to sleep like a baby. Oh, no. the, the <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fired. joking. Okay. Shots fired. <laughs> Oh, it look, it I mean, like, he's, he's a witness. Like, I will fall asleep during these movies. Like, no matter how hard I try to stay awake, they are so mm -hmm. utterly boring. Michael Myers seems like such a friendly guy that I would invite over to dinner and fall asleep comfortably on his lap. He's so, like, so cuddly. Like, I don't consider him scary at all. I, it, the first all Halloween? Of, you don't think he's yeah, what? Especially the first Halloween? Halloween. Yeah, the first Halloween. Oh, like, I love that movie. Jesus I Christ. fucking it, it puts me to sleep. I love it too because it's my sleeping pill. Yeah. He, he, he fell asleep it's during not... Halloween three. How yeah, the fuck I, do you fall you don't have to, you, don't, you don't have to not like what you're watching. You just have to be tired. Uh, Halloween is not yeah. it's not like my favorite film of all time, but it's a good movie. For me, for me. It's my opinion. No, it's but totally my opinion. I, I, don't consensus, I don't see the allure per personally. Yeah. That's oh, fine. no, we get it. It's totally fine. Maybe I don't. Night of the Living Dead, maybe I think is a little overrated. I think Dawn of the Dead's better. Yeah. I like Night of the Living Dead. It, it, it yeah. basically it is a uh, essentially. A tent pole in the actual zombie genre, but yeah. there are like Romero's later movie, uh, Dawn of the Dead, is definitely better. Although I think the best out of the three, and Brian, Brian's going to be like, "You fucking, you, what are you talking about?" You said Day of the Dead. I think Day of the Dead yeah. is when he reached the zenith. That's when he That's liked them working on the most. He said. Uh... I love Day of the Dead. Though yeah. my now, favorite zombie movie. Yeah, Trent. Huh? Oh, I thought I cut someone off. My bad. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> No, I was just gonna say my favorite zombie movie is Zombie Land, so I, I got no, I can't judge. Yeah, hey, I like it. I haven't seen part two yet, but I like it. I had a lot of fun with part two. Really? Yeah. This is signed by George Romero. Oh wow! You actually met the dude? Yeah. Oh, I I have Gunnar Hansen's autograph too. Oh, I don't know. Stay scared. scared. Right on. Yeah. I don't know who Gutter Hansen is. Sorry. He's Leatherface and Texas Butter. Chainsaw. Oh. Gutter Hansen. Yeah. Oh, oh you're going hold, hold, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. You, you uh, good, dude. Right on. He, he, he goes to them conventions. That's cool. <clears throat> Uh, after Brian comes back and shows what he's going to show, I'll probably take it to the back. We can still talk. Unless if someone pops in the chat, but I feel like I'll take it to the back if no one comes. Yeah, that's cool, man. 
Because if I keep French going, we're going to end up 24 hours again. What's that? It's uh, Gunnar Hansen. Oh. Oh, nice. That's dope. I like that oh, little you're chain. You're getting death threats there. from Gunner. Yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. And he also signed uh, the, the, the DVD, too. He was very neat. He's kind of greedy because he asked like $20 for the outside, $20 for the inside, and then another $20 for the, the I photo. That shouldn't cost anything. Yeah, dude, that is fucked up if somebody charges you, especially $20. What a two-bit asshole. Oh, yeah. I don't <laughs> Pretentious know. Pretentious asshole. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Maybe, oh, yeah, maybe they, they're not making any money currently, so... Also, uh, no, I, but huh? I know, I'd say a lot of those guys they, they make their money on the convention circuit. Yeah, like, sort of like musicians, like with this CD sales, not doing yeah, well. But you're, I, there's there's a difference though. Like I I've never like met a musician who wanted to charge for autographs. You know, like I I don't know. I think that's a pretty low thing to to take advantage of your of your fans like that. Like, yeah. if you're buying a t-shirt that's already autographed, fine, because you're buying the t-shirt, you're not buying the autograph. The autograph just comes with it, you know? But if you're bringing something to be autographed, that should be autographed for free. Yeah, you know? because you bought that, and that, you know, he could, you know, if anything, that's just, like, you're giving him praise. That should be just you, as a fan, like, desiring his signature should be enough, like, for him. Like, that's... Oh. I'll tell you a guy who wasn't like he only charged once, and that was Doug Bradley Pinhead from Tailraiser. Yeah, he mm -hmm. only charged you once for the autograph, and it, the photo was free. And um, Aaron Pin, he, he he, I think he also, I think he knew my name. I, I'm not a fan of the Hellraiser movies, but he was a really nice guy. But Aaron Pin was saying like he would go past his booth later on during the day. At the convention, and I, I think I noticed it at the convention too. When I, I wasn't at the same convention; it was different conventions. But like the thing is, I think he remembers people's names very well. He's a really nice guy, very humble, um, not a show off, you know. So, but he, my, I, my one of my tutors at college knew him. Oh, really? The one I told you about. Um, who everybody calls Eric, but yeah. his name was Chris. His name was well, Chris? That, yeah, because that was his character's name in Lovejoy. Yeah. That dude was oh, made by yeah. the fans, though. Like, Pinhead was supposed to have a small role, and the fans made him yeah, what he was, you know? He, he ended up taking over the franchise. It was supposed to be Julia that was the main, was going to be the main antagonist to the series, but everyone fell in love with Pinhead. Yeah. Trenchy, how much would you charge to sign my boobs? <laughs> what? I give you. I, I want a big YouTuber to sign my boobs, so I want you to sign my man boobs. I'm my boobs. A big YouTuber, but I'll sign your boobs for free if you really want me to. Oh my God! It, does that mean you love me? With a motorboat too. You it comes with a motorboat. Oh yeah, yeah. I give a motorboat action. You'd have to shave first. And on that note, I think we're going to take it to the back. Not to motorboat. <laughs> but, I'm, right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was very titillating. Thank you all who have attended uh, the show thus far. <laughs> uh, links in the comments if you want to join us in the back. we got one more spot. And yeah, thanks everyone for coming. Thanks all the people that joined me and have a nice day. Stay frosty. Right. Have a good Independence Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why isn't it ending? Oh, no. This isn't good. <laughs> You're trapped. You're trapped. Yeah. Hey, you know okay. what I love is like the only person gung ho about Independence Day is the Irishman, and all the Americans are just all like, eh. It's just another fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is Trenchy sign off. Beep up boop.